from here. Introduce you and then we can speak about the event. And then they will show also the, the pairings and they don't have standings, let's say, of the players. But from the pairings, we can maybe discuss the players and who are mm -hmm. participating. Mm -hmm. You will go. Yes. So let's say right to now. introduce the event. And then at one point, I should send it to Charlize. Uh, okay, so you'll just follow how I'm talking because I want to be like Magnus here, board one and white. Mm. And then we have Zhu and Jun, board one. And holding it here, yeah. here. Okay, be close. Top games are right. Okay. Ooh, I can kind of hear that. Okay, well, <laughs> like the vibration. <laughs> Welcome to Uzbekistan. Nice <laughs> well, if the position's interesting, we can talk. But if it's boring, then we can say, well, this testing, is a good moment. Uh, testing. Uh, we'll come back testing, shortly, testing. something like that, or, or maybe repeat the highlights of testing, the round. Testing, testing. Welcome to Uzbekistan. It's over, I think. This also shouldn't come in the frame, no? Maybe not, yes. Yeah. Okay, let me. Actually, it'd be good to have a small side table. We can just dump yes. things, but okay. Maybe I will put check, 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 check. Oh. Count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do I count more? Section. <laughs> discrimination. Discrimination with discuss. <laughs> but they said that the price fund is less, so that's why. Yeah, yeah. No, I know Peter Heiner will immediately write. Yes, okay. Discrimination against women. Well, here's the will walk, fine. yeah? So I will be able okay. to. Okay, I think that'll be nice and national. Oh, okay. Is this fine? <laughs> But you can't see us, yeah. <laughs> I have actually... You're breaking the yes, code. I'm breaking the yeah. code, but I have my shoes in the, in the bag. <laughs> 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 Reporting to our country. Yeah. Yes, it's okay, I'm so... Five minutes to the start of the first round. Please stay in your seats. You just have a pause. Mark said that we don't have to go to the next round. Mm. Okay, I'm just going to say. Different opinions of what we do. 
Vish, and I'm very, very excited to have next to me five-time world champion Vishy Anand. Uh, hello, Vishy. <laughs> welcome to Summer Cup. Welcome to the world championship, which is about to start in a few minutes. How do you feel to be here? Very excited, Anastasia. And uh, my first time commentating uh, at the World Rapid and Blitz. And that's quite unique because uh, I've just been looking at the pairings and uh, it's a problem of plenty. We, it's like some unlimited buffet. You don't know where to start, which games to watch. I'm sure it'll be dramatic, but um, yes, some very, very exciting uh, uh, games ahead. Now, the little uh, detail, will all the participants make it to the board on time? Will some That's come running at the last minute? So we can now look at a little, a little bit of uh, uh, drama on stage, but then, uh, then the rounds will begin soon. Yes, it's already one minute to start, and let's uh, go to the plane hall and check what's happening there. Okay, by the way, can I use... rounds we have Magnus as whites on board one in the open section and Zhu Wenjun as whites on board one in the female section as you can see we have many excited spectators media people and a lot of excited participants so follow our broadcast and enjoy for the first round of uh, the rapid uh, portion of uh, this event and we know that we have three days of rapid chess ahead of us um, it, it will start uh, today on 26 and finish on 28 right and um, let's remember the time control is 10 minutes plus uh, uh, sorry 15 minutes plus 10 seconds um, increment per move and um, we have almost all top players participating in this tournament except uh, only Ding Liren right uh, right now and um, Ali Reza Firuja didn't make it uh, to the tournament. Hikaru. And Hikaru, yes. Hikaru we, isn't there. Yes, but Obviously one of the favorites. Oh, and the games are off. Wow, it's already... <laughs> People are playing, so let's have a look. Yeah, so let's, for, let's first check the pairings. Yeah. Sure. Yes. So on the top board we have Magnus Carlsen against uh, Nikita Petrov. Um, then Briakin against Jan Nepomnishi. Okay, here we have them. Jan Krzysztof Duda against Kismatulin. So, Mike is quite a strong player, yes. So, yeah. Jan will have, Duda will have some problems. <laughs> Maknev Dennis against uh, the look, uh, sorry, Kazakhstan against uh, MBL, Maxim Vashela Graf, Levon Aronian against Ria Zantsev. Yes, so. And so on. We see, you can see the list and. Um, and, that, and the first round is actually very exciting and also it's interesting what shape the players came with. Uh, to, to this tournament, and I remember Magnus losing sometimes in the first rounds of the Rapid Championship, you, if I recall, San, uh, San Petersburg Rapid Championship, That's right. where he lost the first round, so I wonder what's happening uh, today. Um, I don't know this player, um, Petrov, but uh, um, he's a very decent player, I think, 2,600. Do you think we will see a Petrov defense? Uh, that's a good, good question. <laughs> no, it's an Italian of some sort. Uh, yeah, it's an Italian, it's a bit, I know. <laughs> the second move. Uh, okay, we, we don't seem to have the we don't moves have yet, the, but... The board is at the moment. Ah, and Magnus is not going for the C3, D3 Italian, he's going for Knight C3. Um, typically, they follow up with some Bishop E3 stuff and then uh, try to play in the F file. What used to be considered a sideline is now the main line. Yeah. This is the more story of modern chess. This so what's happening all the time this, this, this during this event. Um, but we, we can, let's look a little bit at the stage. I mean, it looks really fantastic, and we have actually amazing playing venue. Um, which I don't know if you have. Um, you played so many World Rapid events and in many events, but I think this uh, um, playing hall is really spectacular. We are actually here in the very interesting complex um, where we have eight hotels and one congress hall where we are located right now. And uh, the venue looks really beautiful. That's right. Uh, 
you, you just have to look at the cameras and you see how spacious it is, how much space there is between every, between every board. And uh, you can see that the players are very, very comfortable. Yes, I think the From five uh, first boards are on the stage, or four boards, mm -hmm. and also for women section, they have two You can um, see boards. Maxime in the background there. Yes. Uh, is that not Irbeck? No, that's, sorry, that is uh, Nepom Nishi, right there. Yes, and uh, they will. They will let's go to the second table, as I understand. Yes, we have Yanni Pomnici. Um, this is some sort of Catalan. I'm sorry, the games are not. We, are st we still don't have the moves, but uh, Yanni Pomnici just played also in St. Louis. Um, it didn't go that great for him. I think he was expecting more from that event, but he definitely had lots of training um, the previous months and. Looking forward, of course, to have a good result in this event. That's more or less the story of everyone, right? I, I mean, think everyone, so. I think, hopes for more, <laughs> <laughs> and they keep trying. But um, yes, I, the beauty of the World Rapid and Blitz is it makes up for any year. You can close any year on a high note by just by doing it here. And uh, from the levels of participation, you can see it's highly coveted. People really want to play here. It's one event they look forward to. And um Absolutely. And yesterday, Magnus also was at the press conference, and he was talking about Rapid uh, Championship and Blitz Championship. I was actually surprised. He said that the result of the Rapid Championship is r kind of random uh, because there are not so many rounds compared to the Blitz event. Are you agree with that, Vish? I mean, 13 rounds and 21 rounds. Um, look, he's... <laughs> Won uh, the rapid four times, and he's won the blitz six Five times. Or six, yes. Sorry. I think it's six, but yeah. maybe I can be corrected. And he says blitz is the harder one. Maybe it feels that way to him. Maybe. It's a more, more of a personal observation than there is no objective thing. I, you can uh, like either one. Uh, my own feeling is if the event goes well, I feel it was a great format, and if the event goes badly, I think it was a bad format. <laughs> so for me, it's uh, completely tied to the result. But. Um, Yes, the both, I think both are formats that he likes, but he's clearly um, very, very fond of Blitz. Absolutely. Uh, you can see even the enthusiasm he comes to many tournaments with. Uh, sometimes he'll play the rapid section in a sort of uh, uh, dreamy state, but then when he, come, when he comes to the Blitz, he's trying to score 100%. So he really And he did, so you remember in Croatia. He did, in, in Zagreb, Croatia, he, was, he did yes. score 100%, and he's very, very excited about the Blitz. Yeah, actually, speaking about the rapid uh, event also, um, Magnus was the one who won the tournament four times, as you mentioned, but I um, checked the statistics before the tournament, and you are the only play player who won it two times, right? And, th and the rest of the players, they won it only once. <laughs> so there, were, there are not other players who managed to win this tournament and repeated the success two, two times. That's true, but... Um there were no regular world rapid championships uh, at that time, yes. Mm -hmm. 20 years ago. This tradition started in 2012. And um, I won in 2003. That was a one off. It was called a world rapid championship. Mm -hmm. Though, um, if you take mines, uh, they also called it the world rapid championship, but it wasn't with three days. So, lots of ifs and buts and uh, things there, but yes. So uh, more by the way, from 2012, yes. 2012, I mean, if you're comparing the, this tournament, you should compare it to starting 2012, and I think these statistics have to be considered separately, yes. because the format also changes dramatically. It becomes this huge Swiss, um, so that's uh, something to keep in mind. Otherwise, you're comparing apples and oranges. But um, when was the last time you played in the World Rapid Championship? Petersburg. I played <laughs> Petersburg, and after that, uh, my result was so lousy, I decided <laughs> I would take a break from it. But anyway, there we are. <laughs> no, but the previous one in Riyadh was really great. I mean, you won this championship in style. I remember this last tie break against Fedosev. Um, I mean, maybe we should mention also that in case of tie, um, actually, the players have to play for the first place of the tie break. Yes, now we can yeah. see Magnus Carlsen on the screen. Peter Swiddler wandering in the background. Uh-huh. Peter is playing. He told me when we were in St. Louis, 
that he's not going to come and now then I saw him on the playing list and mm. I was really surprised so he decided to give it a try and yes. I think many players are will be competing for the first uh, prizes I mean this tournament can go any way for for many of them like if you're in good shape somehow um, I mean it can be your dream tournament and of course it can go the other way around but I'm, but I'm sure everybody is very ambitious yes what a nice angle, actually. <laughs> we can see uh -huh. the, the players <laughs> through the pieces. Yeah, so we can see the view of the board. So we still don't have uh, the moves at the moment, but uh, the players keep, keep competing. And uh, just uh, let me rem remind you that we have five rounds today. And uh, for the next days, we have four rounds and then another four rounds for the last day of the rapid um, uh, portion of, of this event. And uh, then we're going to have blitz event, which will have uh, 11 rounds the first day and 10 rounds for the second day. Of course, we didn't mention the very impressive prize fund of this tournament. So I don't know, maybe we can check the graphics right now. And yes. And uh, I mean, I think it's really important to mention that the total prize fund is 1 million. And the first prize is uh, in the open section is $60,000. So that's uh, Which is really quite a considerable sum. And even second one there is we have 50, them. right? So we, we can of course, here we see the total list. The total list is, I mean, the, the third prize is fourth. I mean, really, really important <laughs> prize fund. And uh, I don't know what about uh, the women's section, if we can mm -hmm. also check the ladies' pr prize fund. If I remember, I think the first one was 40 or 30. So, but, we, we, but yes, up, yeah. 40. So yes. The first prize is 40 <laughs> and then... So the total price fund for rapid chess is uh, for uh, is 150,000. For men's section, it was 300,000. So it's twice more at the moment. Yeah. Okay. So we have the uh, games. We have the moves. We That's have the moves, moves. rather. And uh, yeah, this is Magnus against uh, Nikita Petrov. Of course, uh, Magnus now has to pause because Black is threatening that. C5 and C4. Okay. C5 and C4 with tempo. So he'll have to do something, either step aside with the queen or uh, play A3, something like that. Okay, let's see what... I, I suspect he'll move the queen because then... Yes, uh, I think this is what he's doing right now. We that's right. Can see it. So he, he just went to the... Because uh, probably after A3, you don't want this bishop, yes? To exactly. But after queen D3, if C5, you have the option to play bishop D5. So I think he stepped aside. I think he went in D3, maybe even D3. I don't know. Okay. Uh, Jan Nepomnishi is playing a Catalan. Let's switch to you. That's one that he played... Um, um, in the match? Correct. He played it in the match. A4, hit 6... I mean, it's just um, a very solid position. In yeah, we, we are checking. But yes, uh, yeah, white should have. Uh, right now, maybe we can go there. Less than enough to play as white. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I think for the moment, let's just go through all the games and yes. see because we're still in the opening stage. Of course, we're okay. going to check mostly the. Jan Christoph Duda is playing uh, one of these London systems where black gives a pawn, but um, he's holding on to his extra pawn. Black has the two bishops, some potential breaks here and there, but white's got the extra pawn. MVL, ooh, that's a fascinating King's Indian. I sometimes use the word fascinating when I have no clue what's going on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and here, here it's like he's trying to create some kind of attack on the king's side, right? And the bishop is still alive. I mean, my, I'm, uh, I'm just screaming to play g4. <laughs> really? Yes, it, I mean, it feels like the move that you want to play. Hmm? Um, I just hope this, this queen will not be lost, you know, somewhere after bishop g5. I don't well, it's interesting you mentioned that. If I do something like bishop g5, you can take on c4. Ah, yes. And then if I play b3, if you go queen a6, then in fact <laughs> bishop yes. b3 d does uh, trap it. But, you have but uh, of course, I'll go back to a6. So. Yes, and then there is no bishop d3, <laughs> unfortunately. No. <laughs> Nothing else, yes, because... Yeah. Even that, if I can play g4. But no, there's a knight f4, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Of course, this is not serious. Uh, let's see. 
Queen H4 has one important threat, which is that it's attacking um, the C4 pawn. And the question is, um, how should white go about um, breaking through here? Yes, so the opposite um, side. Uh, castling. Castling, yes. And uh, let's say it's now about who will start <laughs> this attack first. I don't know, such kind of ideas like uh, B5, uh, or it's too crazy. It, sound, it looks too crazy right now. I mean, potentially. It, it depends also how white is going to protect that pawn, because queen takes C4 is a threat. So G4, the one you mentioned, like what? what, what? Uh, I mean, it's what white wants to do anyway. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, it's what white tried to do just a move ago. Uh -huh. um, He's not played queen, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. I wanted to go g4 as well, and then if you... Take, take. The thing is, uh, black has this move quite often. He doesn't have to take anything. Uh. And then uh, all the knights are swarming over. Interesting choice. Uh, Maxime is not usually known for the king's Indian. Absolutely. Uh, but uh, but he's uh, maybe done some work and wants to stir up some new problems for his opponents. I know that That's very interesting. players, they prefer to play the openings, different openings for the... G4 has yes. happened on the board. Okay. You, you <laughs> just mentioned immediately the movement yeah. it happened, yes. G4. Yeah. I mean, wh what about this kind of approach for the rapid chess? Do, do you prefer to play the same openings uh, which you play in classical chess or you have special set <laughs> for, for rapid? <laughs> In an ideal world, you'll play different openings because it um, keeps everybody on their toes and it's also more fun for you. Mm -hmm. Having said that, um, it's always a compromise between what you want to do and what, uh, what you would like to do and what uh, you think uh, it favors you the most. So there's always a toss up there. Okay, let's uh, just scan through some more. Uh, Levon Aronian against Ria Zantsev. Black mm -hmm. uh, has given some weaknesses on these squares. And on the queen side, that rook on a6 is sitting awkwardly. But on the other hand, um, white is missing some key squares. And you can see black is uh, going to charge ahead with g5, g4, and so on. Very modern way of playing chess. Yes. Uh, Break all the rules kind of uh, thing. It looks like that, yes. I mean, yeah. you have the, your king on the king's side. And why not to create an attack right now? But I think it's also about the center. And at the moment, white cannot break through in the yes. center, right? So you can maybe afford it. And again, Well, uh, Levon, Levon is sacked upon. <laughs> and that makes uh, a lot of sense. Because what he's saying is, um, I'm going to distract your bishop at night. And once you've played g5, you, I have some hope. In some distant future, suddenly you'll find that uh, these pawns are you, you w that you would wish that you had not touched them before. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I think that's why. Problem. That can be a problem. Okay, this look at this. If you take here, and I take, and you take with the knight, one of the options white has this knight before, now cracking in on c6. You would have to go here. Yes, I don't want to lose Where upon I could play f3. It just doesn't look very... I mean, black is suffering a lot just for this one pawn, so... So if I play with <coughs> uh, knight 6 now, I don't know, something like that? Yes. It's true that I don't have a breakthrough either. Uh, but I there are moves like rook takes d5. Yes, I, it feels like there is something, right, in this position because... Uh, but these things always... Uh, th there's, uh, there's too many things happening. I mean, I can play g4, I can <laughs> play knight c4, like I can put a knight on c4, I can... Um, what a crazy position. Uh, Why just sacrifice the rook? You don't take it, of course. Yeah. Then it's uh, the, the rook Also, I, I'm not sure this, uh, this doesn't really this really works. Okay, all this has happened. Really? Uh, knight b4 has happened. Uh, having said a, you have to say b. So I think rook yes. b6 is the only real option, unless. Um, unless I don't know, maybe some g4. Really? Um. <laughs> We don't care about. I don't. I don't believe it, but it's not my rook, exactly. so I can sacrifice it. It's easier. So and then let's say knight f3 check. Wow. So. Uh, okay, okay, this you will not do. Yes, I'll not do because it's check. Then queen g5 queen is coming g5 very fast. Is. But if I go king f1, have you really got anything going? I don't know. Maybe you should take on h3 at least I mean, in order to try and queen f6 or uh, I don't know something like that, or it's too. Look, let's try it like this, gh3. Immediately. But the problem is then f3, and then the queen is uh, defending on the side. Okay. So 
for sure it looks really exciting this game i mean everything yeah. can happen right now it feels like they will start and this fighting. is the problem covering the world rapid and blitz this game is fun i'd like to stay here but there's quite a bit happening so le let's keep an eye on this and we'll come back uh, yes. at some point i don't expect a g4 or a knight of three check i expect rook b6 and so by the way, it's nice. Oh, it has happened. Rook really? b6 has happened. Oh, okay, rook, yeah. I mean, rook b6, okay, so he did I mean, he may have considered g4. He may not even have realized it was legal. You know, <laughs> both, both uh, options work. Good. It's really a creative idea. Um, Fabiano is doing one of his provocative lines. He likes this bishop f5 stuff. Mm -hmm. It's basically almost conceding a tempo if you get an e4 somewhere. But he's just trying to mix things up a bit. And... Uh, it's a very, uh, I think this is something he really likes for the faster time controls. So Certainly he can play it in a slower one, but uh, he prefers it in the faster ones. Fabiano has such a great event, uh, I mean, such a great year, actually. What do you think about his results recently? I mean, I mean it's, a, actually it's a very interesting question. Who's the b best player of the year? Mm -hmm. I think Fabiano has the best results by far, but Magnus um, has better results against Fabiano. <laughs> Uh, except maybe the Norwiches, where Fabiano uh, beat Magnus in the first round. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, Magnus has beaten him in a few places. And, and um, Magnus chose not to play the Grancher's Tour events, so he some of it he by won chase. Both of them, right? So he I mean, he didn't play the classical ones. Classical so uh, it's slightly unfair to say Fabiano is the best classical player of the year because that uh, restricts it a bit. But I think. Um, Fabiano was best overall in terms of just the results. Um, Magnus, strong contending, but he chose which tournaments to play. He skipped a few, so uh, making direct comparisons very hard. And Hikaru went one better. He only did what was necessary. <laughs> Except Norway Chess. He turned up at qualification events, he qualified, he went to the next stage, and yes. they, he, he got business done, so to speak. But it's remarkable that um, he is able to combine his money in many... Um, uh, commitments and activities yes. mm -hmm. and still win tournaments. I mean, his Norway chess uh, result was very impressive. He beat Fabiano a second time in the Grand Swiss and qualified there. Mm -hmm. So he got the job done. Absolutely. He yes. comes, he He's turns up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What would the version be? Veni, Vidi, I qualified. I did, uh, I ticked the box. Something like that. He just came and did it. So these are, uh, I think, the three best um, performers of the year. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, if you look at the Fide circuit, Caruana is the um, huge winner. <laughs> but he qualified in multiple ways, so it doesn't matter. Uh, all right, let's see um, Peter Swidler. Um, Peter, I think, numbers is number seven uh, in the list. Right. I, I was actually surprised in a good way that uh, yes. Peter is uh, in the top ten. This doesn't look good for black because that queen is sitting quite awkwardly in d5. I mean, if I play rook d1, Let's where is that queen going? Games. Okay, he did play rook d1. But that queen is um, always going to be a target of some discovered uh, attack mm -hmm. or something like that. So, um, I would have to say this is nice for white. Um, Bugara Sadli against Richard Rapport. Oh my god, that is, that is chaos. What opening was this? It was a Karokan, but not a Karokan. Ah, then it became a Karokan. Ah, and this new A4 line, which uh, is becoming very popular. Oh. <coughs> I don't know how much uh, depth we should go into this uh, because there's too much happening, but black is two pawns up, but white's Has got enough play. There is some rook c4, there's knight c4, there's stuff happening on the e-file. Uh, queen f3 was a good intermezzo, actually, because it uh, takes away the square from this knight. Mm-hmm. And now h5 on the That's next move will be a threat. Yes. I suspect black should just chuck the pawn and go knight d5 and be done with it. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is what happened. Uh, this is what happened. So Richard felt the danger of trying to keep all the pawns alive. Did he do alive. it? Yes. yes, he did it. Yes. He's gone knight d5. 
I mean, it's a loose on E7, you put it on D5, it's fine, and then it even helps the other knight come to F4. Oh, so knight H4 <coughs> is a threat in some... No, well, queen G3 check, at the but knight F4 should be a threat. Also, rook E8 is a big threat, because once I start exchanging rooks, my extra pawn should tell, right? Yes, yes, yes. so he, he would like to change a few pieces. We haven't even discussed the local hero. Uh, the 2021 right. World Rapid Champion, not your back. Exactly. Up yes. to so let's have a look there. He has, uh, he's offering the exchange of queens. And uh, I think black is doing great. His opponent uh, was from Holland, Liam. Oh, what happened Freud? to this knight on a7? Like why he's so far away? He probably went there <laughs> capturing the something. Bomb, he yes. probably <laughs> captured something. Yes, he captured something. Um, At least not in uh, danger to I mean, that moment. Let's five. Ah, no, no, no. After this. Uh, because the bishop is overloaded, yes. I can play bishop takes g7. I think that's his uh, point, which makes sense. So then I don't have knight c5. However, um, I should have some other move, maybe rook d3, just Sweet. to attack that last pawn. And yeah, oh, what to do for? That should be a mild surprise if, um, uh, I mean, after all, um, Nordilbeck is 200 points higher than his opponent. And um, one would have thought he's a huge favorite, but uh, I, at the moment it looks Doesn't pretty equal. Yes. Uh, yep. Black should be fairly comfortable, get back his pawn, and then uh, what's really going on? I mean, maybe rook c3 in order to protect this pawn, or it's, it looks a little bit awkward, but. It's possible, but I, I could then throw in bishop d5 and try to collect the pawn like that. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Something but like that. Yeah. Keep it alive. So, quite a good showing so far by his opponent. Yeah, uh, you know, Nodjerbeck was at the press conference yesterday. There was a funny question to Magnus, what will happen if Magnus will come back uh, and play the World Championship match if Nodjerbeck will qualify? Uh -huh. This was the question. So Magnus said that uh, this time it's not possible. He didn't make it to the candidates, yes. but uh, maybe it will be possible in the future. But he said that it's more about the format, not about Correct. the player. Yes. As we know, he doesn't like to play the World Championship matches because of the format right now. But anyway. On the other hand, what was it? Hikaru? made the case. He said, if I had qualified to play him in uh, Madrid, there is no way he would have turned down this match. So ah, really? we have we have a contrarian viewpoint. But we never uh, but I think Hikaru's field. point was uh, there's yes. the rivalry and then there is the... Uh, Hikaru obviously brings his uh, streaming to the mm -hmm. picture and he thought that would have been too much of a bait for Magnus to turn down. We will never uh, let's, the truth. Let's just leave that thought out yes, there. Exactly. And... Um, Shakriar Mamadiarov, let's have a look at what he's doing. He's doing his usual sum line in a in an Italian, some quiet line, and then of course Hikaru being Hikaru plays G5. Not quite as controversial <laughs> as it normally is. And um, this looks pretty even to me. Black has good chances to outplay because there are some weaknesses here. But for the moment, for the rook on e2, you cover everything. So, um, yeah. Should, should be like equal. Very exciting player, Daniel Dubov, and he has delivered. He was the world champion with this yes. format in St. Petersburg. And, and d6 is a brilliant uh, way to throw it. And okay, just to. We you cannot play CD6, Sasha Grishuk getting yes, up there. Just, uh, yes, uh, we have the first results. Uh, Alexander Grishuk just finished his game. We just saw it on the screens. Oh, in fact, uh, Pragnananda also drew. Yeah, and Rappert, uh, um, I know that Rappert actually finished his game and he managed to win. I mean, from that Rappert position won, yeah. so quickly, all these whole knights came to f4 and h4. Okay, but I guess his opponent uh, just allowed a 92 check, which wins on yeah. the spot, so. so. Wow, big crushing win for, some, for Rappert, who... It appears that giving a simultaneous the day before is good training. Probably, yes. <laughs> and you know, it's, it's also great for your confidence, right? After you <laughs> you win so many games. <laughs> Where is uh, Grishuk? Yes, Alexander Grishuk finished that. Okay, I'm sure somewhere. Uh, let's quickly have a look at Vincent Kaima playing against Bharat Subramaniam. So Vincent Kaima game, uh, it's a board number, like he's playing on which board? 36. 36, yes. 
Mm -hmm. Which gives you a sense of the strength of the tournament. I, I actually, yes. I mean, Vincent Kemmer is one of the um, top players right now. And last year, he showed a great result in uh, Kazakhstan he, when he uh, was second. He came second at the end. And he missed a win against MBL, MBL. In which case, he would have even been first. Yes, he could. But he could uh, tie he, he, that was a beautiful uh, end game win there. Uh, Nihal Sarin on move on board 20. So um, the on board with Let's have a look. This is against Terry Renato. What, what's happening here? Uh, White probably is trying to <laughs> prepare some kind of, I don't know, a five at one point, but I don't know, is it typical ideas here? But the problem is Black will interrupt with D takes C4 somewhere, no? Mm -hmm. I mean, not I mean let's try it. So let's say F5. Ah, you, you want to try immediately? Yes. I know no, it's no, it's no time tempting. like the present uh, there. No tempting. time like the present. <laughs> so if I take yes. and you take here, yes, I, about I can throw in this move. Uh huh. And I don't have any kind of. Uh, well, you. King Queen of three is with some ideas of 96, mm. yes. Yes. And then uh, you probably are going to just take it. Yes, and Queen F5. I'm trying to use the fact that Queen is a bit far away, yes. And right then if now, I do this, E6. then you have E6. Yes. Um, it looks dangerous for black right now. Okay, hang on a second. For f5, what if I throw this move in first? Immediately, yes. That's, that's so okay, I take on c4. With what? Probably with, with the pawn. But then because I, I, don't, then I, I take here, and knights. now when you take, I will even have this move. <laughs> so that's why I threw that move in. Yes, uh, Because you it. see in the other line, uh, I got this queen of three in and so on. It's different, yeah. Okay, l I like to dream sometimes, you know, about... No, no, I'm just trying like to... <laughs> but, uh, but yes, I mean, D takes C4 immediately probably yeah. kills my dreams. Okay, let's have a look. And then uh, Daneshwar from Iran, who played this epic match against uh, Sasha Grishuk in the World Cup. Uh, my God, that was a nightmare to commentate because, uh, first of all, Sasha missed so many opportunities to put away the match, but his opponent just kept on resisting and finding, uh, I mean, sheer resourcefulness was very, very impressive. Um, yes, Grishuk uh, did draw. I think another game is, uh, is is finishing. Levon Aranyan, yes, won won the game. I don't know. Maybe we can jump yeah. there to to check quickly what happened at the end. This is uh, with it. Who will probably win oh. comfortably because his pieces are just all perfectly placed. The only thing is because of this um, double pawns, he can't have any breakthroughs there. But that's okay. Um, can we check Levon game quickly, like what happened yeah. at the end? Uh, oh, <laughs> some. <laughs> Amazing. He just paused and went uh, b3, a b3, a b3. His yes. idea is to play f4 and not allow knight c4, but come on. If I play g4 or something, I should have a lot of cheapo material there. So black didn't play this move? Black went queen e6, where mm -hmm. bishop c3 happened. Okay, that's another way to loosen this knight so that I take that pawn. Mm -hmm. uh, and he just walked into some trick. Knight f5, queen f2, g4. Because then e4 and suddenly the queen uh, Oops. was attacking the rook. The, the attacking the rook, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks nice. And that was it, game wow. over. Well, white was just a rook up. Yes. So, very quick, I, I have no sense of the evaluation here. B3 is a very cool move. Absolutely, And yes. I, just, I just feel that some G4 somewhere should create just enough chaos to keep the um, So probably he missed the going. C4 at the end, right? Correct. I mean, and you, you proposed to... Yeah, well, after bishop c3, okay, white is also going to go bishop d4 and kick that rook. Mm -hmm. So it might be time to play g4. Maybe knight f5 was something he couldn't afford. He could yeah. play g4. We actually haven't checked at all women's section, probably. Yes. We should go there. Go Let's have a there. quick uh, screening of, okay, Magnus mm -hmm. after we is going to play two rooks against uh, Nikita Petrov. But... Um, um, it should be quite hard with the uh, two rooks, unless the white king finds safety. And black is cleaning up a little mm -hmm. bit on the queen side, so that it's harder for white to coordinate, but we'll see. Well, okay, yeah, let's have a look at the women's side, section. Yes. Mm -hmm. We haven't looked there at all. Yes. 
So Juven Jun. Juven Jun, yes, playing in the tournament, which is great news. But this, uh, again, looks pretty good composition for black. Even if I lose this pawn, yes, I've got the open B file and uh, enough counterplay that um, I should be able to think, keep things going. Okay, Savita Sri against some. And so, okay, that's already drawn. Mm -hmm. We have it two Berlin draws already. <laughs> what to do? It should be forbidden to play, like in some events. <laughs> yes, and then uh, this looks quite reasonable for Black, if you ask me. What is the game? Uh, Who's this is Li Lei Tingji uh, against uh, Fatalieva. Olvia. Board number three, I guess. Um, what should we do as black? So I'm trying to first calculate, yes, I guess same amount of pawns, but black... Okay, so bishop quite, takes b2 isn't ideal because I can go bishop a4. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about two, three, but I think this pawn is very strong, yeah. right? But here I'm going to have an even better thing because uh -huh. uh, if you move the rook... Then rook d3 and then rook d3. Take, yes. And if you go rook uh -huh. d8, then now rook b2 because there's a different ah, pin. Ah, nice, nice geometry. So Okay, so you don't want to play bishop b2. Yes. My hunch would be swap something. Just, just to swap the bishops. <laughs> yes. Because uh, two bishops are always uh, dangerous. Yes, and bishop thing to a4 is, was in the air all the time, so yes, maybe bishop b4. Also, nothing really wrong with bishop b6, to my mind. What about your idea, bishop a4 here? Is it different? Yeah, I go rook a4 and you can't play rook takes b2. So there's no, and, and now even bishop b6 yes. is protecting. Mm -hmm. And I can still try to play g5 knight f4. F3. See, what I want to do with uh, g5 knight f4 is just to shut down that uh, uh, bishop. Mm -hmm. My knight is blockading it, so to speak. Okay. Uh, Alexandra Kostinyuk. Yes. I think white is probably doing okay, but uh, it's a very awkward defensive setup. And um, Alexandra Kostinu game we are checking right now. Mm -hmm. um, she is, I mean, amazing player and won this uh, format um, before. Yeah. And um, she's like one of the X winners, yeah. Absolutely, and um, I mean, <laughs> world champion we know probably con controls. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to see how she'll play in this tournament. Um, I'm sure she's very ambitious. She always puts high uh, goals <laughs> in every event she plays. So White's King is slightly exposed, but on the other hand, these two pawns here, if it's a kind of castling. It's, kind of, it's a kind of castling, <laughs> the thing sitting there at the center. Harika has won, apparently. Her opponent resigned. Has finished the game already, yes. I'm I mean, I would, think, <laughs> I would think that you could at least try f4. Yes. Maybe it was something about time, I don't know. Yeah, but it's the end of the game or something like that. Yeah, I had a feeling about this, but I guess I mean, win by time, but mm -hmm. the design seems a bit strange. Um, Goryachkina. This is going to be tough because um, black has the worst pawn structure, but it's an extra pawn. So for the moment, uh, black is very much in business. Katarina Lagno. Katarina Lagno is also, yes, a very, very strong player in rapid chess and all these formats in blitz and rapid. And um, so at the moment it looks, I don't know, this G3 pawn. I could just take it. Yes. If, if because if you go rook d8, I can just play bishop f1. And, and I don't... I'm knight d4. Knight e4, then I'll play queen f4. Some kind of activity or not really. Yeah, it doesn't look... I'm trying to do all the active moves, but it seems it's too difficult. Yeah, <laughs> right but now. at the same time, I suspect uh, some move like queen b3 may just win the pawn back or mm -hmm. something. So equalish, I would say. Yeah, but she needs to take the pawn otherwise. Yeah. And uh, Jennifer Yu from the States is um, playing Maria Mazichuk. Mm -hmm. And um, some pressure here with uh, g4 and this is very strong knight setting on g3. Yeah, I mean, 
the pairings are still very very strong even on the first round. I mean Jennifer Yu is famous, uh, like a very good, also very good player. Yes. I mean and Maria Muzichuk is a former world champion and already right. they meet in the first round. Actually, it's like about 120 players in women's section and uh, a really strong event. I mean, if you if I check the list and I would say that first 20 players have chances mm -hmm. also to fight for the for the prize for the for the first places in this mm -hmm. event. Everybody is really strong. Yeah, it's really a problem of plenty here. There's just so much to follow. Exactly. Yes, in this event. So maybe let's g get back to the open section. Conero Humpy. Ah, yes. After we check, of course, one of the. Is, is that one of the most amazing positions I have seen? I mean, Black has two connected pass pawns mm -hmm. and has given nothing for it. Yeah, it's just. <laughs> What's that joke? Uh, uh, Black has two pawns for the better position. <laughs> uh, it's something like that, right? <laughs> the example of that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, really strong pawns and there. So uh, I guess yes. um, Conero a huge favorite here. I was just told that Maxim Vashilia Grau has a really bad position. Maybe we can check what's happening with okay, uh, let's former have a look World Blitz champion. How bad it is? It's a computer kind of bad because uh, for me, yeah, the knight is coming to f6 and I doesn't look hot. I mean, my first evaluation would not be he's under trouble. But yes. if the computer says he's in trouble, then I would uh, have to look again and say that I still don't see it. But <laughs> anyway, anyway, yes, we have to mention I, I mean, we can see that white has pretty awesome yes. compensation, but um, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have thought it's more than a pawn. Yes, and mean? the knight has already come to d7. He's gone knight g5, g5, okay. Yeah. So all this has happened. In rapid, everything is possible. Even if the evaluation is bad, you never know what will happen in a couple of moves. Correct. So we'll see what Maxim will do. So basically, these moves have happened. So 16th board, Anish Giri just lost the game. Oh. I think it's important because you know we all know how important this tournament is for Anish. Yes, um, it's got nothing to do with World Rapid and Blitz, but Anish is fighting well, the to be in the top three of the uh, World Rapid Championship, and that will give him enough points to overtake uh, Gukesh in the three-day circuit. And this start does not help. Let's uh, have a quick look at the game and see what caused this. Uh, I mean, um, try to gather, see if uh, Anish is playing very aggressively or something, or it's just a game. Three, Knight of Fate. Looks fairly sensible so far. Yes. Just and the, and White is just uh, very cool about this. Five, yeah. Took the oh, pawn? he sacrificed a pawn without. Uh, ah, yes. They Was it necessary though? If I go Bishop E6, and you take. It takes. And then maybe, maybe then queen d1, bishop a2 is not really convenient. Then I could or I could go queen c3 and uh, no, that doesn't mm -hmm. really work. So he played this bishop h3, I mean, trying to complicate maybe the position. Knight f4, of course, you couldn't take on f6, queen f6, and queen f3. And the two knights. Uh -huh. But it's. f7 is not uh, in danger. I don't know if it was so. a good trade. Um, for the pawn. Yeah, all this has happened. Mm -hmm. Bishop b4. It's a funny thing. It doesn't. It doesn't look that scary or amazing yet. He went to a7, and then he took on f8. King takes f8. Fine. Um, so don't immediately see why not rook takes. Bishop b8. G4. I'm trying to maybe prevent all these checks. We need yeah, to each one. I don't know. But it was nothing. Maybe. I think there's just a blunder happening somewhere yes. because uh, so far it was this position's pretty awesome for. Oh, and then ah. that's it. So it just. Uh, it was very fast. Which was <laughs> what yes. happened. So, so G4, G4 happened. Yes. G4, yes. And uh -huh. Black doesn't need to sack anything. Uh -huh. Um. Even a move like rook c6, very much in the game. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going yes, rook yes, f6 and, and so on. Just trying to do something. And then, then he decided to play rook e4, which is tempting, of course. Like when you It is very tempting, but he took. And then queen b4 four. check. And he could go queen e8, may king e8 maybe, because there isn't actually a mate yes, on e7. Yes, because the, h the queen on h2, yes. On h4, sorry. 
this. Yeah. So the yeah, King E8, but okay, <laughs> feels already that something went wrong a little bit. Uh, the beauty is not only is white uh, giving a check, he's also defending the rook on e1, and this frees the rook on the other side. Mm -hmm. We see that logic here. Ah, that's a point, yes. And then. And because the rook is defended by the queen, now you okay. get this thing. So but you felt that, that king of eight was something was wrong with that move, and <laughs> queen before at the end. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. Somehow the king, but I'm not even convinced that black is not still better. So in fact, he just he played oh, a played a good game. I think there's a blunder somewhere here. We would need to pause a bit more. Uh, Lucas von Forest lost to Yu Yangi, who I met this morning when I outside the building when I was trying to come and collect my badge. <laughs> Old masters would have recognized this chest. Just Bishop f4, knight yes. c3, knight d4, queen d3, rook d1. Position, just yes. just uh, <laughs> keep padding it up. Exactly. Oops, e5. Ah, a little uh, tactical skirmish there. Yes. Because queen was hanging right there. Yes. L and he's completely shattered his opponent's pawn structure. Uh, it, it was again very fast. So <laughs> let's say at one point, so he played this e5 using the fact that queen on b7 is hanging. Yes. Again, yes. So, mm -hmm. uh, since the knight is defending the queen, yes. he plays e5. Now the queens face off against each other, and white is attacking this knight. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So an exchange happens. And in order not to lose a pawn, he captures here. But now, because the rook is attacking the bishop at the same time, yes. um, you have to, has to move the, the pawn structure yes. is shattered. And yes. that apparently was enough to convert. Four These things, I mean, with, uh, but with two bishops, you can hold a lot of bad positions. Yes. But um, some positions are very ugly. Yeah, this bishop on the fate is not really happy right now. Yeah. yeah so he managed to win this one. Also, my question is, why didn't he play rook a6? If he was willing to allow knight takes a4 anyway, he might as well have played rook a6 here mm -hmm. and f ask the question eight of that knight. Mm -hmm. So that looks like a bit of a lapse. Oh, that is very pretty, because uh, if you... Ah, some checkmates. If you take... I think it's what? just this, and collect the pawn. Uh -huh. So why not? Yes, so uh, actually, remember the game Maria Muzuchuk was checked with uh, Jennifer Yu? Uh, Maria lost yeah. this game. Maybe oh, I can jump okay. there. I think it's one of the first upsets of the tournament. Yes, but it was uh, looking grim uh, round about mm -hmm. here. Yes, yes, yes. We because were checking I, that I was wondering if maybe Maria could have done this, because now you're forced to capture here. Mm -hmm. And I just plug it for the thing. You try and to if you take, close it, yes. I take with the queen, but now my bishop is okay. in front Probably at least, and I can go rook c2, f2. Okay, if knight on g3 doesn't look really great <laughs> for white, but what to do? I mean, in this situation, you have to. Yes. The also, the difference. black's worst piece is not, I think it's the king. Uh, if the king was on b8, we wouldn't be discussing the yes, evaluation, yes, right? Yes, so on f8, it's in the way. It's but the anyway, Koneru Hampi won as expected, Harika won as we saw, Zhu Jina beating uh, Priyanka Notaki. Um, and Drew, how she's doing? First board? Yeah. Savita drew against Sanjong. Okay, this one we had seen. Okay. Zhu uh, and Jun, well, good chances in what's a very, very equal-ish ending. But maybe white can get something going with that hedge pawn and see. Yeah. Actually, I, I, you don't I suspect it might just be drawn. But uh, this is rapid chess after all. So you want Everything to, you want to, you want to yes. I don't know, keep king, trying and then. King five, but it's king just seven. Yes, nothing yeah. you can do. Always the rook will start giving checks. Yeah, but that isn't he, will he will keep trying. Yes. Uh, and then uh, quite a few draws. Goryachkina drew, Lagno drew. Yeah, already uh, on, on in the first round, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, Anna Mosichuk won. Anna Mosichuk. So at least the sisters have one point <laughs> between them. Yes. Um, is winning. Because this knight is horribly misplaced, and then the spawn is simply racing through. So... Now it's a little bit, the uh, knight is hanging, both knights are hanging. And then, 
getting a crush. But here the thing is, though, black is a um, um, piece down. Black is piece down, but this is... There's a king over here mm -hmm. with some... But look, if I do rook d6, I'm just threatening to go to rook takes g6, g6 and, six and six the whole thing five. collapses. So and I think you would play a5, a five, so that yes, you're with the idea to And now I maybe take collapse. this. You take this. I will still try to run yes with these pawns, but uh, the knock yeah. is faster. Like if knight f5, for example, like w w will black be on time also? To oh, she went back rook d2. She went back rook d2. Oh, no, or uh, am I making these moves? Oh. Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Maybe she was afraid of this king yeah. g2 idea. Nonetheless, it's, it's not trivial for white because you, you have to make some decisions, and if you're short of time and you still have to make consequential decisions, it it's might still it slip out a bit. It's three, two pawns for the knight, and hmm. still a two pawn is maybe. Okay, well why don't we go back and see what Magnus is up to? Uh, did he get anywhere? Two rooks. Uh, two rooks. Uh, queen. I think this is very, very it's impossible to win. My understanding is um, because of the white king is uh, is not is not uh, sheltered at all, and the rooks are coordinating pretty badly. So apparently Nikita Petrov didn't even have to play the Petrov. <laughs> <laughs> he managed <laughs> with an Italian, yes, but exactly. uh, or some sort of Italian. I think h4, I would just play h4 here so that to on the next move I go to c3 and then I just hang around there. Wow. Yeah, so maybe it's going to be the first draw for Magnus in this tournament. We'll see. Um, okay, this was, uh, well, what, what do you get in the Catalan? <laughs> <laughs> Jan Christoph <laughs> d drew against uh, Dennis. Okay, okay, let's see what's happening here. Ooh. What, what is the game? Uh, There's a pawn on f2, but at the same time... Um, no, there is no B3 stuff happening. So black has to play. Uh, yeah, so he went rook f3, king d2, king d7. White has chucked a pawn. Okay. Cb6. King e2 is going to happen. But now if I did this, you're cut off. Yes, and actually, what about this? And then I play b5 and I bring my king up and all that. That's one option. Um, what about this uh, pawn ending? Is this just to, to be sure it's drawish? It's a good question. <laughs> because, because you actually have more tempi. Yes. He took on d5. He took on d5, yes. But uh, that's a very interesting question you asked. Uh, let me go here. The king of six, it seems like. Now, if you go here and you fight for the opposition, I have the one move left. But what it what gets tricky here is if you do this. <laughs> no, it, it actually isn't very tricky. Yeah, Something like this will probably win, right? Yes, yes, yes. Wow. So that's what I thought. I mean, because if you transfer your uh, ending uh, and there are chances to go into the pawn ending, you better be sure that uh, it's fine. I mean, this is uh, this yes. is a pretty fantastic position as well because yes. the king is cut off uh -huh. on the d file and I have an extra pawn. Exactly. Also, so practically, it's better. It should be winning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, evaluation was not so great. <laughs> yes, but. Um, what they have reached right now, I don't know if he'll update this. What they have reached is um, two pawns. Black is white has traded the B pawn for black's A pawn, and that's where we are. Mm -hmm. But uh, Maxime's king is advancing slowly. So he'll try to win this position. And the thing is, if I can push d5, d4, yes. then your rook is missing c3, d3, e3, all these squares. Mm -hmm. And so it's only able to operate from the two wings, and that might... Uh, yeah, here we are. So he's trying, yes, to... So, of course, if he goes... He can go rook c4 and then d5 and then go back. Okay, he's gone king b6. King b6, okay. I guess now I will attack the pawn, pawn? of course. What about the time? Uh, I mean, I don't see the time. Okay, the no, current position is something like uh, rook on d4, rook on c6, king on a5. Is it possible to win this? Wow. Uh, I think uh, bringing the rook back to c6 was not impressive. Y you wanted the king to be cut? I wanted to play d5, d4 and use that as a wedge, but... Um, 
But that's the thing. You, when you have very little time to convert, you don't have the luxury of sitting and formulating plans. You have to make it fast. Play, yes. If I play A, it's gone A4. Oh, but wait a minute. A4, yes. It, no, A4 is a blunder. Because now I'll play King C5, and I might keep a two-pawn advantage. What the hell has he done? He should just have played uh, Rook D5, and then the uh, pieces can't even move. Uh, yes, I mean... Because now King C5, and if King C3, then Rook A6 wins. Oh, there is AB5, excuse me. Okay, okay. So okay. he saw that. Yeah, AB5 attacks the Rook on C6, so that is fine. We, we still don't have moves, right? Uh, uh, yeah, I wish I could show this, because yes, they're actually yes. quite exciting. And this is the easiest draw in chess. I mean, this thing is drawn on the third rank, and it's here is even on the fourth, so... Let's go to the table number 10. Uh, Artemiev seems to be in Let's trouble. just see what Fabiano is doing. Huh? He's making progress, but it's not over, is it? Because um, Fabiano at some point might have to take on e4, but that's not very helpful. Or he plays f4, but then that's not g4 helpful either. Is, uh, yes, hanging in some variations, but yes. he bishop g7. He but Fabiano will keep trying, that's yes. for sure. And, uh, oh, he's going for the b4 pawn now. Knight a6. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe wh instead of g2, white should have gone like this, I think, just to attack the b5 pawn. Anyway, what will happen now is if I run to protect this thing, this pawn, maybe, no, it doesn't help. I, mean, I thought he could do something like that, but I have king e3. Sweet. Okay, let's see what's happening there. Well, which game did you uh, want to see? Ten, number 10, Artemiev uh, is in trouble, it seems. Um, He's just lost, yes. yes. Because um, you cannot take this pawn. Rook behind the pass mm -hmm. pawn, and uh, the king is faster yes. to the king side. So, so this should, and uh, white has even got an extra pawn here <laughs> as a bonus. <laughs> yes. QR joke about uh, having a pawn for the better position. <laughs> the, so the, the other way around. The other way around. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, so that's oh, uh, yeah. another big upset. That may have, he's I don't know if he's the favorite, but certainly one of the he people you would keep them in the list, right? Yeah, and it's going to be resigned. Yes, yes. He has, in fact, resigned. Um, Fabiano, what's happening? And Maxime will draw. Yes, he has drawn already. So, I think, quick, uh, let's just see the wrap-up of the women's. Mm -hmm. This game, in fact, ended in a draw. They gave up at some point and yes, just and agreed a draw. Yes, decided not to risk, yes, this position. Yes. Like, it's also, um, we'll try to go A3, A2. Divya Deshmukh still fighting, but... Um, of course, white is not better, because I can take the pawn as a minimum. Mm -hmm. And take on H4. Yes. Whereupon I, I at least shouldn't lose in any way. I wonder uh, if Magnus is still playing, just to be sure. Let's have a look. He has actually stopped. In fact, he even lost that f5 pawn, so... <laughs> uh, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was... So, quite some surprises here. The top four boards, the higher seed, uh, the top seed drew. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, only... Surprising, yes. Fabiano. Okay, Peter Swidler beat uh, Jomobayev. Ah, okay. Peter won, yes. Great. Yeah, I, we didn't have time to get into that game, but uh, certainly this position looks uh, pretty one-sided. Yes, this is too many pawns uh, for white. Yeah. Um, and uh, Fedosev beat uh, Johan Christian. You know, it's it's really interesting. You, you said that four boards finished in the draw first top boards, but in women's section, it's even <laughs> more crazy that yeah. the top favorite players either made a draw or lost on the first seven boards. Only board number eight favorite managed to win the game. Okay. Yes, so <laughs> there is some so, kind of statistics. Well, we'll have the standings and all put up. And um, oh, now Divya is losing because of this check. Uh, Because of this check, it's lost. But why should have just gone King G2? Mm -hmm. There was nothing really against it. King G2. If you if you go here and you collect this, then all I have to do is to give this check and keep. Oh. Checking. So it should. So it's a perpetual. Yeah. Wow. In fact, it's game over. It was even made. Mm. So this ended pretty fast. Okay, so that's um, I don't know if it's an upset. Uh, I suspect Divya was the highest seed, but I'm not sure. Oh yes, very much. Uh, Kamali then over 
2196. So that's quite a big upset. Mm -hmm. Zuchin. Yeah, it's really nice to see Zhuqin playing in this tournament. Yes. She doesn't play that often, and I think uh, it's, it's great that former Women World Champion decided to participate. I spoke to her yesterday at the opening ceremony. Yeah. Yes, and uh, it's, it's, it's great to see her playing. And um, how is she doing right now? It seems like... It's uh, going to be a draw. Yeah, uh, in exchange for the rook and the pawn, but... It's going to be a draw. Unless uh, something Somebody dramatic happens. Or yes. something, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, so Fabiano's the only game in town, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And I don't see how he's going to, there's just no way to win this. So that would be another draw in the men's section. So Actually, open section. Too, too many draws, yes. A very yeah. peaceful start. And they have out. finished. They're finished. Ah, yes, so they're analyzing. Unless uh, some sort of blunder happened, I don't know. Uh huh. They keep analyzing, and we will find out what was the result of that game. Yeah, but it seems it should be a draw. Yeah, there it is. The kings facing each other. So, so we have um, also one game happening. Kostinuk is playing on the fourth board in the women's section. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Okay. But uh, she is fighting for the draw in a queen ending. So. Mm -hmm. Yes, so White will try to... Do you think there's something beautiful about having a queen's ending for the women? It's, it's really horrible, <laughs> if you ask me. <laughs> it's like they say that uh, rook endings are always true and queen endings you always lose. Yes, we ah, sure. Yes. So, <laughs> I don't know, it's really hard to defend those type of endings. Also, it's hard to win them if you have this extra pawn and just hundreds of checks and you just suffer, I think, from both sides. I have seen rook end games which are um, difficult but in terms of incomprehensibility, just absolutely being incomprehensible, queen endings are much better. Especially these mysterious moves when uh, you just make a random move. The king will be sitting on b1 in some complicated ending. You just move it to a1 or move it to c1 and that's a draw. And uh, It is the hardest end game for humans to understand, I think. You mean queen? This queen endings, queen endings yeah. Yes. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, still, rook, I would still. Uh, and already take something endings. happened. I will still take. Oh, but this um, again, it looks like progress because uh, everything has gone wrong for black. Yes. But um, in the end, it's always about uh, can the king run away from perpetual from checks? checks yes. And mm -hmm. that's going to be the question. So here, white has made progress because that queen on b6 is covering a5, and, and because the f pawn is fast, you're never going to capture anything. Mm -hmm. And I have time now to push and uh, even the white king can sometimes run to a7 or something in uh, some scenarios very it, safe yes, there. try to take uh, this pawn also. So many options for blue, uh, white. I'm going to guess that white is the huge favorite to win this one. Yes, so, but, but let's say for now, can you push the pawn, let's say a5, queen, queen h6 and... Like I would this play a5 yes. without a... Yes. Uh -huh. And then all I mean, you can always try, keep on trying to be clever, uh -huh. but uh, my feeling is at some point you have to get it over with and just put the pawn there. Yes. Um, if, if there is some variation where the pawn on f4 is better than f5, we oh will never God. find it out anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> let's just it's get on, possible. get it on with. Yeah. It's not possible to understand it, but I like the idea of kicking on a7, hiding yes, happily. <laughs> I think that's more of a wish list rather than yes. <laughs> some relevant variation, but anyway. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, it's okay, I think it's nice. We can just sit back and enjoy a nice queen ending now. While Alexandra has to defend it, <laughs> which is exactly, which is not so fun for her right now. But okay, she's a very, very experienced player and uh, status. Oh, and suddenly the hall looks empty. Yeah. Yes, it's. <laughs> Did her opponent play f5? Unclear yet. If we can have a closer look, we will understand. I think now, uh, no, I don't think so. She played something else. Anyway, the pawn is on f5, and the queen is on d5, mm -hmm. and the black queen is somewhere on f2. Yeah, which is so sag Sagar, Shak Sagar passing by. Ah, here we are. Uh -huh. And this is looking much worse now. I guess it's just lost. Yeah, no checks and, yeah. Okay, she'll keep trying, yes. Queen h2 is the idea, so queen h7. So f6 now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, F6 is possible, yes. Yeah, 
not not that easy to to defend these positions, but what to do? You have to keep trying until the end. Queen H8. That is a strange move. But uh, it might be just a clever way of passing. So now she's spinning the F pawn. So what should White do? Maybe White should just play Queen E5 and then take the king to A7, our original plan. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yes. She, she should try, yes, somehow, but... Yes, it's, it's really hard to defend. But okay, Alexandra has defended so many <laughs> difficult positions in her life that I'm sure she will just try to keep... Okay, so now I play queen f5. Queen f5, yes. And then I walk to a7, my original plan. Mm -hmm. At the risk of repeating myself, uh, queen f5 and you keep checking, I go king d7, c7. King maybe seven, I pick up a pawn, maybe seven. I don't, but mm -hmm. I, can, I can't see that you're going to get a lot of... Okay, king d6. She's trying to hide. H3. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now queen e5. Sandra is trying to chase the king, but yes, maybe it's not going to help. You can hide. Queen e5. No, king e7 again. And no, then queen h4, and we are right back where we started. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yes. Maybe she doesn't see. Maybe um, she doesn't see this plan with king a7. So. But queen e5. Now she's got the same thing. That's the beauty, that it's black or white to move hardly matters anymore. So the last game is almost finished. With many, many strange, kind of strange, let's say, results for the first round. Top favorites are still trying to get into the shape, it seems. Yes. But always as a rule, you will get a certain number of upsets because there are so many people playing, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know if many top players won, or many of the higher seeds won. Uh, Temur Rajabov, another victim. Wow. Temur Rajabov losing to Ilyushinok. Uh-huh. Oh, it's a young player, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Rook just Rook takes C5, and the pawns are going to do it. Oppa. Yes, they just so, go. Just too many wow. pawns, yeah. Three pawns is better than two even. <laughs> What opening was this? Okay. How is it, how, how is it they important did win. to Sorry, start yeah. with a win, let's say, in the first round? Uh, or it doesn't matter that much because we have uh, still 12 rounds to go. For you, was it important to win the first game? I have... Uh, I mean, the statistic, I'm going to say it as if it's meaningful, but when you listen to it, you'll wonder, well, was it so important to point out? <laughs> I have won more tournaments when I won the first round than when I lost the first round. Uh, I can't think of too many events, except maybe my match with uh, Topolov in Sofia, where I lost the first game. I can't think of anything too significant that I've done when I lost the first round. I've had good recoveries and so on. So, so in Vike in 2008, I lost in the first round. So my best results mostly involved starting well. Yes. Saying the obvious. But um, the question is, how much of a handicap is it? I would say in this format, it isn't. Mm -hmm. um, it puts the onus on you to win a couple of games, but it's hardly um, very dramatic. So I remember Mikhail Tal was actually mentioning that he was m many times losing the first round and then still could win the tournament, but there were longer events. <laughs> I think that they had more rounds to go. Uh, yes. yes, of course, they used to have these Soviet championships <laughs> yes. with uh, 17 rounds and 20 rounds matter. and whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's true. Why did... Uh, We're, we're going back to the game right now, yes, to check what, what's, yeah. what's going on. We are now in this position, and uh, that does look like the end. Yes. So I don't know if the game is over or they're still playing. No, they're still playing. Oh, she took on B7. Why did she do that? Oh, no, she hasn't taken it on B7. Oh, good. She's gone to B8. Yes. And now the prime, it's over. Now it's over mathematically because if you check on the dark squares, I'll play queen c7 and it's a check. Yes. And if you check on the eighth rank, I play f8 and shut it down and there are no more checks. So it, in fact, so it is over. Good. Yeah. And now it is right resigns. Yeah. For Alexandra. Okay, she's still trying. What, she played b5? But then there will be two queens, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Going to be a little bit more difficult. Yeah, she played b5, yes. 
okay, she's resigning, which is, let's say, was expected. Yes, so we should, the first round is over. It's in the books already. What do you think about the start of the event? I suspected that there are far more interesting moments that we didn't have time to capture, but uh, uh, it's not lots of, lots of uh, interesting games, interesting moments. And uh, the scoreboard is looking interesting. In the men's section, uh, who's the only player who won of the, in the top boards? Yeah. So now we actually go to the fun Aside side. from Levon. Yes, sorry. Uh, and Peter Swidler, uh, Rapport. In the top eight boards, those were the only three wins. Exactly. So then, then you get a sense of how the pairings are going to be slightly messed up now. Yes. But we'll have uh, some very interesting pairings, no doubt. Yeah. So now we will go to the... Yes, we will show the, the table after we mm -hmm. go to the fun zone right now. Yeah. Let's, let's see what's going on there. We have three zones here at the tournament. We have the play zone, the chill zone, and the fun zone. We have some live commentary happening. As you can see, there are a lot of spectators here clapping at any good results that is coming up. Uh, they're all here just relaxing in the fun zone and there's a lot more to do. We have uh, historical artifacts placed all over the venue from stones, from books, from statues, there is a lot to learn over here. Uh, I guess we will take a deeper look on one of the other days. And of course, a chess tournament being a chess tournament, you have to have lots of chess boards. And that's what we have over here. We have a playing zone for spectators. We have them playing games, analyzing, I guess, and just having fun. These boards are beautiful, by the way. Uh, let's take a look over here. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, we've got some clocks, so maybe they're having their own blitz and rapid tournaments. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure that they are having more fun than the stressed participants of the tournament. Uh, and then over here, we are heading over to the FIDE uh, clothing and uh, fashion house, <laughs> shall I say. They just dropped uh, some new merchandise from hoodies, from socks to books. Um, hi. <laughs> hi. Can we take a look at some of the merch you have? <laughs> sure. Yeah, we have socks, we have scarves, we have players' uh, portraits that will be autographed. Uh, if you buy one, you can get an autograph. Obviously, everyone wants a Magnus autograph sometime in their life. Uh, we've got sweaters, t-shirts. Uh, I guess we can show a few of them. I mean, the logo of this tournament to me is just, yay. <laughs> can we see the monkey one? The monkey is my favorite shirt. Classic Rapid Blitz. <laughs> and oh, there we've got Alakine and Capablanca. So come to the fun zone, come get your chess merch. And if you aren't here, you can always look out. In two weeks, FIDE will be having an online store where all of this will be sold. So soon enough, everyone in the chess world will be having some cool chess merch. Yes. So welcome back to the studio, just from the fun zone, and uh, we are going to check the standings of after the first round. Oh, sorry, the, the results after the first round. So it's a planned venue, but shortly we'll have the results. Does that mean it's going to start in four minutes? Yes. That. Uh, oh. I don't, I don't that seems so. too quick. It seems so, too because quick, uh, yes. I think the last game finished only slightly before. Yes. But it uh, should be interesting to see if that is in fact what's happening. Yes. Actually, according to the schedule, it should start at 4. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But that seems a bit cruel to, let's say, Kost <laughs> Alexander yeah. Kostenyuk. Yeah, they because should barely get they a few don't minutes have the pairings, you know. Normally, when, when it finishes, so, so. But the computer can generate it pretty fast, right? Oh, yes. But maybe. It should be some rule, you know, maybe 10 yeah. minutes after the game, because, for example, Sarah has in. just finished and she's like, yeah. this, maybe a couple of minutes to get back to normal. Yes, yeah, so now we have the results and uh, we can see the draws on the first board. <laughs> yes, like five boards, we have the draws. But if you look at uh, boards um, eight or nine till, uh, or board seven till board 15, there are only two draws. So at that point, uh, 
we have a lot of decisive results. Yes, yes. After so. that, yes, it's, uh, we have many results and many top players will now jump <laughs> and play in the different tables, not on the stage. I mean, the remarkable result was the loss of Anish Giri in this round, I yeah. guess. And um, so, I mean, it's time to get ready for the second round and um, perhaps we, we can go for the short break um, and then we will see the pairings of the second round. Я видел, где проходил шелковый путь. Я вдыхал ароматы, которые наполняли меня жизнью. Я встречал любовь на каждом шагу, погружаясь в историю, к которой я прикоснулся. Я прошел свой путь. Silk Road Samarkand. Welcome to 100 End Games You Must Know. Over 200 mini videos that our Chessable team edited together, synced with our Move Trainer, and made it a seamless learning experience. So thanks for watching, happy studying, and enjoy the material.
And welcome back to the FIDE World Rapid and Blitz Championships. Today we have the second round uh, coming soon. The first round is already in the history books and uh, we are here together with Vision and uh, trying to make uh, these games are more interesting, right? I mean, trying to show some moves, some variations. And uh, um, actually now I know that we have already the pairings for the second round. So mm -hmm. let's have a look. Yeah. What happened here? Okay, this is pages there. Should I reload? Yeah. And we have the pairing, so let's let's have a look. Uh, so he's Matulin against Maya Magnus Carlsen. Yes, we can see that he, they are playing on the first board because it's because the, the table is reserved. <laughs> yes. And then we have an Armenian clash. Yes. There's Sahakian against Levon Aronian. Arian yeah. Tari against Peter Swidler. Very nice. Also. Levan Pansulaya against Richard Rapport. Yes, and Hong Andrew against uh, Abdus Sator of Nadirbek. Anton Demchenko against Fedosev. Yes. Nesterov against Daniel Dubov. And, uh, and so on. I mean, and so on, yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be an interesting round. We can see that from the top seats. I mean, we have, of course, Magnus on the first board, which is reserved for him, but it's Levon Aronian and Peter Swidler. Not so many top players from top 10 are left here because the many games finished in a draw in the first round, so they will play somewhere lower um, during this second round. Um, and maybe, I don't know if we have women's boards, women's pairings for that round. It would be also nice to have a look and check what's happening in the women's section. Yeah. They have also... We have Conero Hampi against Mung Sul. Mm -hmm. um, Daisy Kori against Harika. Drana Vali, yes. Asobayeva, Bibi Sarah, who won in the first round, full plate with uh, Volt Daria. And then uh, we have um, Makratichan Mariam, not Lilith, actually, <laughs> playing against uh, Zhu Jiner. Muzi Chukana will, play, will be playing with uh, Bodnaruk Anastasia, I think also quite strong pairing um, here. And so the players are gathering in the playing hall. The game actually had just started. So we are going to have the second round started already. Yes. We can see many spectators. Yeah. Huh? Look how many spectators are in the venue. We also can see the journalists, uh, Shaq Sagar, are on your screens, just passed by. And Magnus Carlsen playing against Denis Hizmatulin, who made the draw also in the first round. So we can see the moves. Hopefully yes. we also have some. Not We're really. waiting for the moves to load. Yes. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a Meran. Yes, it's a Meran that Magnus is playing. Yes, it is a Meran. Here we are. E3, Knight BD7 happened. Mm -hmm. So, Queen C2, and we're off. Let's quickly scan the other boards as well. Um, that's a Hakan against Levon Aronian. Everybody does these funny Sicilians nowadays. <laughs> A6, A6 on move two, yes. but. Uh, what was the craziest line, Vishy, you ever played in Rapid? <laughs> Let's say you, you consider to be the craziest in the opening. I mean, I played a... Um, a line against Shakriar this year, and I sh shouldn't have gone into a position where I didn't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> and, uh, well, the result was pretty predictable, but uh, at least the position was funny. Okay... Um, Look at modern chess, g3, mm -hmm. d5, and then they go knight b3. Knight b3, Basically, wow. help yourself to my pawn, I'll figure something Just out. Just take it, yes. Mm -hmm. so I, I think it's a matter also that, I mean, of surprise, right? You're trying to surprise your opponent and make him play a new position or maybe spend yes. a lot of time in the opening, so that's how it's... Yes, if you take, then I will take and maybe some sort of knight c3, c3. bishop f4, long castle, who mm -hmm. knows? And but, uh, better develop... Good, um, Good kind of surprise. Then there is a rapport against. Uh, I have seen this position with the, without the pawns on c2 and uh, mm -hmm. e7. E7, yes. if exactly. you know what I mean. Yes, yes, but I have not seen this version of it <laughs> with <laughs> the pawns on c2 <laughs> and e7. So it's fine. So reach rapport game. Yes, we are checking right yeah. now. Yes, he's playing against Bonsulaya. 
I mean, this is well known without the Ponson C27. It's uh, in a Benoni. Yeah, but Richard but always finds the way to play something original. <laughs> yes. And uh, and which game now we are checking? Now we're checking Anton uh, Demchenko against Vladimir Ferosiev. Anton. And um, White has gone in for this fashionable line with the bishop coming to h4, maybe to g3. But Black has done some interesting decisions. He's gone to b6 with the bishop instead mm -hmm. of going to a7 or playing a5. And he's also not lashing out yet. He's playing bishop d7, uh, still not committing g5. I think also they are thinking where to castle, right? I mean, yes. still it's possible that if white castle short, maybe black will consider some it's some way to castle long. I have done so it. equally after g5, you can castle short as well and yes, still attack. And still attack, yes. So everything is possible. <laughs> but uh, yes. Exactly. Uh, Daniel Dubov has played some original King's Indian. Daniel Dubov now on the screens. And here we, we see that again, modern theory, you can do anything you want. With it against um, perhaps Anal. Ah, it's a very clever move. I've never seen it. A3. A3. Normally yes. they go D4, mm -hmm. but with it playing something very um, interesting. Actually, yeah, because now he has some options with C4. Mm -hmm. and I can't come to B4. Who knows? I played this variation actually for White, and uh, normally I play D4 after C D C D A3 with the idea to put the bishop on D3. So maybe mm. it's uh, <laughs> clever idea. It, yes. you know, I should remember that one, you know, for my Blitz games. <laughs> it could be true because uh, these days I've seen this idea now. Then they give a check right away. Ah, also we can and then uh, they take and they play d6 or b6 or mm -hmm. whatever. And so maybe this is the new twist. Yes, so, you so. maybe it's against bishop before and maybe in some ways you want to put yeah. the bishop on d3. Sitsipov mm -hmm. against uh, Salem. Again, black. Offering white a very combative King's Indian where things will happen on both flanks. So we have quite some interesting games potentially ahead. It's great. Yeah, Kasper Pierun playing against um, Andrei Sepenko. Yes, Kasper and Nihal is, Serin. is actually a very interesting player. Also, he, is the, he was the world champion in composition. You know, he's uh, oh. sol in solving uh, puzzles. Yes, and yeah. uh, once I visited this event, and it was really interesting to follow this event. It's absolutely different format, yeah. the way they do it. And uh, actually, he's an expert there. Sure. So I don't know if it helps in practical chess. That's a good question, but he's famous to be the one. So, and now we are, we jump to which game right now? I was in Idani against Nihal Sarin. Yes. And I mean, this is, they used to call it the dreaded Maroxi bind. No, it's just a Maroxi bind. It's not dreaded anymore <laughs> because people have figured out what to do. But here we are. And then, Velimirevich against uh, Van Forest Jordan. The question is, are you really going to sack this pawn? Maybe he is. Knight h4, yes. Um, and then something quick and fast, but I'm e not sure what that is. Maybe quick. rook c1 and b4 or something like that, to that effect. Because otherwise it's a, quite a nice pawn for black to have, simply. Yes, and but the question is where black will castle in this <laughs> situation. Better not to castle short, this I can see. <laughs> well, like that, after rook c1. Uh, there is uh, this plan, g6, king g7, king f8, king g7. g7. So yes, possible. the um, relaxed castling format, but it, that also works. Yeah, and Equally, uh, well. I could go back knight g6 and then castle if I, if I wanted, mm -hmm. and play h4, and let's say, and I could castle short. But then h5. Castle I long I seems the least likely, but on the other hand, it's only dangerous for one move. Once the king is on b8, it's pretty safe. So if I go rook c1, it's one move and you have to consider whether you want to... And before king b8, yes, maybe b5, I don't know. Right, uh, somewhere a5 or something. Yes, it's not really... No, I mean, rook c1, I would probably move the knight back to g6, play h4, h4 first, h4, kick yes. you a bit more. Mm -hmm. Maybe queen e7 kicking the knight, so... I, ah, he, in fact, that's why he didn't sacrifice. He just took hedge g5. Yes. So now if I go h4, he'll go what, knight e2? Knight e2, yes. Seems and then uh, who is this good for? And as they always say, why? <laughs> French defenses, it's really hard to judge, but 
I don't know, it looks fine for black, mm. this position. Okay, let's move around. Mm -hmm. uh, Arjun Erikaisi against Bokaro. Arjun playing his favorite London system. Uh, he likes, I think, all the positions you get here. Um, because yes. it's still not been worked out and there's a lot of imbalance here. So the bishop... And h3. Mm -hmm. So he wants to move the bishop on h2 or what? He wants to keep the option and I think if yes. you take, then he'll take with the pawn, uh, leaving the knight without a retreat square. G6. Black will have to do this and come back, but then the knight's a bit wobbly on g7. Mm -hmm. So at least that's the theory. Um, Oops, what, what happened? <laughs> I don't want to disappoint you. This is uh, all theory. Yes. All theory, I'm yes. Sure. <laughs> Everything which looks nice, interesting, yes, it's immediately a theory, yeah. Yes, everybody knows what's going on. I see pieces are hanging, let's say, even if it's theory, we should understand what's going on. Like I see the knight on c8, bishop on the four, so what, would, what do we do? It's white to play, thanks God. <laughs> Yeah, so rook c8. So he went rook d1 based on that queen f4, that is queen e7. Queen e7, check. yeah, unfortunate check. Defended yes. by the knight. And queen And after eight. rook c8, he's gone queen e4. Yeah, this is all normal. Well known. Uh -huh. And now, and now bishop, is bishop f2 check is available. Yes. This was, in fact, a game that uh, Wesley saw played against Levon Aronian. Uh -huh. I think it went something. Uh, yes, like uh, yeah, bishop f2. Descending, you mean? Yes, where they exchanged and they exchanged Levon queens. I mean, maybe this happened. Lost this game, yes. I and Levon actually mm -hmm. lost this in game. Yes. It turned out to be harder than. It, uh, it actually was, yes, uh, yeah. unpleasant. So black. let's see what um, um, what Dennis Lazovic is going to. What his improvement is going to be? Yes, so bishop of two. Yes, I think it's still possible, but you should really know this ending. Yes, and to all the yes. sequences which happen afterwards. And then Yuri Kozubov against uh, Kazan Roman. But I think this doesn't look like a great plan for black. Having said that, um, maybe King H1 is a good move here. Yeah. Prophylactics. Yes, and yes. Yeah. Okay, let's move down a bit. Um, um, I mean, it's a position um, with an isolated pawn, but black looks more or less okay. Sindarov against uh, Sechev. Kirill Shevchenko. Yeah, Ukrainian player who is now representing Romania. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so he just allowed him to capture this and... White is essentially saying, you can have the two bishops, I'll have a rotten pawn structure, you can have the blockade on d5. Yes. Your bishop on e6 is stopping your natural development and um, literally it's it's a line which only works under these specific circumstances, something like that. Anyway, black has tried to liberate himself with bishop g4, mm -hmm. uh, whether white can play rook e1 or h3. Yes, Let's and see. try to use a little bit uh, that they had mm. in development, but if black will manage to do a couple of moves, yes, then he'll be fine and d4 pawn potentially weak if, if, if it all happens. Yes, I think he... Oh, that is uh, an interesting position. Yeah. So London system again. Uh, C3, E6, white frees himself with queen A4, knight D7. Mm -hmm. All this happens. And just to check. Yes, so king of eight. King on F8 itself is not a problem because uh, I'm going to free this, but he's on C4. C4 and all happening very fast. Open. Yes, he's trying to open a little bit the position, yes, and get to the king maybe. Like if D4, that's Queen that's Queen all Queen. very well, but there is this move H4, <laughs> so which we would have uh -huh. to check. What if I do knight E7 here? What exactly does he want? Yeah, because like I don't know, C5 probably you don't want to play. First of all, knight g6, hg6, c6, ah, yes. c6 is uh -huh. a free pawn. So yes. what? Uh, it's a free pawn, yes. What are you going to do with that? Bishop? So if I move the bishop? Where? Oh, good question, yes. And then h4, you mean, is coming, yes? <laughs> I mean, h4, still there is c5, but I can start with bishop d7 and then play h4 and then I'm uh -huh. piece up, aren't I? Yes. 
Now, I understand. Bishop d7, yes, will be strong because the c5, yes, with idea queen d4. Okay, so maybe for knight e7, he wants to go queen b4. Okay. To now, bishop d7 knight. doesn't win anything. Mm -hmm. But first of all, I can now take on c4. Yes, and you cannot take the bishop's hanging. I can play h4. Or h4, yes, and again, if I play c5 here. If you play c5 here, I can take this. Yes, and then on h2, rook h2. Then you will take this, and I have even rook takes h2, wow. as you mentioned. Yes, yes, yes. It's, so it doesn't look great at the moment. I suspect some kind of uh, blunders happened here, but we'll see. Let's move to the women's section and check what's happening there. Uh, Has this happened? Or? No, they're ah, still thinking. They're still That's thinking, it. yes. Okay. Interesting position. We should come back afterwards. But um, let's check the ladies. Yes. What's what's going on there? If we have uh, if we have the games. Yeah. This I don't like so much. So we ha we have the game because uh, the black knight is Humpy quite good. Yeah, Conero Humpy. Conero. However, the, the knight is on f3, e2. If it's on f3, it would come to this nice square and support this pawn. On e2, it might not be so effective. Um, uh, one second. Uh -huh. Like this. Center a bit. Uh -huh. Okay. Desikori against uh, Harika. Uh, Desikori against Harika. Let's let's have a look at this yeah. game. Looks reasonable for black. I mean, a6, rook b8, and c5 at some point. I don't really understand what this pawn is doing on a4. Okay, then... Um, again, quite an interesting line. Uh, which game we're checking right now? Yeah, this is what the McKenna's, right? Mm -hmm. So you go bishop d3, knight a6, bishop g4, and they used to just allow like bishop c2 and take everything on f3, but she goes bishop e2. Yes, to prevent it and d4. And knight d4, and then d4. white continues playing. So that's We don't want to exchange those bishops, right? That's why black moved to g7 back. I think just the computer suggested it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, of course. I mean, if you understand yes. the computer suggestion, even better. But yes. I usually just play it because uh, it's just something. Which game we're checking right now? We cannot see from here. Mirchan against, uh, against Sujina. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm getting that right. And yes, yes, yes. She, she's oh, she's right. Jinna. Has that right? Because uh, she's Chen, so Chen. Chen here. Mm -hmm. Apologize for that. I. What should Black play? Knight c6, maybe. Just immediately pile on the d4 pawn. Yeah, still in the face after the opening. I don't know what White should do. D4 is hanging. E3. And then Knight b4. Yes, doesn't look. Check. Good at all, but what Queen um, Sister also doesn't look good. Knight c6, has it happened? Oh, I'm analyzing, I don't know. There's two. Okay. We'll see. Uh, Anna Muzichuk. Let's go to Anna Muzichuk game. Again, looks like white is just going to win a pawn on d5, or it's going to be quite unpleasant for black. I don't see any easy way to avoid this. Maybe just play bishop c5. Yes, also on e7. Yeah, well, that's why. And yeah, mm -hmm. and then if knight c3, just castle and just castle hope and for let, some compensation. Let this happen. If it goes a little bit further, if you take the pawn, let's see, let's see what happens. I mean, something like queen f5. Hope yes, the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and pray. <laughs> <laughs> That too, Wait, that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looks good for Anna for now. Queen b3, and now I just don't see some. Yeah, just seems quite uh, unpleasant. Padmanir out against the two bishops of Bela Kota Nashvili. Um, maybe there's a small edge that you can play for here. 
was wine, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, <laughs> black is doing great. I think that's clear. And knight might go to f4 later on. Yes, but uh, the not thing is, white has already committed b3, so the c3 will not happen easily, and then uh, it's hard to see what your plan is. Vaishali giving up the two bishops, and um, I think quite a reasonable shot, because uh, I'm threatening to play knight b4. If you go here, I would probably happily play b4. b4, yes. And then if knight comes to b3, then I have some squares, maybe a5, c5, and so on. Yes, Vashal is doing so great, I mean, lately, after mm. winning also this uh, event, uh, Grand Suisse. And what do you think about her as a player? Uh, and what about her skills in rapid chess, Blitz? Look, these days, everybody works on their rapid and blitz skills. And maybe this tournament is one of the reasons why, because it's, uh, it's very prestigious. But, um, yes, she's had uh, an amazing run recently. And uh, the big thing is that she qualified for the candidates. Absolutely, so yes. It doesn't get better than that. Um, she's very resourceful. I think it suits her style, rapid chess. Um, maybe even blitz chess. She's quite resourceful generally. And uh, let's see. Let's see how she does here. Yeah, it's very interesting, yes, which results she shows. I don't remember her results last year, so if, she, if she played even think so but yeah, yeah well, it will be interesting to check it yes so for now what the position she just made a move let's see what that move mm -hmm. was okay it's not coming yet no. um, Jennifer you Salimova played knight d4 here mm -hmm. Mm Again, it looks like a reasonable solution, but um, if I take, can I sack something? I'm thinking, yes, what about f6 <laughs> after queen e4? <laughs> That's the problem. So what, we have to play queen c4? Or that queen maybe. Three, yes, even threatening two pawns. And, but if you do that, then what's my breakthrough? Maybe knight c4 and then I'm playing f5. Five, so yes, f6, wow. I don't know if you can play rook e7 here. Yeah. Mm, maybe the same idea. With knight c4. Just a five or six looks um, yeah. can be unpleasant. Queen b3. Okay, let's see if this happens. Um, Polina Shovalova, that looks Polina like Shavalova. a huge advantage, doesn't it? She's playing. Uh, Pecheva, who beat uh, Alexandra Kostinyuk Kostin, in the last yes. round, mm -hmm. but this looks massive. What uh, about great dark squares, great everything. Absolutely, just like move now. The the pawn is hanging, so how to defend it? And so here, a little detail. She uses this rook. Yes. So that if bishop b7, she still has seven, thing with yes. the other rook. Uh -huh. And if black plays e6, that's a big concession on the dark squares. Yes, it's because. You can put the bishop on f6, and then everybody comes to wow. the king side. <laughs> it's a uh, can be really unpleasant. You know, all the heavy artillery come there. No, move is six. You don't looking want to looking this. very unpleasant for black. Rook d1 was smart. Yes. You can also chuck the pawn and go queen b7 and try to play bishop e6, but nonetheless, the position does simply does not inspire confidence. Mm -hmm. um, Antonetta Stefanova against. Kamali Danova. Yes. Antoinette, also the former world champion, and also mm -hmm. she's very good blitz, rapid player, always fighting for top places. It's looking unpleasant, right? Because now I'm, if I play hit six, uh, your knight has no and squares. Yes. Where to go with the knight? Not f3, not f3. <laughs> so sh shall I play like rook f1 in order at least to move the knight? But you can't. I go hit six. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe so what? Great. Maybe Let's rook e1. Rook e1. But then if hit six and I play e5. Trying to take this knight on d4 now. Correct. <laughs> Threatening the knight. I'm still not very thrilled. <laughs> I mean, I can go c5. You go knight e4, and then I go knight f3. Check. 
and now suddenly the queen is looking at some nice possibilities. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, no threats, no crazy threats, but yes, H5, H4, yeah. maybe later on also. Um, don't we have some compensation with this pawn on D5, which is it, running? It is a asset, but not sure it makes up for <laughs> this position. Yeah, it looks dangerous. Don't want to, to be white. Uh, she is, in fact, doing this. H6, uh, E5. She did play, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably was the only move here to, mm. uh, to save the knight and try to play, try to stay in the game, yes. What else? I mean, ex except C5. Also C5, I can Maybe play this. can DC6. take on DC, DC6, yes, and knight takes. And then knight, knight E4. Four. And yes. Suddenly looks good Look for white. Better, knight D6. Is so fun, maybe yes. rookie one, uh, and she yeah. just overlooked the... Uh, E5 idea. Mm -hmm. Yes. If not C5, then just I will go back to E4, yes. So. You can take the exchange with knight E2, Jack. Mm -hmm. Knight E2, mm-hmm. But then I have knight takes f7 as an option. And it's a very nice. <laughs> uh, knight e4 is an option. Four. Yes. Though here the composition is purely positional. Mm -hmm. And also, if I don't play, know, queen e2, play. hg5, e6 or something. But this is looking a bit mm -hmm. uh, like gambling. Uh, yes, because still this bishop on c1 yeah. feels like maybe not good. But I like the other yeah. option, knight f7 also looked tempting. Samia Swaminathan against Olivia Kielbasa. Is, is White just winning? So this was clearly... Before... Queen if you can't think of the opening name, you can just say C78. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's the old chess informant code. Yes, yes. Oh, but I yeah, White Black them. just got outplayed a bit. <laughs> ah, I thought the point was you had to play B3 somehow. So that you either take this pawn or something. And if you take here, then I take, take this. Two. And now I come around like this and I capture uh, the pawn. You don't take on five with the pawn, yes, okay. So mm -hmm. this move was strange. And suddenly black is doing somersaults not to lose. So black is ready to And this is just true, winning for it. Knight is hanging. I'm not even sure I'm going to win a piece, but it's just uh, I can play queen c4. And, and then b4 and b5, a6, I've got a free a, a pass up or nothing. Just a pawn. That would be quite an upset. Mm -hmm. So, quite interesting to watch that. Um, yeah, um, white is a fairly safe pawn up. I wouldn't. I'm sure black has some compensation because of all these squares on the king side and it's not easy to advance these pawns, but it's still... The pawn is a pawn. Uh, Maybe let's go to the... Ju and Jun. Let's see what uh, Ju and Jun is Jun. doing. We forgot about the world the champion. Women's world he champion. made a draw and that's why maybe yeah. she's uh, not on the top boards. Uh, and now... Maybe knight c3 is the way you have to play it. Then but black is pressing. Whether she'll succeed, we'll see. But um, this bishop is, uh, let's say, better than the knight in this position. What do you think? <laughs> Marginally, yes. And a symmetrical position, like yeah. Okay, so the women's section is interesting. Delicately poised here and there. Let's come back to thing. That's how seeing Magnus is. Yes, he's Matulin, yes. Magnus is uh, known for squeezing water from <laughs> but, a rock. But here. <laughs> but this looks like a pretty hard rock to me. <laughs> uh, I me. don't think he's going to be able to squeeze much out of this one. Actually, I don't know about uh, the rules. How can you make a draw at this moment? Like, can you actually offer a draw? <laughs> I don't think so. Isn't it move 30 I that think you can so, make yes, a draw? It, it is move 30, yes. but uh, I think Magnus will not agree. He will... He will just keep playing. Play around. In this position. See, the thing is, even if... Um, I mean, in a tournament, he's trying to warm up for the thing. Even if he plays a dead-drawn position for a while, uh, you get the feeling of, of, uh, the game, of concentrating yes. more and so on. So he might just want to go through that. Okay. That... Um, Looks pretty safe. I thought this game was quite interesting at the beginning. Ah, it was this one. 
So slightly unusual Sicilian, and then uh, and now I guess my verdict is is just a draw. It should be drawish, yes, and uh, time to bring the kings to the center, I guess. <laughs> Levon, what's happening in his game? It's, ah, yes. So it should be drawish. It looks pretty drawish. G4. Yes. Not even sure why that was necessary, but anyway. Uh -huh. Arian Tari against Peter Swidler. I think equalish. Let's go. To Though, three. if anything, white has got to defend upon here, upon there. So maybe black has a small edge. But uh, I think the expected result should be. No, it is unpleasant for Blair White to play, I think. This position? It's slightly unpleasant. I mean, I'm trying to make moves with White and I'm not enjoying any of them. Maybe it's just me. But, no, but um, actually, where to put the pieces? That's a good point. This knight on c3 maybe doesn't, look, doesn't feel so great. Yeah, I right think now. maybe knight a4 and then c4 is one way to c4. make a few moves. Well, Black. Swedler has gone h4. h4. This is most tempting move at this moment. You might as well just take it, I think, but anyway, I think he will. <laughs> Trying to ruin a little bit the pawn structure and open mm. the diagonal. He has gone bishop. g4. Play g4, yes. Mm -hmm. But once you leave to, if, if you leave with your knight from the center, maybe black will immediately jump on e4 and also mm -hmm. will try to do something. Yes, I, I also have the feeling that... Uh, Peter is a little bit Peter is better, better yeah. in this position, yes. Or maybe just pleasant to play. Yeah. Um. Okay, uh, Richard Rapport against... Ooh. <laughs> How the bond... Is White, <laughs> is white just winning because of G5? And the G5 is unstoppable. It's, but it's black to play right now, no? I understand, uh, yes, but is there a move against for them? Yes, but so he played g5 himself immediately yeah. <laughs> to prevent this idea. G5. And if queen f5 now, what are you going to do? Uh, rook h8 or what? And then e8? <laughs> no, <laughs> come see. on, Anastasia. Uh, come on, let you have see. to figure this out. I think we have our first diagram of the day. Uh, the first diagram of the day, okay. Let me see. No, I mean, I'm By the way, in the audience, it's it's a lovely puzzle, if you like. Yes, let's try to check it, yes. I, 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 we, we cannot just stop here, I think, but so I'll, I'll mention seven. that. Exactly. Yes, then E8. Knight. Knight. Isn't oh that my beautiful? God, it's absolutely great. <laughs> wow. Is he, uh, he's, he's gone Queen H3. Oh, no. Why? It's exactly Maybe the, the same, same thing. It's exactly Maybe the, the same, same. idea. Though it is, uh, yeah, because if Rook H8, he'll just play Queen H8 even. Yes. I like H8, my, I like yes, my yes. version better. No, your version was much better. Much, much better. better. Come on. Queen. These Queen people H are so business-minded, collecting their points. Yes. Beauty. So, absolutely. <laughs> yes. And actually, there, there is, it's a first result we have yes. of this, uh, of the second round. Richard Robert just won the game. Um, I don't know if, if his opponent, uh, he didn't let him to show this. Yes, beauty yeah. at the end. No, Queen F5 was much better. <laughs> Oh, Abdisadavra again crushing his opponent here. I mean, this is already totally lost. Oh, and uh, here already White was in big trouble with the... Uh, the knight on h2 is one of the worst pieces you can imagine, so something happened very dramatically. Oh, uh, what's the moment at which it turned badly? Oh, he went g4. Yeah, we see the uh, Richard is... And knight h2, and yeah, and but... And now it's time to... This knight is a terrible piece out here work. and so on. Yeah. This just did not work out for white. I mean, if you're going to play g4, you might as well get it over with here so that you don't allow f5, <laughs> not after f5. Yeah. So I think some misjudgment there of the position. And so uh, yeah, he we just won the game, yes? Yes, he won the game. So he started two out of two. Both of them two out of two. Richard and uh, Norderbeck are on good start. Actually, yes, this tournament is... I think uh, Norderbeck must be inspired by playing at home. So. Yes, exactly. I mean... Uh, this is uh, Dem Demchenko against Fedosev, and uh, this was that position we didn't know who was attacking on which side, remember? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so... Oh, oh, which, which side? Yes. So what, what, what did he choose to go? He to went bishop b6. Yes. Then changed his mind a few moves later, went a5. Okay. And uh, allowed his bishop the chance to go to a7. Yeah, yeah. 
then they seems to have ha they seem to have had some chaos on the king side. So he decided to to leave the king even in the. Ah, and then he went knight g8 to play f5. Uh huh. D4. So white is trying to answer with. My hunches. This is huge for white. <laughs> Just huge because knight c4, bishop takes c6, knight takes a5, d5, b4, just everything looks lovely. He followed my plan, yes. I mean, but actually, yeah. yes, it, I don't see what, what black this, is doing on this, this side. looks yes, f5. Just what? awe inspiring for white, but th the final position actually looks great for black, so I'm now quite curious what happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's I, I can't uh, commentate this fast, I must admit, <laughs> but there's a lot of action here. Be just well, that's that. nice. Yes, yeah, just, bishop b6. Yeah, because I can. Yes, bishop because, b6. because the knights will <laughs> yes. be... So, <laughs> and now uh, Demchenko is trying to... He must be winning still because it, it is a whole rook. But what is the win exactly? Mm. I don't know, but still it feels like... Did he play bishop takes d6 somewhere? Yes, I think he seems to have played bishop, bishop d6. d6. But what was the... Ah, he was gone king h2, mm -hmm. whereupon rook takes h8 happened, yes. and then bishop takes d6 happened. Uh, I'm not sure what move happened. You couldn't take with the queen, yes, because knight f4, yes. It's a good question, why maybe I, that would be in the trade. I would have preferred that trade yes. for black, but... Uh, did he play g3 check? He did g3 check, and white has come back bishop g3. Wow, that is amazing, because uh, maybe knight g4, who knows who's winning, but... I suspect it's white, because where is the attack? The yes, I mean, if black will not find a way to continue his attack, I mean, probably then he just yeah. doesn't have enough material uh, after all. So black should do something quickly. Let's try an IG4 check. Four, yes, so I don't King H1. One. H1, yes, okay. Yes, because some knight of yeah. three. Can then let me go E3. E3, yes, take. Ah, knight B5, A B5, and I wanted to say knight E3. Uh -huh. And then I was hoping to say that make a case that bishop d5 would help. <laughs> yes. Uh, sorry about the other arrow. Mm -hmm. But uh, in fact, uh, this may work for white, so it's all over the place. Because bishop on b6 is doing uh, too many things. Too right many now. things, yeah. <laughs> defending the knight, defending c7. Yeah, bishop c7 looks really nice. Some more stuff has happened and I have no idea what it is. Yes, so soon we're we going to... He went to rook g8. Whereupon bishop c4 seems to have happened. e3. Yeah, bishop c4 has happened. Sorry, e3. And I think this has happened. Everything with tempo. So, yes. huge uh, win if Demchenko wins because he's beaten Fedosiev, very strong player, and uh, he joins the great group on two out of two. Two out of two, yes. But so can you tell me something after move e three just to understand if I take on e three, let's say then rook g three would have been played or what? I mean I just wonder what black will give something. I think else. it's just maybe knight g four check and knight takes e three. Ah yes and then g three is hanging also and it's, it's slightly as we used to joke hope based. <laughs> but uh, maybe it works. Maybe yeah. So that's I just wanted to see if, if you just take on this yeah. three like what was his But knight C four is a very natural move to make. Yes. Because everything happens with Tempe. And 96 is the threat, and yeah, well actually, w what to play for yeah. black now? Like bishop I don't see, d4? Uh, bishop d4, uh, let me play queen... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, knight d6 <laughs> is a good move. King b8, and now just go queen b3. Queen b3 now I'm threatening yes. mate and the uh, knight. Knight is hanging, yes. Ooh, la la. Yes, so just to check, is bishop d4, if it doesn't help, I don't know what to play after that, If it, even if this move is not working, because black is threatening, white is threatening yeah. just to take the bishop. Quickly, yeah. let's uh, see what's happening somewhere else. Okay, Daniel Dubov is probably winning this. Though there is some compensation there, but it can't be too much. Back to this move for a second. He has gone bishop d4. He did. Okay, let's see if white will find In fact, knight. I would even start with queen b3. Not to play knight uh, d6 check first, but I would start with queen b3. Because then um, the threat is knight a5 dangerous. might be a move as well. So... Uh -huh. Also, is queen a5 bad? Maybe queen a5 is just very good. <laughs> but oh, I can see that this is not the move you want to make. You want to go knight d6, queen b3. Yeah. <laughs> Looks fun. Yeah. They are thinking he, in fact, took on a5. Really? He's it taken on a5. Maybe it's also... And now e2 has happened. Oops. 
and we're just floating in thin air over there. What is? <laughs> no, the idea is maybe he wanted. Uh, he thought there is a checkmate after I don't know some so many checks. Yes, he's gone rook f e one. But wait, look, hang on. I could have played knight b6 check. I thought about it. So bishop takes. Queen, queen takes. takes. And if I take the, with the knight? You take what? <laughs> I take the rook and promote knight. Exactly. It's, it's our second knight promotion. <laughs> yes. Within a few... Yeah, We're taking, yeah. check. Yeah. The point is, if you're taken with a queen, then I can interpolate uh, queen takes b e6 check, yes. winning. Uh -huh. But you do it as a knight. Wow. <laughs> Second, second time. We can make a book after this tournament, you know. Of oh, this one, day one, <laughs> day one. The night, yes. Yes. The night. <laughs> and people will accuse me of liking knights again and all that. But yes. anyway, okay, uh, more seriously, e2 happened, a rook fe1, and he's just gone rook takes g3. Mm -hmm. So if fg3, there's a perpetual with the knight. I don't know if that's what's happening. <laughs> no, he has the option, but now Fedosia wants more. So he's gone uh, rook g3. I should promote this in some way. Um, yeah, maybe I entered too many moves, but anyway. Yeah, I got the news that Magnus actually is winning his ending. This this draw is ending against uh, Denis. Yeah, Kuchner. you shouldn't. Uh... Maybe we can jump there for a second to to check. I see extra pawn on on h file. I see it too, but <laughs> uh, ah, and now the way to break through must be. Oh, and it's just totally one because that uh, ah, so he there is nothing stopping the pawn. Yeah, pawn is just moving. And this is one of these things where you go h4, uh -huh. h3. You take the knight, but h2. And h2, and you can't stop. And, uh, and then you promote the queen, not knight anymore. <laughs> this situation, we promote the queen. Yes. <laughs> just I think here, I think here we can just go with. <laughs> <laughs> we go for queen. So okay. In fact, uh, he has already won the game. I don't know if that's what happened, but uh, yes, he did. He did. Okay. This should be. A draw? Yes. Because I go king e2 and then I just take on e3. e3, yes, and then you cannot take b8. It's coming, yes. yes. I see. So maybe let's go back to Fidusev. Oh, I see yes, one more they game. Have drawn, it's finished. Yeah. It's, it's, yes. Mm -hmm. But it's yeah, we need to go back to Fedosev because yeah. that is so uh, quite. Very exciting game. I mean, one, <laughs> one of the. And he still has the option to go to. make a draw. And. I mean, I say he has the option. I don't think he has any other option. Mm -hmm. So he might have to take this. He, they have, in fact, drawn. They, they, they oh, that was a colossal game. <laughs> look, look at the same. And he's smiling, probably. He looks pretty relieved, <laughs> doesn't he? I think I think he 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 knew how busted he was, and and Anton uh, knew it as well because Anton gave a look of he doesn't look what the hell did I do? <laughs> yes, exactly. But we we had a night promotion. That was our only game. Uh, that's the only thing we're doing in the commentary. Yes, yes. Trying to spot knight promotions. Sitsipov beat Salem. Oh, he just swamped him in pawns. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, it was some King's Indian, b4, e4. Oh, he won an opposite color bishop thing. Um, Pawn up still, but not that easy. Yeah. So maybe black should just play b6 in these positions. Mm -hmm. Slightly committal, but on the other hand, uh, uh, what happened in the game? There is no c5 stuff happening. Uh, c5 is not happening after b6. With you can, c6 but then I can take ideas. everything. No, I can. You take everything. Oh, I, you're trying to make a I'm trick here. I'm trying to do some yeah. tricks. This is the only thing. I would I say that it's not really going to help you much. Yes. I mean, because I can play rook a5 or something, or rook a6. Mm -hmm. And yes. you it didn't feels achieve. like I'm doing something, yes. but in fact, yes, it's like yeah. just. But in fact, uh, the game slowly then went south. And a5, and mm -hmm. it just uh, rolled in. Oh yes, okay. Then <laughs> this one is not doesn't look good at all. Yeah, black tried to and create rook some f kind of. Oh, I thought ah. rook f3, but then maybe he didn't like queen b1. Three. He went rook d3 instead, and that's just very good technique. Yeah, Thank you very much. exchange the, everything and have just... Okay, so that's problems. a big win. Nihal Sarin is also two out of two. See, so he managed to uh, slowly outplay his opponent. So very good start for him. Uh, I think the first game as well, he squeezed something out nicely. So uh, Vidit is winning. So this is another... So Vidit... Uh, Arjun and Nihal on two out of two. Two out of two, yes. And so I mean, big start it's, for it's the Indians. Because of, uh, I see the checkmate uh, <laughs> thread, but what Black can do? 
Nothing. Nothing, because uh, yes. you have to defend the F6 Knight as well. Yes, that's yes. your problem. Yeah, with it has one, and he's just looking at this. He's so. just going around. Yes, we, we can see him. He's following the other games in uh, right. the screens, uh, the playing venue. Uh, Sipenko. He's basically saying you can sit on all these nice light squares, but you can't do anything to me. So. Oh, really? It looks uh, not so great. It's like Arjun uh, finished. Oh, in fact, he took with the knight, so he didn't even bother with uh, uh, the pawn. So but he gets his f4 and then the big lock. Yes. So this did not work out for black. And then he starts a lot of nice maneuvers. And now he's going to play against the d5 pawn as well. Mm -hmm. The runabout here, I'm not completely... It looked like... I thought white should have something faster, but... Uh... It, it looks dangerous for both sides, you know, everybody's... Hmm. Both kings are <laughs> opened and... But the knight I don't know is what... moving all over the place. Yes. And the knight, I don't know how many, how many moves he has done with knight, I mean... Quite a lot. <laughs> Quite a lot. But yes. suddenly then the whole thing changed. I wonder if he yes. could have taken on G5 with the pawn or something like that. But anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I wish we had more time to look at every game because yeah. there's so much content here. Yeah, unfortunately, but it's <clears throat> really hard to do. But we will have some guests who will follow some games and also show uh, Let's just see if, if Peter Swidler is... <coughs> hmm? Peter Swidler has made considerable progress. He's now a clear pawn up. The only thing White has going for himself is that... Um, the, this king on the dark squares on the yeah. king side. Mm -hmm. Shall we check the women? We haven't checked yes. them for a while. Let's, let's see what's going on. Yes, in women's section. Okay, Ju and June. This looks equal. Yes. Better for black, but still. Because because of the bishop and uh, yeah. bishop and rook. <coughs> <coughs> this game went uh, pretty much as we mentioned. Oh, in fact, she went knight b4, not even... Yes. Yeah, uh, sorry, knight d4 would have lost the exchange, but knight b4... Uh-huh, because of uh, what? Maybe... Ah, yes, nice, and knight b6. Knight b6. <laughs> yes. You always forget these moves. Excuse me, you always forget these moves. Queen takes yes. at 7. H7 is nice. But white's problem is, uh, despite all that, you still lose the exchange, so... But lovely, at least. It, I mean, it's nice to play this move in the game. It's good, just, you know... For fun. Vaishali won. So she has also like two out of two? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In fact, um, those two bishops didn't add up to very much and the breakthrough happened here. Mm -hmm. Check. You just check, and yes. back and That's it. Thank you very much. So that was... Uh, Her second victory nice. in the tournament, yes. Jennifer, you did lose. Uh, After... Winning the first round. Yeah. The choke, yes. Oh, here she was a piece up, but then she lost anyway. Oh. I mean, she's just a clear pawn up, sorry, not piece up, pawn, uh, up. pawn up. Yes. Clear pawn up, but, um, oops. Yes, just missed, missed this one, yes. Mm-hmm. Nice. Or more to the point, again, maybe, uh, she, maybe she missed that this is check. check. Oh, sorry, there's G2 as well, so excuse ah, me. Ah, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> This is fine. Yeah, probably she missed this, and now, yeah, I mean, still trying. Bishop G6, yeah, but um, pawn and then is lost. And then lost pawn yes. okay, so that was pawn nice. Shivalova duly won that game, mm -hmm. we expected that. Um, Padmini root uh, drew against Pelagot Nashvili. Any games we're missing here? Conero Humpy. Oops, I see. <laughs> I see a lot of, I see a lot of knights. There. <laughs> I see a lot of future knights. D7, D8 equals knight. C7, C8 equals knight. I think we're going to have a treat. But there is this um, I don't rook check H3 me. thing, a little detail over here. Yes, a little bit annoying detail. But I don't know, maybe you can you, you can sacrifice like your queen even, no? <laughs> no, it's too much. I think it's like D7, rook H3. Did she have to play bishop E4 check? Oh, she didn't have to play bishop e4 check. Uh, and then h3 square would be covered, right? So she could have played d7 right away or what? 
I don't know about Minima. D7. I think C7 C7, works. for example. Because if you take this. this. Okay, first of all, I could take this. And, and then when you do E4. that, I go queen E4. Uh -huh. And when you do you that, then I take an ID7. And D7, yes. Uh -huh. So she's gone bishop E4 check, after which king H8 will happen. And suddenly, uh, rook suddenly H3 rook is... Three, the threat, yes. Um, let, let's sh let's show it a little bit, like king h8 and uh, I don't know d7 or c7 and rook h3, queen h2. Like what what's going on there? I mean it's then rook h3, queen h2. Take that queen g3, or maybe I can take with the rook. Oh, bishop b4. I, it might be a move that she blitzed out because even if it still works. <laughs> I think white would much rather have not very, done it. Very I mean, c7 you know, is you, very tempting. You, you also, but bishop before also, you think that you will promote with the ch with check. You know, that's, yes. that's a point. Like you play But suddenly before. that is this um, rook h3 but check in the game. What what to do now? I mean, for example, I I see that even after d7 there is this rook h3, and um, I mean, probably you cannot take with the rook later on. Yes. Uh, because just queen e7 or I don't know something. Very very complicated position and you have to play it with just minutes, seconds on, on your clock. Really hard. If there is a win, it's almost impossible to find that, I would say. Yeah. So bishop e4 is just a very hasty move, I suspect. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, there are some ideas. Oh, you, you make the move because it looks so strong yes. and, then, and then you see rook h3 and mm -hmm. then you think, whoa. I, I see also this queen a1 idea, a, a1 idea, right? And knight g4 mate, and, yeah. Yes, also this is... Oh, so you cannot even play c7, because yes. then queen you know, a1 and knight g4 mate, yeah. Just spotted, yes, and I see that it's... Also not B, bishop g2 back might be the best move. Wow. Which gives you a sense of how bad this is. Yes, if bishop g2 is the best move here. But even after that is queen a1, no? Yes. You still... Yeah, you have all this pawns and they're so close to be promoted but uh, the threats of black are quite strong and yeah you yeah that's fight. a tough uh, tough one for her to in fact i, I think rook the game is over rook one queen h uh, no nothing is working no i'm just i was just trying to find the way yes but wow and, and right. if this happened then it's uh, this was the result this was so they're not yet given mm -hmm. updated the result but uh, yes, queen a1 was very strong Yes. And it seems, it looks like a draw. This yeah, direction. Harika drew. Yeah, drew, yes. Uh, oh, and this is a perpetual, is it? Yeah, it's a perpetual. Ah, you can't make progress, so you have to repeat, and so it's a draw, yeah. Wow. And we can see that why black is, uh, white is repeated from move well, to six How to did it happen? Do you sacrifice, white sacrifice something for this perpetual? I mean, because it's, it's rook up for, for black now. Okay, yeah, you could take something like this. Oh, black was totally winning. <laughs> But then, uh, oh, that was quite a beautiful trick. Yes, Swindle. Yes, let's see. So, Bishop Rook winning. One. King G4. King G4, okay. Yeah. Why, why King G8? Okay, it's, uh, the, maybe there, there were some threats. Bishop G5, Bishop G6. Ah, wow. And then, yes, yeah, so... <laughs> Nice, nice idea. Yes, you just uh, have this perpetual check, and black cannot escape. Looks beautiful. Yes. What, could, could black avoid this perpetual? That's a question. Take on the six. Yeah. I think uh, rook takes a four check. Rook takes a four. Mm -hmm. Take on this. Six. And just play b5 and uh, go for ah. it. You know, hawking d6, you know, yeah, some order. Because yes, yes. I also have rook g1 check protecting g7 for a while, and then I push my ah, pawn with This is nice, yes. That should rook be just seven, a win, yeah. Rook g7 doesn't work, yes. That mm -hmm. was clever. Wow. Is this the final position? Maybe it is, yeah. Yes. Okay. Then it's rook. So quite a tragic turnaround for Absolute, Humpy. Absolutely, yes. Mm -hmm. um, Probably she was winning before. I think with those pawns, it's yes. possible not to be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, quickly going back two. to the men. Yes, in the world. Yes, very much. Uh, oh, is this still winning? I thought it was totally winning a while back. I mean, very long way back. Here I thought it was winning, but uh, I was not sure how many how these pawns will move. But uh, it seems that he managed to uh, get it home. Yes, so they ended up in this... So what is happening here? F2. Yes. 
<coughs> if I go king d4 and b5, maybe it's just a draw. Or I can just play b5 here. B5. Because if rook c5, then I go b6, and you go rook b5, I just go rook f6, and I keep checking you on the sixth. Uh, so your king cannot win very easily. I said I would guess king d4 is a draw anyway. Because it's really impossible to what he was playing. Yeah, so he did king d4, king e2, b5. Mm -hmm. And he's now happily repeating a few times. Yes. He with the king, so it's a draw. It is a draw. Not yeah. Actually, build the bridge. Nothing in this position because the other pawn. Though it doesn't, no. it doesn't even matter because uh, here uh, I could have played b6 if I wanted. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's it should be just a simple draw. draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Piorun Casper uh, is winning against Andre Sipenko, so okay. that's a big uh, that's a big upset. Upset for Andre. Yeah. So it's just like two pounds up for for White. We remember that Andre was. Yeah, I remember. Uh, yeah, not not this nice. really Between solid position. Nights. Yeah. Yes. How did uh, it go wrong? Oh, D4 happened somewhere. It's a problem that these positions you think they're frozen and then suddenly you realize that they're not. It's not that easy, yes. Oh, but it feels that white is like kind of enjoying yeah. space and yeah, and then when the rook comes on c seven, yes. He just won all those pawns. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and he just won the pawn. Yes. So the key move for white was just uh, knight e five, collecting uh, one more pawn and it was over. Okay. Um, I think very important win for Magnus. Let's see how it happened, actually. Uh, you mean descending? Yes, yes because, uh, because it looks because like it was totally play. equal. Yeah. We decided with you that it's not possible. Yeah. But maybe Dennis played a little bit. Uh, this seriously. all looks great. Yes. What did he miss? I don't know. Knight g3 now is the threat. But and if king f3, knight d2, what? Maybe here he missed something. I think what he might missed, uh, missed uh, is just that the knight is trapped for him. Mm -hmm. Ah. Because if he goes here, oh. then king f8, and it's not. She is not coming home. So. Um, <coughs> Yeah, somewhere here he... It was a little bit... ...too ambitious. <laughs> Would you accuse White of ambition in this game? Uh, not really. <laughs> really, no. <laughs> not really, yes. But... I mean, here's something totally passive, like... Uh, ...G had 6, G had 6, Knight H1. Knight e4, knight e4 and then king d3 and just king sit d3, so that just only the knight is ready to defend this h pawn but uh, people hesitate to play these moves mm -hmm. okay, and there's always the danger something can go wrong and also you do, don't like to play with your knight to the edge of the board but uh, sure. even though but when it's, uh, uh, when it's necessary it's necessary right <laughs> no but i mean literally if you if you show it even on the, on the board right yeah. i mean knight is on h1 king is on d3 <laughs> yeah and here yes it's uh, the pawn became unstoppable. And he got yes, it. Of three. So he attacked three pawns to get this thing. It's beautiful. Yes. He attacked the A4 pawn. Yes. Which required white to king to step away. There, yes. Then he attacked the E3 pawn. Now this required this knight to abandon this blockade. Mm -hmm. And then he And then he squeezed his knight into it's F3 yes. and then it won. So oh. uh, Look, if Magnus catches up, this will, we will have to remember this game as being a very important step because it, uh, he's now trailing the everyone, mm -hmm. but by half point, not he by a full point. Half, yes, yes. So, no, it's a uh, victory for him. Yeah. But, um, he just, I mean, it's kind of magic, yes, when you see such games, <laughs> when he manages to win them. Yeah. Anton Korobov against Daneshwar, I guess that's a sort of an upset. Um, Now we're checking. They're still playing, right? Or they have. It's a zero one. 
Oh, it's show zero one. Yeah. So. Oh my God! I mean, this is uh, the old Meran, old, old, old Meran. Maybe even this was the line that when they b before they decided the name the Meran. <laughs> I think this was the uh, the line that uh, happened. Of course, nowadays there are so many twists in this. So the phones are running. Who will come first? But again, you see the beauty. Uh, A5, F6, A6, King F7, A7, Rook A8, and Black is just in time to stop everything. Exactly, yes. And yeah. I mean, I, w I would feel still stressed here, but... Well, and and Black is hitting back with a pawn of uh, his own. D2, yes, so peace, and block the other pawn. And then slowly disentangling. Mm -hmm. And there we are. Yeah, so. And it's game over. And so. game over, take the pawn on a7, piece up. Yeah. Yeah. Impressive win. Yes. Yeah, very, very, very nice, like, clear victory. Any other interesting games? Uh, Evgeny Nair was upset. Simon Jake. I wonder if we have any games still uh, live at this moment, but. Yeah, there may not be that many games live. Humpy did lose. Yeah, this position. Um, Juven Junch probably played, made a draw, right? I remember it was, the position was drawish. Let's find out. Mm -hmm. She's not at the... Ah, she was not on, on the first On the first yes. board. Mm -hmm. um, so Miss then actually lost that one. It looked totally winning, but she seems to have blundered something. Let's see. Um, okay, exchange and pawn up. Yes. <laughs> so, the clear. Oh, her queen just ran out of squares somewhere. And okay, just see to prevent knight to go to f4. Yes. H4. Ah, oh, and suddenly all the, the knights are jumping here. And I think she just oh. got confused in a tactical melee and. Mm -hmm. More tricks, and now, more yes, tricks in the air. Couldn't take on e4. Yes, and d2. Yes, and now if rook d1. Queen a4. Would you play queen? Ah, no, queen first. <laughs> bishop is still there. Yeah, and yes. uh, if you go bishop b1, then queen takes queen c4. Takes Finally, c4. this now, trick works. Yes, it works. <laughs> because queen c4, knight e3 check. That's so true, yes. yeah. Um, big mischance for her, but uh, shows Olivia's resourcefulness. Mm -hmm. Or at least her ability to keep finding only moves. <laughs> so, and uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait for the standings. I don't know if we are. Ah, Juven Jun was a draw. Yes, yeah, Juven Jun was a draw. draw. So, so I think I think there's still one game happening in the open section, if I'm not mistaken. Right now, maybe you can show us in the plain venue where the game. I don't see which one this, yes. but anyway, uh -huh. I'm sure it's there. Yes. If ah, there's a the red one, which is no. I, uh, I see Brinkford. Uh, 11, Eleven table. Yes. That. Yeah, uh, Piorin against Sesipenko. Yes, so he managed to win, yes, this game. So it was the last game. Did of he win it? Did. Because here I, it's not obvious to me that he is <laughs> winning. Yeah, good good point. It would be nice to know the result of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a win, but uh, yes. it's not clear to me that there is, because already yes. there's a B3 pawn, mm -hmm. and uh, we're well within the opposite color bishop uh, I margin. So. I I see. I, I, I can't. Uh, win yeah. too, so it may, maybe he managed to survive in this in this game. Yes, I don't know how it happened because he had two bishops. So what happened to, to, to the second one? Yes, it, it was. Uh, no, that's fairly clear in the sense that uh, he went check here, and this happened. They're still at the table. They say that they're still playing. Yes. Hmm. Well, that wasn't them. Ah, the okay, so in fact, uh, he managed to be very passive, get back. I thought um, the reason I stopped paying attention is I thought e5 would have happened. Mm -hmm. Because once e5 happens, then you can stop worrying about uh, opposite guard bishops purely because yes. I've got my, my pawn is crossed. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. So, maybe there was 93 was just very slow because he never got, he, he just, uh, till the end of the game, that pawn's on e4. Yeah, e5 <laughs> would be, you, you take also space, yes. And yeah, I thought, I, I, I mean, we stopped following this game because I thought e5 was just game over. Uh, let's see, what, what did he like, bishop d1 after e5 or what? I don't understand, like, 
Mm. Maybe the, the, Clearly okay. that bothered, something bothered yes. him. Yes. But first of all, I can attack you with knight e3 and kick your bishop yes. out. Yes. So Second, I can even do my other thing, which is knight d6 and say, maybe I'm winning this. Even this, of course, with the extra pawn. Of course, course it's too position. strong because uh, there is some, the bishop will stay alive. How do, how do I get g4 and so on? Mm -hmm. But it's true, here, exactly here I don't have a square, because if I do this, you come bishop f3, and then you play g4, g5. First you make yeah. sure the bishop is out here. Yeah. So, quite strange, okay. <clears throat> let's see, it'll be interesting to know what uh, I think that, happened in this game. Let's see the final position now, maybe they're still playing, as I understood, this, this game, like what, what's going on right now. I think that's the, the last game of the round. You see the, the, the pawns? I don't know about you, but it looks to me <laughs> like uh, this is... It doesn't uh, look like White is winning right no. now. Um, like should, should I wouldn't go so far to say White's in trouble, but <laughs> White's not winning. I should be careful. Uh, yeah. The pawn on B2 is uh, not a pleasant surprise, and King is maybe heading to A2 if you allow him to do so. The thing is, even if you play B1, my king will go to king e4, f5, and I'll play g5, and I'm still there. Okay. So you, you got to be uh, <laughs> realistic. Yeah. So it should be a draw, yes, in, yeah. at this moment. So probably Sipenko managed to escape. Yes. So big save for him. Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, probably it was not really nice to play at this moment, yes. Yeah. So the next round actually will start in 10 minutes. Stay with us, don't run anywhere. I mean, it's going really fast. It's rapid chess and everything is moving <laughs> really, really good. Two more night yes. promotions and we have and our book. Exactly. So we have to, we need a few more rounds. Yes. To yes. Go. Actually, we have five rounds for open section and four rounds for women's section. It's Today, yeah. different. Uh, for, for women, they have less. It's 4-3-3 uh, three, three for the women, right? Yes. It's and 5-4-4 five, four, four for the men. 5-5-4-4 five, five, four, four, four men, yes. Correct. Exactly. So uh, just for you to know, if we have uh, half empty playing hall at the end of the day, don't don't be scared. <laughs> all is fine. It's all in, in the schedule. Um, so uh, I don't know if all the games are over. Probably not, but maybe we can see the results already. If it's possible, we could have checked a little bit what, what was happening during the round. Maybe they can put up the results now. So. Yeah, so l let's let's see what, what happened on the top boards. We remember that Magnus managed to win his game, even though he had half a point. One and a half points is a bit important. Now we see the playing hall almost empty, almost empty, yes, and uh, you know, there is a special area for players where they can uh, have some, uh, you know, refreshments and uh, stay there and uh, have some rest be between the rounds. It's very important, I think, to have such area for the players. Um, I remember it was a fantastic area in uh, Saudi Arabia, also with some kind of <laughs> action yeah, happening there. Saudi Arabia was one of the best, yes. I remember one that. Of, one of the best events, yes. yes. But also here, I mean, I think the conditions are very, very good for players and uh, the organizer, uh, organizers did a really great job, you know, to make the conditions very comfortable. All the plane, all the hotels actually are not far away. It's yes. walking distance, it's, it's always ideal. important not to travel by bus uh, to the plane venue, so everybody can just walk. Um, um, it's, it's actually a nice, nice walk nearby uh, this complex and reach the Congress very quickly. So actually, we, we will see the results after the advertisement. So now we go for the short ad advertisement and uh, let's see you on the other side of the, of the break.
name is Anish Giri. I am a top grandmaster from the Netherlands. The alliance and the recommendations that I give are well suited for players of all levels. So I really explain a lot of concepts, but also a lot of basic things. Now it's your move. Don't waste any time. Hit that buy button. Welcome back to our live broadcast of the World Rapid Blitz Championship. We are about to begin round three. As you can see, the spectators are ready, waiting for the players to arrive. The players will probably wait until the very last second to sit at their boards. There has been um, a lot of interesting chess happening the last few games, very tactical. Lots of announcements. <laughs> uh, of course, we're waiting for the players to uh, come uh, arrive and sit. We're about to begin in like a minute and a half. On board one in the women's, we have Zhu Jenner. She had an amazing previous game. Very tactical, as is the nature of fast time controls. You'll see a double whammy queen sacrifice. Go check that out. I'm excited to see what else is going to happen this round. Of course, we've been seeing a lot of draws as well. I suppose players are trying to keep it safe this early in the tournament, but let's see. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's follow our participants walking in and they are trying to navigate this maze of spectators. As you can see, there's this cool red carpet effect of keeping the spectators in one side. Um, of course, no cell phones allowed during the match. But uh, before, of course, they'll try to get as many interviews and photos as possible. We are about to begin waiting for the top boards to arrive. And uh, yeah, tensions are high. We're still very early <laughs> in the tournament. 
let's take a look at the players on this side. Here we have Aronian's Fiddler, Vidit, of course, we know he likes to be calm before his games. And uh, yeah, lots of exciting chess happening here today. <laughs> And uh, back to the live broadcast in studio. And thank you, Charlize. She was just uh, in the playing hall. Round three is about to start. And here we are for the FIDE World Rapid and Blitz Championships in Samarkand. Let's have a look at the pairings. Round three is approaching. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. But first of all, we see the plane hole. Oh, there's still five minutes left. Yeah, ah, still five minutes. Wow. I thought that uh, the round is going to start very soon. Yeah. But uh, I mean, we, players need this time to get to the boards and to. Uh, yes. So the bearings will, will be shortly. And um, at the moment, we can just see, I don't know, so many players. Um, it should be more than 300 or about this number uh, in the playing venue right now. And um, I mean, including if we also count the journalists, all reporters and uh, media from all around the world, with, which covers this event, uh, should be many, many people right now there. Uh, and um, the stage is reserved for the top boards. And um, of course, the first board is uh, reserved for Magnus Carl who is uh, defending of his <laughs> last year in Kazakhstan. He won uh, the World Rabbit Championship and then also Blitz Championship. It was very, very impressive uh, moment when he managed to win this last game against Nodirbeck. You remember? <laughs> we, 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 they keep showing this in the, 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 in the promotional video. Yes, and it was a really exciting moment. So, I was next uh, uh, yeah. to this board at, at that sure, time. And the also... He came late as well? So what, sorry? Is that the game he came late? No, no, he came late against Kovalev. Ah, I remember when he was running, remember, from the mountains <laughs> last year, yes. No, he, he, he was on time because it was last round um, already and it um, was a very important moment for him because he knew that he, he had to win. And um, I actually like the fact that when Magnus managed to achieve something that he expressed himself. Uh, of course, in chess we cannot scream, we cannot do anything crazy, but at the same time to show to the public, yes, that this is the moment. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it's important. Uh, I don't know. Vish, what have you done when you won uh, the World Championship for the first time? <laughs> you know, a quiet fist bump and uh, mm -hmm. you're just happy. And uh, I think you, you, it's very hard to contain it. Uh, in some of my, my matches, you know, my teammates, I mean, my, my team would come running to stage yes. and congratulate and so on. So you get these dramatic, happy... Uh, moments, yeah. yeah. But you know, in chess world, I mean, somehow we are taught that we shouldn't, you know, express too much in front of our opponent who is actually having not the greatest time in his life when if he loses the game or the match. So we have the pairings right now, and uh, I mean, let's let's have a look. Uh, <laughs> so Jinnar against uh, Gary Fulina. Gary Fulina, yes. Kjell Basa against Vaishali. Salimova against Purkashian. Tahir Jonava against Shovalova. Against Shovalova. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, Jai Mo, yes. Yes, uh, and we have nine, so what, 17 people on two points. In the yes, so th that's, that that's, gives you an idea of the perfect scores. But I don't see the top players, actually. <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't see. But they are, so if many you take top one and a half, players. they'll be there. So I think uh, yes, there haven't exactly. been too many who have had big, succumbed to big upsets. Yes. So the, we had the women's section, and perhaps we can go now to the, section, open, yeah. the, the open section. Ah, so we don't still have them, yes. Oh, interesting. Yes, so still... Because they finished the game the, uh, the latest, so first we got uh, women, women pairings. Um, I see like, uh, Katerina Lagno has one and a half point, and she plays on the board number nine. Um, Harika actually has uh, the derby with uh, Padmini Root. Indian derby. So, 
uh, survival Vivisara plays against uh, Anastasia Bodnaruk. Um, Vivisara actually the current also world champion in uh, in blitz, not in rapid, yes, but she also very, very good blitz, um, rapid player and also won a medal, um, not in the, pre in the previous event, but uh, let's say two years ago. Um, so very very strong player as well it's interesting if she will manage to win maybe the world blitz uh, for the third time in a row because she won two of the previous editions so now we can see that players actually are it started okay. to Michael come to the Paulson board is over. playing Tegren Petroshin, yes. not a legendary one, of course. <laughs> Equally legendary, if you like, but yeah. But <laughs> and then we have the two pointers, Bonkaratov against Richard Rapport, Abdusatarov against SL Narayanan, Yu Yangi against Shu, um, Murzin Morgan. against Vidit, hmm? Nihal Seren against Arvin Chidambaram, uh, <laughs> Ganeshwar against uh, Arjun Erikaisi, so many players with two points. I'm trying yeah, to see 14 boards. against Yakubov. Yes, for, for 14 boards it means like so 28 two players. So in the top, top two. Top two, with yes. With a 100% score. Exactly. But in fact there are 14 into, no, 13 into two. So 26 players on a perfect I, score. I, I see the board, uh, the board 14 still has two points, right? Correct. But ah, yeah, you but remove with a Magnus. Magnus. <laughs> remove so Magnus. if you do that, it's 13 into 2 and then you get... Uh, so you're right. I mean, this is a very difficult calculation. <laughs> For me, we have to remove Magnus always. Yes. <laughs> yes so but 26 players on a perfect score, so still... Yeah. But we have five rounds today. I think by the end we'll have one or two people only. So oh, on the lead, yes. But now we can see the the fans. It's really nice that we have the spectators in the venue. Uh, something which was missed, of course, during the COVID period of time, and uh, now you can see them walking uh, around. Some of them they have uh, mobile phones. If I'm not mistaken, it's possible to have it for maybe for a couple of minutes, and then they have to remove or have the special permission if you are in uh, have me me media page. So I think the games are about to start. We yeah. can see the arbiter who just pushed the, started the, the clock. And okay, yeah, Karo Khan with Ponkrato and Richard Rapport. Good, mm -hmm. good beginning. Ninety <laughs> two. Uh, the whole venue everybody's already there actually if you are late for the games you it's it's okay it's up to you mm -hmm. there is no fine, fine yeah. and uh, there is no anything like z no z zero tolerance rule anymore so it's all only up to you if you want to count 10 minutes later it's okay you can you can can do it and play with five minutes for example or if you count both. 12 minutes late you can play three plus ten <laughs> exactly which is a slightly better version than three plus two <laughs> Yes, so it's still possible. Yes, I remember very well, like last year when Magnus was running uh, yeah. to his game on the on. I think it was Blitz already, but yes. Yeah, so it's it's up to you. You can come later, but of course you would prefer to to come earlier because even 15 minutes are not that much for rapid chess. And uh, we see the moves on the on the board of Nodderberg. Noderbeck repeating this line, which actually didn't work very well for him in the first round, but I, it may be a system that he prepared for this tournament. Maybe. And uh, that's why he's using it in every round. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, when he was asked the question, Noderbeck, about what do you prefer, strategy or tactics, he, he chose strategy. Mm. What do you think about it? Because I thought actually that he is very, very good in um, solving, in uh, calculating variations, and uh, I was a little bit surprised with his answer. Like, how how do you uh, assess his style and, or let's say, I mean, the way he plays? I also think he's uh, tactically very alert. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, the question is kind of uh, I have no idea what the question, what you do with the question. It was question. just two, two yeah, uh, short questions. What do you answer? Yeah. You say, do you prefer strategy or tactics? Um, yes. Can you really, on every move, can you really be evaluating the consequences of that? So I think. Uh, Maybe it's just your personal choice in a way that maybe you are good in, in tactics, yeah. but at the same time you kind of feel that strategy is something what you would like maybe even to be the best. I love these camera views. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. I, I saw the small cameras uh, just near the pieces and uh, it, it gives absolutely amazing view. Um, 
think first it was invented um, by Leonard Leonard's team during this Grand Swiss mm -hmm. um, uh, tournament, and um, of course all spectators were very happy <laughs> to see the players from this angle, which was like a very original one. Reminds me a little bit of uh, you know Queen's Gambit movie. This, this kind of <laughs> so we, we, just, we don't have moves still, yes, um, at the moment. But we can we can see the board right now from the position of Noderbeck. I'm I'm really sure that he will try to repeat his success, uh, which happened in Warsaw uh, in 2021, uh, when he managed to win uh, World Rapid Championship. And uh, I think this tournament made him made him very famous. You know, after this victory, Noderbeck. Uh, be I mean, was clear became clearly one of the top top chess players in the world, uh, and um, I was actually very much surprised that uh, when I was in Warsaw and I was doing the press conference with him right after he won the tournament, mm. uh, he was like um, uh, <laughs> telling me. I was I asked him, "How happy are you? You just won the event," and he was like, um, was very very serious, and he said like, uh, "It's not that important. Tomorrow I have another tournament starting World Rapid World Blitz, so I have to get." Ready. You know, he didn't let himself to be happy even, you know, he was concentrated already on the next event. I think it's very important attitude, but uh, I don't know, if I would have won something like that, I would be so happy. But he was so calm, well, very impressive for very me. Very impressive indeed, yes. Mm -hmm. And now we can see him on, on the screen and... Uh, Yes, of course, he's a big star in Uzbekistan and uh, also especially after the team won uh, Olympiad in India. Uh, chess uh, are booming here, um, I think. And uh, I know actually, Vishy, that you played uh, a few times in Uzbekistan, right? I, I remember the matches with uh, Rustam Kasim I, That's it. And uh, yes. I didn't actually play after that. I came for a couple of exhibitions and so on. So. Ah, okay. So. Simuls and things like that. So. What was your feeling, let's say, what, about uh, chess in Uzbekistan uh, at the time? What about this match? Did it have uh, a lot of attention at the times? Yes. Uh, it was awkward for us because he had been my uh, second in two matches already. And <laughs> I didn't know what to play against him. And, <laughs> he knew uh, everything. Just. <laughs> I think he also didn't know what to play against me, so he, he just tried to play chess, play some non-theoretical line. And uh, But uh, somehow, I remember one really awful game I won, uh, but the other two wins were kind of clean. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that match, yes. And I also thought about it, that, you know, working so closely just before that, I mean, makes it maybe a little bit strange to play then against yeah. each other. Ah, yes. Yeah, we are. Yes, so we we now have the... So maybe we can go to directly to the game of Noderbeck, if possible. Now that we were talking so for so long about him, yeah, <laughs> here we are. No, let's let's see his game. Still some theory. I'm sure you will tell me something like that. Yes, it's all known. I'm <laughs> I'm not seeing a five ninety six, but. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Normally, F3, you're going to meet with uh, C5 somehow. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to see if that is indeed what happens, or if there's some other detail. Maybe you can play C6 um, with some tactical ideas. You could play C6 here, and then uh, I see I see a trick. Yes. You have suddenly this move. Nice. So there's always some little detail like this. And if I Oh, yes, and if is fourth. But on the other hand, if you just keep waiting and you go bishop b1, at some point I'll have to play c5. So I guess I might even want to just play c5 on my own here. Immediately, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it will be interesting how the game will develop. Um, we don't have the moves uh, still on the board. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, c5 has happened. Has happened, yes. Oh, I see. Yes, C5, C5 has C5. happened. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just quickly scan for other things. Okay. Magnus against uh, Tigran Petrosian. 
And I have seen this with the bishop on e2, but this is an unusual version. Uh, so it used to be called the, what, the bayonet attack. And uh, when I say Tigran Petrosan, I cannot, you know, just recall immediately this video when uh, they played this game with Polish player who fell down from the chair in Warsaw. Ah, yeah, 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 of course, yes. Like every That's, time that I was heroic, yeah. Immediately, <laughs> this, whole, this video comes. I mean, it's just amazing story. If yeah. you haven't watched it, I mean, you should definitely find it in, on YouTube channel. Epic. <laughs> Absolutely. That was a classic. Yes. Ponkratov, I mean, my hunch is he's just doing very well. This is very pleasant for white. And black has just played f5 in an attempt to uh, force some change. White can play e takes f6. The question is if... Um, you play f6, I would probably take. Yes. But when you play f5, do you I take anyway? Do you take anyway? Or uh, you have an option? But the, then you're going to ask the question, why does black give white the option? And so on, and you get into this. But it seems to me that uh, it's at least as interesting for me not to take. I could play queen d2, rook c1, c4, or um, some line based on b5. In fact, he has chosen not to take. Yes, so it's even psychological, yes? I mean, this yes. kind of... Oh, this is nice, because what he could do is you come with the bishop here, put the rook here, and then try to hammer on the b-file. So there are quite... I like White's position. I don't think this has worked out very well, yeah. But this bishop on the I don't know how... Is it annoying to have... But again, my question yeah. is, if you are willing to allow f8 takes f6, yes. why not just play f6 and force it? Maybe there's some bishop g4 which he didn't like, but I don't see uh -huh. it. I can just do this, or queen c6, and next move I'm threatening to take anyway, so... Okay, um, so they've got this balance of forces. Black is attacking this pawn, and that doesn't allow white to play e4. Mm -hmm. um, now the question is, does white start playing on the king side? Sorry, not that square. G4, G4. or perhaps some queen e1, h4. Let's see. There are a few options yes, here. The match between uh, the two players from China. Again, to I me, it looks very f4 do equalish. Any any time for white? You have to be careful because of, ah, the, yeah, of the four. Yes. But the question is, maybe I'll just stop it myself. Mm -hmm. With g5, we'll see what he chooses. Um, this game is with. Mm -hmm. I think it's, uh, there are things which don't impress you very much. I mean, if you look at the c3 bishop f5. Yes. Bishop, knight h4, bishop g4, knight f3. Yes, and if I go back? If you go back, that's one question. Yes. But after e6, uh -huh. black has gained two moves. Yes. Just two and whole moves black has gained. Yes. And it says something about thing that uh, this position, it's not obvious that white is going to pay for this. You should pay for two free tempi, exactly. but it's They're not open. clear. Yes, but, but rook e3, rook e1, and they'll continue playing. So we'll see. Uh, it's quite a remarkable position where two moves don't matter. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is not how I was taught. You know, yes. in the opening, you should try not to repeat, uh, and yeah. not to give your opponent a couple of a couple of moves normally. But yeah, here it it seems fine. Maybe because the position, the center is closed, and nothing is happening right now. Okay, he has broken with e5. Uh huh. So he's probably trying to say that yeah, I have time. For that, maybe we can, can show it on the board. Yes, if I or we have well, this has happened. This happened. Yes, this has happened, and this is the current position. Mm -hmm. Just thinking to take with the rook, probably, or with a knight. With the rook, I might play knight f1 and recapture with the knight if possible. Mm -hmm. If you take with the knight, I don't know what I'll do, but anyway. What about the pawn on b7? <laughs> that might be relevant, but uh, here I think it's a bit too much to too much, yes. take. Because you go rook mm -hmm. b8. Ah, no, no, I could do it. I could play queen takes b7, mm -hmm. you're right. Because of rook b8, now I can interpolate rook takes c5. And you're slightly messed up. Uh, yes, so I have to play like knight e5 now or what? Queen a6. 
And then if rook b6, I think uh, queen a4 maybe. Mm -hmm. Back in time. Yes, I, I see. Mm -hmm. But uh, and yes, and they cannot take the bishop because on G, bishop on g4 is hanging. Yes. yes. Oh my God. Something like that. Uh -uh. <laughs> wow. But you have to count all this. What did he do? He took on e5 with the knight. So he took with the knight. Yes. Yes. N variations are not happening. And now I don't know whether I'm going to play bishop f1 or um, maybe even rook e1. He has gone rook e1. Yes, because knight is three is not possible. Rook on e8 is hanging right now. Um, can black create a threat like I don't know, bishop d7? <laughs> yeah. Trying to I don't know what this bishop is doing here right now. Maybe just move it <laughs> somewhere. Threat on knight d3. Yes. Okay. Let's have a look at uh, some of the other. There's some very interesting pairings. My God. Uh, Arvind Chidambaram looks like he can resign already. <laughs> um, something strange happened here. D4? F5. F5, yes. Uh, I think you should probably bite the bullet and play E5, yes. but after this, I don't know, I would assume this is close to winning for white, but... Uh, so, I mean, the first idea which comes to mind, like, before or something like that. I don't know, just to try to... Not, a, not a bad <laughs> first idea, <laughs> yes. So, just, <laughs> so uh, I counterattack here. Counterattack, yes, because Bishop Knight is hanging. Mm. And what, if I move Knight on F3, you also remove your Knight. What it gives me. Maybe, but but... Black has taken the square on f6 from the knight, yes, so maybe we can play like hmm. h3, I don't know. Also with the cameras on this board, so it's quite... Mm -hmm. So, before and if not before, what else? Can we play something <laughs> tricky? Yeah. Yes. Or it's like principal move. Perhaps white needed to play before here. Before and, oh, and you know, let you have the two bishops, but to do it like this in this yes, order. Yes, yes. I mean, if before you take, I take, take you take. play queen d7. It's it's not obvious to me that I was right, but uh, uh, not queen h3 because knight g4 is still possible. But yeah, no, maybe it's not that simple. But it looked huge it, it looks, for white, I mean, right? But it's Richard style, you know. He doesn't like to do castling as normal people. <laughs> I mean, in a good way, I mean, yes. that he prefers always to have his own but way. But this is Arvind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then... But that's why we like Richard. Then Ishver Berzia against uh, Erigasi, yeah. Tricks. Tense situation. Black has to watch out for these pawns, but... and. But structurally, black is doing okay. If I can put a bishop on b4 and uh, move the queen to c8, it seems quite stable. b4 has happened, bishop f6 has happened, and he's gone just bishop e3 back. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was that, that is very profound. He's just uh, not committing anything wow. for the moment. It just like so that is nice. Mm -hmm. And... Uh Okay, knight cannot be moved, so what we have to take of where? The question is take on e3 first, and then... Hang on, let's see what happens if I go here. Bishop f5. And if I take the knight... Yes, and then I think this doesn't work because you have a, your knight comes back to f3. Mm -hmm. Let's say I go back. No, I'm running queen h4 check. Yes, yes, yes. You, you, you so you can play rook f3 maybe. Mm -hmm. And then you have rook h3 if you need it. Mm -hmm. Alternately, I could play bishop g3. Now there is no way to think. You have to, but you do this, and again you control the square. Yeah. Could you first, uh, after take, take on c5? I could take like this, or because... Uh, mm -hmm. And then... Yeah. If 96, then... Ah, I don't have, I don't, don't have this check, because I can just uh, tap your queen like that before you do something. Um, All my dreams are ruined. <laughs> Bishop G5. Okay. It's, it's messy, very it's nice. very Knight messy, yeah. Bishop G5. So Bishop E3 is impressive. Mm -hmm. What should black play? 
So the other way is like to take on this three and take on d4, I don't know, and then move the knight, but it looks hopeless. I mean, where you, no, that you is, go, this uh, is that is lost probably. Yes, because d6 is falling and, yeah, doesn't look good. Um, if you take bishop d4 now... Wait, let me do this again. Oh, bishop five. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe h3 is possible. You know, just everything just is hanging. Just to make it no? yes, even more complicated, why yeah. not h3? Uh, And then we go, I mean, black should either take on this three again. But the problem for black with taking here is... Uh, I mean, next you, move, yes. How do you play? Yes, what I is your next move, yes. right? Yeah. Exactly. So we have to already sacrifice something with knight h2. Maybe uh, he just nailed it here with uh, bishop e3. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just, yeah, we're not trying to find the move. Sometimes it's not that easy. simple moves are the best ones. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was trying to make e5 work and all sorts of things, but this is just very elegant. Yes. So, yeah, bishop is three, we, we didn't see from far, but yeah, looks nice. Hmm. All these kind of checkmates ideas are not working. I think queen b8, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very good anyway. I like this one. <laughs> yes, uh, so that we at least suddenly we have a threat. Knight of three. But uh, no, this is, this is queen b8. Is yes. Okay, when okay. you're desperate, maybe you will play this Yes. Move. Okay, what's happening here? Anton Hiharo against Yakuboev. King is on h7, probably trying to bring the rook there. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Or oh, maybe f5. Okay, let's come back in a second. How's this going? This is Ivan Chaparinov against Lisic, okay. Ivan Chaparinov game right now is six. Yes, the last move. I mean, I could take with the queen. I don't know if he'll go for the pin. It might not be eternal. Ah, but 95 could be quite unpleasant. Because you, you cannot move to a square which allows knight c6. Yes. And uh, if you move the queen simply, then I keep then I keep the pin. Yes, you, you go back, and already it's time to take on h6, six, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh, nice. So nice something like that. Six and all this. So e6, maybe. What did he play? He played bishop f6, or mm -hmm. I think this happened in the game. Bishop yeah. f6, yes. Okay. So now, if you take, for example, just king takes. Knight e5. Or uh, bishop e5. Both are possible. And if queen f5, I just play rook e4 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Or queen d6 is the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, lo it, lo it looks, lo looks good for white, right? Also, the knight is out of play for the moment on e2. Exactly, we're yes, talking I mean, of a difference in it's piece. It's like we have an, ex an extra piece. I wonder piece if now, I could yes? even just go rook e4. Though I didn't want to allow this uh, mm -hmm. exchange. black to be able to offer the exchange of queens mm -hmm. or something. But Okay, another interesting game. Anton Hiharo, what, what plans does white have? <clears throat> Let's see, in this position. <laughs> I mean... Probably to to try to do something on the king's side to bring the queen on g3, and then I don't know some some kind of checks I see on g5 f7 can be weak at some point, but uh, yeah I mean if you do all this king goes just to g8. Well so if I just go here I just play f6. F6. Um, and if you go h3 then yes. I just go knight at six. And, and for the moment everything is okay. Or king, queen e8. Queen e8 g5 even. Yeah even g5 yes. Order, yeah. Mm -hmm. I heard that Richie won his game already. Already? Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Indeed, he has won his game. Wow. It's wow. a huge performance by Richard. Yes. In what did it look like such a... I mean, after Rook F2, I liked... White. How did he get G5? Oh, well, he got G5 the old-fashioned way. He just played it. <laughs> so, this looks good. Yeah, maybe... This is what Black wanted. Mm. Yes, to... There, and he just took basically the central pawns. Uh, 
hand. Oops. Ah, this is what Queen is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> what he missed probably, yes. So then. Uh, no, so it's just a one move blunder. Yes, yeah. one move blunder. What, what would if he would have played something else? If not rook, uh, if rook, rook is not possible, of course. But um, let's say rook a six. six. There might be some f3. Gf3, queen c7 move and somehow mm -hmm. get. Also, get <coughs> some ideas on g3, h2. h2. Mm -hmm. There was also maybe knight d2 even somewhere. As well. So well, probably a knight f3. Yeah. Too. Maybe, but even yes. maybe a6 was unnecessary. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, wow. Yes. So that is huge. Great. Re Richard so we won. have a so what was uh, still someone at the perfect score. Mm -hmm. three, three games he won. Wow. Yeah, Magnus is. Uh, no, I think that's they've given the wrong result. It should be. Ah, yes, way. it should yeah. be the other way. Should be the other way Richard uh, Rappert won the game. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. Magnus is going for gold <laughs> in a way. What is Black's counterplay? There is nothing happening on the king's side. You cannot. I mean, at the moment. Let's see what happened in the game. Two, but maybe knight h Magnus actually just went bishop mm -hmm. d two. F four. Oh, was it h5, h6, g5, or what? Why couldn't he play h6? Because of knight e6, bishop e6, d. But then I don't know why he, he, bishop d2 was so important. Okay. So they went. They got this. Or, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, black can simply be a pawn up, I guess. But he went for f3. In order to get this, mm -hmm. this queen h3 take. Yes. But after rook f e1, Bishop. it looks like. Uh, but one. Okay, so here we see another problem that if knight e4, I have h3. <laughs> this is cute, yes. And if queen f5, I have g4. g4, yes. Mm -hmm. And cannot protect the knight. No. And no tactics, nothing here. You lose the piece. So even b6, h3, queen h5, b4. Mm -hmm. And slowly the position just crumbled. So just said, what kind happening. of counterplay? Maybe knight h5 with the idea knight g3 and f2. This is the only thing I see. Yes. <laughs> but uh, maybe why this faster, yes? First of all, after a move, Bishop rook e3, what's... Let's say there is not even a threat, yes. I don't see the threat. Mm -hmm. Second, if I take, take this, yes. you're not going to take knight g3. I mean, yes, then I would just rook down and... Yeah, maybe and you just then can ignore now you're not even threatening to take, so it's just not even, working. Yes, yeah. it's not working that easily, yes. So why this faster? It seems like yeah. he, he killed all these uh, hopes on the... On the I mean, it side. seems to me that in this position... Uh, Black's position is okay. I mean, I can take the pawn uh, in a slightly tedious way mm -hmm. with the rook rather than the queen. I think it should be acceptable, but uh, I don't know why he took so happily. He could uh, continue to... Uh, he didn't want to sack the exchange. So I didn't, I'm not a fan of F3, but who knows what they will. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see Abdus Satorov against Sl Narayanan. Yes, G4, it's something <coughs> predicted. Yes, but uh, the tension in the center is still there. So mm -hmm. um, so sometimes it's not a good idea. I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if this is better for black already. Wow. I mean, just my it feels slightly uncomfortable for white. Uh, we can check the evaluation later, but I wouldn't be surprised if... Uh, this just turns out to be the computer is happy with black already. Yeah, because still things are happening in the center. Yes, yeah. so everything is possible. King What's is happening exposed. here? Oh, Vidas is going for full-on attack. I mean, he just wants to play f4 and everything. Uh, one little detail, which is you cannot play f4 because you take and you have this little trick. Oh, this is nice. Because this all the rooks are all... Also cannot... In fact, you didn't even need to include gf4, but anyway. Yes. But he's gone queen b3 instead, hoping to take here. Can with it do f4? Or just four. ignore him. Yeah, good question. So let's say let's take. Let's have a look. What's going on? I mean, on d5. Then what do you do? Queen takes yes. d5. I mean, just let's, if there is a pawn, let's let's see if it's possible. To okay, get king h8. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, now it's a good point. Rook, rook e5. Uh, rook e5 if we are ready to give the exchange. And d7 is hanging. Yeah. I don't know if there is kind of checkmate ideas, but I'm not sure. I don't see it right now. Ah, but you defend maybe the bishop with queen g7 first. And then rook e5. But um, no, how do you no, get at it? At the end, yes, still, yes, if you. Yeah, because if you, if I you do this, if you yeah. Take all this, I mean, just showing it to the audience. Better, yes, and, and yeah, rook g5. Yes. If we go first, queen g7 before we take. Before you take what? Uh -huh. Ah, rook g5 also. There wasn't a single moment yes. when you could do it. Yes, unfortunately. Uh, queen d5 check, I cannot interpose bishop e6 because the queen takes e5. e5. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or can I? G7 check. Oh, sorry, even just queen g6 check. Okay, so let's see this uh, bishop e6 stuff. Mm -hmm. Ah, but clearly after f4, if I want to play that, I can start with queen d5 check. Queen d5, yes. Uh -huh. Now bishop e6, queen e5 is winning because you don't have any check on the g file. Okay, yes, it's a different story. And then here we are back. I mean, in fact, I can even play rook takes e5 yes, here. So without, this, is, uh, this is much simpler, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so f4 doesn't work after queen b3, so he has to... What is he going to play though? Queen F B, I mean Queen D six or Bishop C six or what? To, to protect this pawn, yes, somehow. Bishop C six again, exactly, not yes, great, but F four at least we are threatening uh -huh. F four again. Yes, Bishop C six maybe. Yes, uh, I mean normally I don't like to to make such moves, <laughs> but but what to do? I mean if if the rest is not working, yes, and F four is a threat. Yeah, he has played bishop c6. Uh-huh. So that is... Uh, yes. Why, uh, why to play this f4 move, yes. <laughs> Which doesn't work after knight f3. To be fair, I don't think it's a, it's a trap he's dreaming of because white already didn't blunder on the last move. Why would he do it now? So. <laughs> no, he will not. <laughs> so bishop c6 seems to clinch that. Yes, so, but, 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 but I really want like to play f4, yes. yes. I really want to play f4 and what to do against it, yes. Like, which move for white? Okay, I, Look at I two, step for back. Example. Yes. And if f4, I go g4. f4, g4. Wait, bishop g2 happened. Mm -hmm. Why didn't he play f4? He went queen f7. He protected the pawn, but maybe after f4, what, he's in like bishop d5? Oh, that's a different ball game. If I do this now, mm -hmm. I should yes. have some cheap or somewhere, no? some... Knight f3 check, something. Mm -hmm. It looks a little bit different. I mean, w w when the queen was in the center. Maybe rook e4 different. like that. But then okay. I can play fg3 and knight f3 check. Knight f3. As a minimum, rook e7, queen g3, and I. It's a, it, mm -hmm. Okay, some more moves have happened. Let's see what they've been doing, actually. It's very exciting. Okay, we'll wait a minute for those moves to come back. Nihal Sarin against... Uh... Okay, this looks like uh, it's heading mm -hmm. towards equality. Um, Nihal Sarin is a piece down. So somehow he managed to... How do you say it so quickly? <laughs> no, no, but how did he manage to get this it's thing? Bishop not... E3, he just went knight D7. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Oh, it's a nice uh, trick nice here. If I take... Eight? Yes. Come back. Uh, he gets this thing in a different version. So he wow. threatens this mate. Uh -huh. And then he's also threatening knight e3 and, uh, and queen. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Okay. So that was a this big is, defensive this move. This is nice geometry. Yes. Yes. So he found this nice trick to stay in the game. Let's say, because but hang on. Can I play c5? c5. Uh, what would be the difference? Okay. If I take, I always ready for the I'm, I'm take. just hoping for. So queen e7, the same. And this, that's why I played c5. Ah, yes, you open the bishop, yes, there, yes. So open the bishop, uh, protected the knight. Had breakfast. <laughs> I've done everything. So yes. what, what do we do here? Yes, let's say, I mean, if I move the king on h7, because I don't like the king to be under threat. You, you decided to open all the things. Well, I want to get in Queen C2 yes, and, uh, and Queen C2 some and action there I smell. But. Um, 
Maybe not. I don't know. Five, not just six. Yes, I mean, yeah. the position is like crazy. It, but, it, but the, the point we is can work out the details, the but he, yes. he went H3, which is kind of... I don't know. I think slow. Mm -hmm. He could have gone Queen E7. He went here. Queen G3 happened. And now he's gone Knight D5. Knight D5. E D5, E D5. So that's huge. Is, are all these moves forced? Hang on. <laughs> they played them so fast. Why why can't I just play Queen E7? Maybe Bishop B3 the with idea C5 or what? Uh -huh. Bishop B3 was the same, yes. Yes, but now I will do this. Rook at six. six. And indirectly defending this mm -hmm. pawn. Ah, you, I don't know that you can take it. And then C5. And then C5, yeah. Uh-huh. Yes, and D5. Yeah. But, yeah. but it's hard to believe that that's what he was afraid of. He went bishop G5. Bishop G5 first. But now I must admit, so 95, 95 looks huge, yeah? Yeah, but I mean, he gave the, the piece and... Uh, but it might be just winning. Yeah, knight f5. Knight f5 was already on the board. And knight f5 was on the board and uh -huh. queen f6 So let's, up. let's show them. Oops. This is the current position. Mm -hmm. Knight d6. Okay, let's go with the obvious move. Knight d6, <laughs> knight d6 what's six, happening? Yes. So, let's say if queen d6, you just take the, the bishop or what? Or... What about rook e5? Oh, even rook. I'm I'm also this, rook e8, yes. And uh, bishop is hanging, yeah. Bishop, so, bishop it, But hang on, queen g5 should be... Also. Yes. No, but like rook e5, so many threats. <laughs> also mm. rook e8. And now also you don't know where to move the knight, yes? Knight f7? Rook e5, I can go bishop e7 maybe. To protect the queen? Mm. I mean, it feels like every move in my life depends on it, but yeah, bishop for the f5. moment I don't see. But I, uh, bishop f5 is good, maybe queen e3 is enough. Because mm -hmm. I'm breaking yes. through on the e5. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks really bad for black. This is what happens if uh, development is not finished. Wow, they are there. He's gone queen e3. We've really? kind of worked ourselves <laughs> to where they are. Okay, good. All the moves. So. Nice. Yeah, for example, bishop of six is just, uh, yes, bishop of six. Rook e6. Rook e6 first. Yeah. Rook e8. No, it's queen king f8. Seven. Yeah. King f7. King f7. What happens? Seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, rook e6. And we will sacrifice something else, I think. Yes, uh, <laughs> Even that's kind of my idea. I do <laughs> yes. this and I just take we one give F7 from it. Everything, yeah. yes. So in this type of situations, you don't even calculate, yes? You just know that you will just do it. Next move. <laughs> it feels <laughs> like this to me. Like I would still sit down and just check carefully what's going on. In my game, I would, but it's their <laughs> game, so I can... I can <clears throat> Afford it. Yes. Okay, and Arjun is much better. Because White has played quite strange chess. Yeah, so Arjun is doing very well. Mm -hmm. Actually, we should pay attention to the famous streamer Alexander Shimano, who also has three out of three. You know, he's uh, streaming normally on Levit of Chess channel. Oh, right, yes. okay. Yeah, let's Alexander, have a, let's have yes. A... It doesn't happen that, that often. It... And also, like, he is very, very popular uh, in the uh, Russian-speaking community. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, take the pawn. It's a typical idea, yes, how to defend against such threats, it seemed. Yeah. Well, white is <laughs> winning. Yes. yes. They took so. everything somehow. Yes. Oh. Yes, yes. And he's three out of three then? Well, yes, that's a, that's a point. Yeah. Three out of three. So knight e6 is a threat. Everything is actually knight b5. Yes, so Barat he managed to win. I mean, good job. Great result for Alexander. I'm sure his uh, followers are very happy mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. f5. What an interesting blow. Um, so let's have a look. If if you take with Jipong. Uh, G6, yes, and this is I mean, my is best yes. guess, but mm -hmm. yeah. And the other way around, if we take a zip on, E6, <laughs> still. And rook at 7, yeah, it's, it's a pretty yeah. good uh, gamble, I think, F5. F5 is nice. It seems to be a positive to trade. Magnus has just won the game. So, yeah. Uh, 
that was going south, I think. Congratulations, he is now two and a half. Two and a half. Yes, only half a point behind yeah. uh, Alexander Shimanov. <laughs> And the oh, others. look at this, H5, and it's game over. <gasps> so so SL Narayanan defeats Abdul Satarov. Wow. That is sensitive. Okay, let's have a look, let's say, because yeah. not everybody understands what, uh, what, what happened. Okay, oh. so the tension breaks here. Mm -hmm. And you see white has come to G4, which means it's just that little bit unpleasant. Okay. Okay. Queen comes in. I was told that Abdul Sator was late for one minute for this match. I don't know if it made any difference at the end, but <laughs> let's yeah, see. sure. Yeah. Okay, so he's gone for a pin. Yes. Though if I play H5, I don't know what uh, black should be afraid of. I mean, what white should be afraid of. Yes, yeah, so, but he probably wanted to give a check and get rid of the pin, but King H7, I know, oh, 94. Oh. <gasps> wow. This is what he missed, probably. Take, take. Oh, yeah, here you need to calculate to understand, let's say, if it's what kind of ending is it. I mean, I would guess this is uh, winning as well. Mm -hmm. Because then you get the outside pass pawn. And it's more important than to have a central one. Well, I'll uh, show you. Yes, let's see the... If you do this, yes, F5. Yes, take... I cannot take... Oh, sorry, this is uh, clear enough. F5 yes, you cannot take uh, yes on F5. With the yeah, so you go G5. Mm -hmm. Take, take. Then I go F5. Yes, so I have to take. There is no other option. King of 7. Take... Ah, yes, and you and go this G5. Is easily won. And this is... Because uh, we trade this pawn and this pawn, but my king will be closer to you this week. Yes, so. and just win the game. Uh, yes. But uh, he just went H5. Mm -hmm. His point is, uh, if you do this, I'm now going to play f5, take, take, and I'm going to stick one more pawn on f5, and then just bring my king up to the yes. main side and win the pawn ending. Yeah, because it's connected <clears throat> fast pawns, and it's a big difference. You cannot take a very exciting round and uh, some yes. big upsets. So, no, yeah, not Rebecca is lost, out. Lost the game. Yu Yang against I, but he's two exchanges up. So that shouldn't last very long. Mursin and uh, Vidit uh, made a draw. Nihal Serin. <laughs> okay, okay. The, the good news is Black has defended the dark squared bishop. <laughs> the bad news is the light squared bishop went missing somewhere. I don't know where it went. I don't know. Yes, At some point, this. queen b6, rook h6, queen b7. Oops, okay. This is how it happens. How yeah. many pawns, extra pawns, white has? Like already three? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm already thinking of some Bob Dylan song. Mm -hmm. How many extra pawns do you need? <laughs> but anyway, uh, yes, sometimes this. it's not enough. Yeah. But normally, they will just start running. I don't. Bishop B three here, yes, or I it's don't, actually black move. Ah, black move, yes. Ah, so uh, it's not clear what uh, why he didn't uh, just. Play bishop b3 or here, yes. he Maybe he wants him to take on c4 and then play bishop b3 and then d6. Actually, maybe it's not possible to take on c4. Uh, if you take yes. bishop b3 <clears throat> and I don't know, I mean, uh, maybe, but not 100% sure. Maybe this pawn becomes very dangerous and like d6, d7 and... Yeah, uh, and actually I think you, anyway, and, and you uh, all lines are probably winning. Uh, rook, rook e8. Yes, and queen b4. <laughs> yes. Just I thought about some... Then rook e8 check yes, wins. Also this, okay. Yes, So, yeah. It's easy, yes. Rook c4 is just a blunder. Oh, so very big... Um, <clears throat> SL Narayanan wins. Uh, Rapport wins. I'm guessing Arjun is going to win. Yes, Arjun is going to win. Um, Nihal is going to win. And that's already four people on a perfect score. Yes, with I think Magnus it will be trailing more. half point behind. Yes. 20, we had 26 people before this round, so it's going to be a lot. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. This will probably be a draw. But luck of uh, wins. We didn't see that game, but okay, so it's just a pitch defense. Yes. Just simple stuff, right? Yeah, absolutely, yes. Simple stuff. Placed. Put your bishop uh, here and there. Mm -hmm. Double your rooks. D5 square is now... Attack the knight, the right. collect the pawn. <laughs> how easy is chess when... <laughs> it's easy when you know how. Yeah, exactly, yes. 
Yes, it's like white uh, controls D file and... I don't think th this was played perfectly because uh, he's managed to give back his pawn, but he just starts again. H5. H5, so... And knight H4, knight. and it's still winning because uh, everything collapses. Mm -hmm. Rook H3, everything. Yeah, I mean, I, I... I don't know what exactly, but white still keeps an initiative, but I'm sure there was an easier win somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Shimano we mentioned already, so yes. that's six or seven people. Bharat Subramanian wins. So that pawn break uh, did work out very well. Yes, F5, and what happened to six years after? Knight B2. I don't, I don't understand. Wait, we should, uh, it's too fast. <laughs> what? Yeah. Knight came to B2, nobody cares. Well, I think it's because if you take... <laughs> yes. Then you have A4 and you're getting back the piece. Uh-huh. But... Uh, so that's why he, he just the goes. He goes for the e6 pawn. Yes, 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 yes. So take, take. Yes. And a4 happens. Mm -hmm. Because okay. you want to protect. Yeah, e6 and rook e6. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then take, take happens. I like all those pawns. <laughs> oh, and the knight really jumps help. here. But it doesn't help. Oh, because uh, bishop e4, I have queen e4, and I'm still forking on c6. Oh my gosh. So he jumped knight a5, and it's not possible to take because of rook I am not at all convinced that all this is yes. correct. Maybe Let me do see. this. Rook e7. I mean, there's so many useful moves I have. I can go bishop e4, check. Yes. I mean, play c3, and then try to play b3 somewhere. And yeah, I have the feeling there was a lot of bluffing going on here, but... Yes. All the, all's well that ends well, I think. At the end of the <laughs> bluffing. <laughs> the bluff, so was, this was a bluffing festival, this game. Yes. Uh, but look, tactically tactically alert people. Mm -hmm. They they just calculate these things well. Uh, Arjun, Eric, I see one already. Uh, so he's also on a perfect score. Nihal has wrapped it up, I guess. Yeah, Nihal has wrapped it up. A3, King F7 looked a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Queen F6 is a nice win. Anton Hiharo wins. Oh, let's see how he did it. H3, yeah, G4, G5. Three. So he wants to bring the knight on three or what what queen do you want? Oh no. Oh he just he, <laughs> just, he just won a pawn and uh, uh lost a pawn lost but the uh, yes, and, uh, and won easily anyway. Won easily in this case. <laughs> well easily is my objective, yes. but I think it was another pawn. But come on, here there has to be something. Bishop d7 would have been a reasonable move. Mm -hmm. Why did he charge all the way here? A3, yes, trying to promote the other pawn, bishop d1, so... Ah, bishop b6 and bishop d4. Wow. So he it's just, it's a blunder. I think some time trouble yes. chaos and that was it. It seems like that, yes. Yeah. Because normally Black was doing really great in this game. And Cheparinov is also winning. I think the easiest win is uh, check. Is to give a checkmate somewhere, <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, that's of course a very healthy thing as well, but I was trying to say that I could do this. I the pawn. <laughs> and uh, I control all the checking squares with my queen. My queen uh -huh. controls the square. Sorry, that's not the piece that's no, controlling. Queen two, no queen it, nothing, yes. Just there's no check here, there's no check here, so it's just an okay. easy win. Mm -hmm. So Ivan will win as well. I, how many people? Uh, maybe just uh, ten or eleven people will be on uh, perfect Possibly. score. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Oh, yeah. From twenty-six, yes. Some games finished in a draw. So we haven't been following the women much. Uh, Let's see what's happening there. Works. I'm not sure if the Do games are working. Play now? Yes, we don't have them. Oh, they're not there now. Yes, yes. No, we don't have them now. Oh, the they will games. join uh, in no, the next no, round. We don't have the games right now. Okay. But otherwise, yeah, I thought that. it's still happening. We will see the pairings later. Okay. So that's a pity. Yes. So who is still playing 
from the top. Danny was on two out of two as well, right? Yeah. Or did he draw one game? Mm-hmm. Maybe he drew a game because he's further down. Conrad Holt beats Shakri Ar Mamadiarov. That see. has got to be an upset. Doesn't happen that often. <laughs> Shahri are also the former World Rapid Champion, actually. He won this tournament in Handeman Seas back in 2013 uh, or 12. <laughs> Something like that, yes, long time ago. A5 is just uh, the magic move today. Also, SL Naran and the yes. A5 and A6. Yes. So, and it's, it looks like a Nimzo. That bishop on, B, if you put it on B4, it's just the same game. Wow, what is that? All the moves are identical. Yes, the same. Maybe they were sitting next to each other. Yes. Except the bishop's on uh, g7. Um, c5 square, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a nice game to but support looks, that bed. <laughs> yeah. It looks under control. Okay, they got up to here, and then uh, things haven't really worked out for black. Oh, and then the queen goes to d4 and some. Okay, he went d6. This must be huge for black. Is How did he not win this game? Probably, again, some kind of blunder. The one move is something what we see all the time. Yeah. That's why we like rapid. g4, wow. So what if 4 fall down? E3, or he had to do something. Okay. Uh, this game mess. was this ma- that, was a masterpiece. Knight C5, yes. Bishop F5, G4, G4 attacking the bishop. Yes, E3 exactly. counterattacking the knight. The knight yes. D7 attacking the, the rook. rook. I think this is the position of the uh, of the, the, day. the day. Yes, yes. absolutely. I mean, w- which I have, the, I have no idea what's going on. Me too. But <laughs> it's I, the position of the day. If I take on D2, this is what happened. Yes, Queen. Come on, and Not that's knight. the only mistake. It yes, had to be a knight. Mistake. Knight and knight of six. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. But wait a minute, there is still a fork coming here. So this must be waiting for... For black? If you wait a minute, if you hang on. If to carefully queens, so probably we'll get who's waiting. <laughs> is this even a position? I mean, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... We can actually put the one more queen on the board, take only one, just for fun. <laughs> okay, he took this. He took this. Whereupon he took this, allowing Simple. queen with yes. check. And? And there is a threat, yes? Queen H8. Is this... Is it real, you want to ask? <laughs> I'm sorry, I take that back. This may be the game of the year. Yes? Wow. <laughs> Oh, this is sensational. I've never seen a tactic. Uh, and, and yes, it seems. Like and so the only move left was to <laughs> donate a whole queen and just to, to get this it. back. Yes. Oh my gosh. Because the queen H8 uh, was my very god. Hard. This uh, crazy. And we almost missed the game, but here it is. Yes. <clears throat> wow. King at One seven, d6, rook b5, <laughs> knight c5. <laughs> Bishop f5. G4, and here we start it, yes. G4. I don't know what would happen if bishop takes g4. Probably knight e4 and knight f6, yes. So e3. E3. And d7. This is majestic. If I had played a game like this, I would have published a book just of this game. Only this game, yes. I mean, I just wonder what computer says, you know, at the end. Because always no, please, spoils don't spoil it. Pleasure, don't yes. spoil it. Don't spoil it. <laughs> we don't want to know what the check, computer yes. says. We don't even check. Well, I've lost track. Yes. Black is a piece up. Yes. Okay, White now. is now a queen and rook the up. Yep. And rook up, yes. Because, exactly. we, because took, we took the rook. Yeah, we took a rook and made a queen. Yes. But we're going to do that in reverse, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Could we take only one? I still wonder, just to be sure. Because he took only eight. Could we take only one and play knight f3? I don't know. Not a knight. No, no. not now. <laughs> Rook e1. Yes. Knight f3. And so, and what? You're getting the game almost. Queen e8, Rook e8, knight d4, bishop d4 is what we had in the game. Yes, ah, so it's the same. Yes, so it's the same. Make any difference. Wow. No, the, the, this game was even more spectacular because he yes, took a whole piece. Queen G1. But he had nothing better than Queen G1. Wow. It was check, and it seems like it should be better, but it's not that you have to play Queen G1. It's, it's beautiful, yes. It's beautiful even if you play with black, even though you're not happy. But to play such a move like Queen G1, 
I, I wish we had been watching this game because can you imagine uh, uh, what, what Shakriya is feeling? It goes queen take, <laughs> d takes c1, and this is a rook and queen up in one move. Exactly. What is that? 14. Plus in one plus 14 in one move. Your opponent plays king f2, and then you realize you have to just sacrifice the queen just to avoid mate. Yeah, yeah. This I is just. Uh, what face uh, Shakriya would do now? It, what, what, uh, we missed. What, I, what, I hope what, we'll be able to find this because this <laughs> yes. is just amazing. Yes, I'm sure probably Sagar. Bishop g7 <laughs> happened and then just the final touch, rook e7. Seven, yes. Now, it was not another move, right? Bishop g7 was the only move here in this position. I wonder. Yes, because, because it's mate. Yes, it's mate, no, simply, yeah. Yes. Ah, yes, of course. It's there is just mate. Bishop Fate was an option, yes, but not so great one. Yes, Bishop G7 and Rook E7. Finish. Forget the rest of the tournament. Let's just sit on this game now. <laughs> it's just great. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. So we can now ask our guest. Yes. Who has played games? I think close to this level. A few of them that I remember. But he must be. He would have been very happy to play this one. Yes. So we have a guest now, a very special guest. We have Grandmaster Emil Sotowski with us. And um, yes. hello, hello, Emil. And uh, first of all, what do you think about the event? How do you feel to be here in Samarkand? Well, I think I should ask you what do you think about the event <laughs> because I actually was the one who was trying to pull it on a high level, and it was out him. And uh, I think it was a great start for the tournament. Typically, you have few glitches here and there, but the venue and of course the players we see already a lot of nice games so we enjoy i enjoy it both as a spectator and as an organizer so so the pleasure is double and uh, i hope the spectators also enjoy it we have a lot of local public visiting so it's great and uh, we don't have yet numbers from the internet audience but uh, i'm sure that will be high absolutely so speaking about the games, <laughs> have you seen this? Have you seen one? Conrad Holt against Shakriar Mavadiarov? No, not quite. Yeah, but Please sit down. I will. <laughs> Please sit down. No, I have to ask your reaction right now. I'll yeah. see if we can set this so, up. I just have to ask your reaction because I've no. just been blown away. Yes. I, I started off with game of the day, and a few moments later I've come to this game of the year. So oh, even like that. Because just this morning I had discussions that nobody these days nobody values games and they just care more about the results and how, how, how busy no, no, the game is. I'm pretty sure this game is going to be different. Really? But please have a look at it. Yes. Uh, let's try and get it up somewhere. No, uh, no we, can, we, we cannot, cannot get it up. Get okay. it. We will we'll show it to you after after the, 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 the round. But Emil. Oh, you, you got something on this screen? We got it. Yeah, right. great. Got it on this okay, so here. Now watch. Knight g5. You know, the typical modern game. Uh, black is pushed upon to h3, you know, alpha 0, all that stuff. e4. Yes. f5. d5. Already looks crazy. Exciting. Yes. fe4. <laughs> Queen d4. King at 7. Right. This is. As they say, this never underestimate a. On like this because he's going to do miracles. Rook d5 for something. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Knight c5 for the moment plugging everything. Yeah. And Sh uh, Shakriya decided bishop f5. d7. Yes, would probably be a good move. But g4. <laughs> g4. Yeah, I mean, we really wow. loaded the bases okay. before we went for d7. E3. Yes, and it's just the start, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. that's the problem. E3, yes, d7. Wow. Exactly, e wow. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, wow. So, e takes d2. Now, I, I lost track completely. I had to go back and do a triple take, quadruple take before I could get score again. Yes. White has won 14 pawns in this one move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But black is going to do the same in reverse. Okay. So, just hold on to your seatbelt. Right. Okay. Exactly. Take, take Queen here. Takes, takes with the check. Takes with the check. So th we have reversed the 14 pawns now. Yeah, knight of three is King coming. F2. King F2 has to play. And what? <laughs> queen <laughs> G1? <laughs> 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 the only move wow. to, to stay in the game. Yeah, not for too long. But not for too long. Exactly. Here, yeah, take. Take. Bishop D4. Rook E7. Rook E7. Wow. This is sensational, isn't it? Yeah. So, I mean, the guy already, you know. The trip from America was worse than this one game already. Yes. My God. So chess is beautiful, definitely. And uh, but but Emil, I think you you have prepared something for us also, right? Well, I just I just discovered something 
nice and something that resembles old classic and I uh, like to share it. It happened actually in the game round two between Arjen Terry and Peter Swidler. Mm -hmm. And in this position Peter repeated basically King 8 and Queen C8 and King 7 was a draw. Yeah. But actually Black is winning here. And it's it's spectacular because uh, well it, it, the motif is is not maybe new but it's quite quite rare and, and never ceases to surprise. This King F8. You want to play bishop h5? And yes, uh, but it's only on the first twist. So queen b8. Okay, king g7. King g7. Queen e5. f5. King you can go king g. That's the same king. Yeah. King, so queen, queen h2. h2. And then bishop now h2. The only move is bishop h5. <laughs> but the twist, there is additional twist to a typical motif because after you take. You go king, king g7, g7 first and then g8. Uh, ah. you go king g8 or we chess. But, but then g6, right? Yeah. You, you actually have to go to g7. To make Q, and then he cannot play G6 because uh -huh. Queen is not. So instead, instead of uh, what it is, oh. instead of Queen H6, he can play G6 immediately. But and then Queen H6. No, just just Queen. No, Queen H6, I cannot play. Oh, right, right Queen. Yeah, yeah. So just Queen, and then Knight. Oh, okay. I escape. As a king and slowly winning. Wow. Because White's king is also weak, so you don't have time. If the pawn was on g3, then would be. And then g7 would be helpful. <laughs> so uh, here, I mean, queen, if you go queen g7, I go king g6 and slowly running away. No, don't look at it, I checked it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm b trying to believe it myself, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. No, but, but yeah. that's, that's, that's surprising, right? I mean, it's yeah. not only bishop h5 trick. Uh, those of you who follow classical games may remember there was a famous game. You should know that for sure. Taiman of Larson, 1970. Yeah. Remember, he played g5, g4, bishop g5, bishop on c1, and then Taimanov started attacking the king and almost reached the king, and the Zanov queen just rejected with some bishop g4. One exactly, yeah. So it was a position white queen on g6. Ah, yeah, but bishop h5, yeah. wow. And king g7 and followed king by seven. just to keep the pin, that's beautiful. So that's the difference from, from being, okay, just a nice uh, shtick, but, but, but here it's, it's more than that. The queen, king g7 provoking the check on h6, and, the, and then. Make sure six is not working, yes. And I just saw Bishop D5, uh, Bishop D5, Queen D5 is check. Yeah, it's, it's with a check, it's also important. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Otherwise, you could, you could do a Queen G6 check, of course. It's a nice geometry yeah. in this I mean, game. Everything, everything works, I mean, exactly in the way that to make it to, to make it possible. If you had another pawn here, you would have all the time for white. Right? If you, yeah, yeah, if yeah. If there's a check, so Bishop D5, let's say Bishop D5, I just show for spectators, you queen. Then it's not bishop f7 because there's never a perpetual with two queens, but queen g6. <laughs> Maybe why to win seven, right? Yes, <laughs> queen h5 and wins. <laughs> oh, queen f6 yeah, and wins, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but, but the funny thing is that it's queen d5 is check. Yeah. Yeah, exciting games, exciting games so far, and I think there will I be. I think we should have a contest between this, uh, this finish and this yes, one yes. and ask the audience to vote which one they like more, which well, one no, gives no, more this, pleasure. This game was, was, was really, really, really huge, but this is a little gem. And, and I, I know, like, nice touch, yes. Yeah, and it's nice that Peter, let's say, um, but, the, but the game finished. No, he it it didn't, yes. didn't find it. Yes, he didn't find it. Yes. He, he, he repeated on the game. Yes. In fact, I was just thinking, why not uh, uh, King e6? Uh, maybe Bishop g4. Uh, no, after Queen c7 check, mm -hmm. King e6. I mean, Bishop g4, Bishop f5, same problem. Queen no, I don't C8. know. It. But then, how do you take King d6? I thought, and I get my c1, and yeah. So no, but Queen. Uh, in fact, without Bishop g4 check. Mm -hmm. Uh, queen c6, and if king e5, queen f6 is made. So you have oh, to go back. Nice <laughs> so, uh, and then you just have to go back. Yes, so, yeah. yes. and then this, nice this turns out to be yeah checkmate. So yeah. no, anyways, a lot of exciting games. I, yes. I truly enjoyed, and uh, I mean some games are technical, like Magnus won round two. Yeah, it looks like like absolutely yeah. drawish. Yes. draw, but then suddenly he finds resources to play. Yeah, and of course a lot of tactical skirmish here in many games. And the one you showed, yeah, really really nice. I, but I'm I'm uh, yeah, I'm stumbled on it. That's the problem. We have so much and going on in this tournament. We yeah. just thought, okay, let's look, oh, Shakriya, let's play, you know, let's that's always nice to look at this. Lost. And then it's this game, I mean. <laughs> and then we found well, the Wow, we have so many great players here, so that's... Absolutely. absolutely. Um, what makes this tournament so exciting for the audience, Emil? 
Well, it's uh, it's a mix. I think it's a mix of the pace because you have so many games played one after another, so you inevitably have a lot of interesting games. But also you have this. Uh, I mean, the time control of of course provokes all this sort of drama. So this, this is exciting and typical. You have all the top players here. I wouldn't say that this is the only event which provokes uh, or, or makes people watch. But uh, obviously, rapid. For, I think rapid even more than blitz actually, because in blitz. A typical spectator would find it very difficult to understand what happened because things happen too fast, a bit too fast. Maybe for, for top grandmasters it would be easy to spot it all immediately. But here you have a lot of a lot of real chess content, like in this game of Colt. Uh, I mean, how, how would you spot it if you have only one or two minutes? If you have ten minutes, five minutes, seven minutes? Yes, that's, that's really. Oh, I think that's right. So yeah, I, I for one, uh, I mean, Blitz is more fun, maybe for just just to see players' emotions and so on. But but Rapid has more content, chess content. Thank you so much, Emilia. And it's time for us to go to the advertisement right now, and we will don't go anywhere. Round four is approaching. course is about white playing d4 all the tools you need to get an advantage with white and not be tricked early in the opening now it has a really long complicated name that i'm going to mispronounce now so you can make fun of me okay don't make fun of me too much i'm, I'm trying to help you here it's called the chelabinsk variation and i'm probably mispronouncing chelabinsk that's why i call it the a6 slot
and welcome back to Summer Camp. Welcome back to FIDE World Rabbit and Blitz Championships. We are commenting already the round four. It's about to start, Vishy. So uh, let's have a look first and check uh, who has the perfect score after round three. Yeah. I think we have, yes, the standings. At least we were told about it. We recall that a few players, uh, including Alexander Shimano, we remember, uh, has uh, three out of three. But uh, and they started, yeah. Yes, they they are already about to start. Yes. So here we have uh, we have the, the the standings. Yes. So <laughs> the, the first uh, player. One to twelve. Twelve people on yes. a perfect score. Twelve people. So still very very. Richard Robert, we can see Nikhil Sarin, um, Arjun. So also Gareev Timur. Look, I mean, from those who I mean doing really great so far in the tournament. Yu Yangi, um, Anton David. Parinov, Ivan, he actually won that game, Matlakov, Maxim. So, yeah, I mean, great uh, so far for those players who have 100%, but uh, it's not over. We, we have the round number four, and uh, everything can happen there. So the game has uh -huh. started already, right? Right. So here we are. The first game, Parham Maksudlu against Magnus Carlsen. That's because... Magnus is on the top board, no matter what. Exactly. And then we have all the players with a perfect score. Richard Rapport against uh, Matlakov. Mm -hmm. Shimanov against Yu Yangi. Gareev against Nihal Sarin. Arjun Nerikaisi against Chikaev. SL Narayan against Anton Hiharu. And Bharat Subramaniam against Ivan Cheparinov. But Ivan Cheparinov is on two and a half already. Ah, Ivan Cheparinov is already on two and a half, right. Yeah. Okay. So, seven, I mean, seven boards, yes, have a uh, perfect score, but okay. No. Actually, there's a mistake with uh, Carlson because he's two and a half. He's not a perfect he's score. Yeah, he drew the first round, so there's a little <laughs> mistake there. Yeah. Yes, three. Good. It's reason, but yeah, for now. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, we, were we are now looking at Rapport uh, against Matlakov. So, can we have Richard on the screen, perhaps? Yeah, and this is the King's Indian attack. Popularized by the great Bobby Fischer, long, very long back, but uh, now it's just aligned with a lot of games with it. Hmm? Okay, still, we're getting closer to the stage. You can see so many uh, journalists, you know, around the stage. It's because normally you have um, possibility to take photos for the first few minutes, so right. now everybody's there. They have to use up their <laughs> yes. chance to get the photos. Exactly, yes, and then it will be a little bit empty. So we can see now Magnus on the screen. Uh, he's playing against Perham. I remember they played also the previous years. Of course, Perham is considered as quite good a player, yes. especially in Blitz. And I think this year, maybe, I don't remember where exactly they played, and uh, Magnus was in some trouble against uh, Perham. So he's able to pose quite some problems. Of course. Uh, let's move around a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we have Shimanov against uh, Yu Yangi here. It's just one of these lines. They'll go g4, h4 somewhere. Maybe they, if bishop h5, there's knight h3. Maybe black goes back to d7. Who knows? We'll see us later. Okay, and this is uh, very interesting indeed. So it's Timur playing? Gareev? Gareev Timur against Nihal Sarin. Nihal Sarin. Very sharp yeah. line. Black is going to try and punch with b5, b4 and the thing. Very has a Rogosin vibe. But on the other hand, white is going to do something drastic on the king's side. Yes. Um, you could easily imagine, I mean, I'm not going to make the moves because uh, it'll happen anyway. But uh, um, bishop e2, bishop e7, castles, castles, knight e1. So something like this. Mm -hmm. And the idea is now I'm going to play g4 and f4 and try to push the pawns. Yeah, otherwise there. Black will have very good uh, counterplay on the queen yes. side, right? Everybody has to do something. Correct. <laughs> and then, as is typical, the devil is in the details. You may interplay, you can throw in queen a5 somewhere to attack c3, um, and then it becomes very complicated. But it's promising us an interesting game. I don't know if this has happened. The bishop e2 has happened, okay. Uh, Arjun Erikaisi against Shigayev. This is the old classical stuff that you're supposed to do. Um, if the bishop is able to get out and then the knight comes back, this is the dream position. And after bishop d7, 
G4, H4, G5. Yes. Um, Will not I would. Uh, my feeling is black has simply misplayed it. I am not an expert in the King's Indian, you know, health warning, but <laughs> I suspect black has just misplayed this, and uh, maybe H4 or something is quite pleasant for white simply. So white will have a good good play here. Very so much. Oh, 98 was. 98 played. and then H4, H4. Let's just go for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you remember the game earlier uh, that MBL had in the King's mm -hmm. Indian, I mean, this is going to be a better version of that. So. Okay, SL Narayanan against uh, Anton Hiharo, again, a quiet, um, but it's it's funny, they're not playing d4, they're all going knight f3. Yes. So there was an extra difference that black put the bishop on g4 instead of f5. Yes. And now they continue as before, they continue as if nothing has happened. Yes, but the bishop... And I know this position of the bishop on f5, except here it's on g4. Mm -hmm. uh, I suspect... Is it black better? simply has it's it's good for black this yes. version of it mm -hmm. because I can take on f3 and take on e5, but uh, we'll see. Arjun just made a move. Let's see if he did go h4. Oh, I thought he made a move. All right, this is SL Narayanan against uh, Anton Hiharo. Uh, let's keep moving along. Bharat Subramaniam against Ivan Chaparinov. So black has sacrificed, uh, white has sacrificed a pawn, but is counting on the two bishops and some initiative. And knight is hanging, what, 96? 96. Bishop d3? <laughs> no, knight f4, yes. Probably. Why not? I mean, of course, I created one trap, finally. Uh, yeah. Not castling, of course, but yeah. knight f4 is not, not a pleasant. But also, I might, uh, I wonder, can I just go for all the pawns? Mm. Ah. Greedy. Okay. But the thing is, I'm not able to castle, so the, there's a little bit of a lag. I mean, I could even go... But knight f4 looks like a king, clean. It's, <laughs> it's unlikely. I don't think he'll play after knight e6. I suspect he'll castle long or something. Castle long, yes. Looks, yeah. looks better. Correct. Mm -hmm. Emil is back. He made an early draw, but clearly he's uh, done well and come back. And uh, he's playing Andraken. To me, this looks like a very nice French. I'll just play e5, put the knight on d4. Yes. I also Rook h1, like and then just keep this dark square clamp. And maybe some Greek gift sacrifices later, <laughs> if, if you're allowed. Let's, <laughs> yep. Timeo danos y dona ferente. Okay. Uh, Levon, so you can see all the people who dropped an early half point somewhere are catching up. They're coming back, but, yes. um, um, This looks nice for white, right? It just looks very pleasant for white. Simple so knight on a5. I mean, just dark squares, everything's more or less as it should be. It's very pleasant for white. We already have a couple of draws. Already. It we might as well get them out of the way. Yeah. Yes. Let's see who has made a draw. Queen F3 draw. So apparently you do not need to wait 30 moves. It, it looks like that, yes. Yes. Wow. Well, I, will, I will find out, actually. Yeah, so... Because I didn't see it anywhere, so... And uh, this time, uh, unlike with it, who continued playing with E6, <laughs> uh, Van Forest challenged him. Yes, it and, is. Uh, Bolodar showed his home preparation, which was to keep repeating. Yes. And they did, in fact, make a draw. Make a draw. So it's a um, good result for the one who plays black normally, right? Yes. <laughs> At first. But full credit to, I mean, Bolodar is still in the uh, vicinity, he's in the top, and mm -hmm. still holding steady with some draws. Of course, no. I mean, uh, especially with five rounds, it's hard to keep the same level of energy. So d sometimes players are ready to make the draw if they yeah, think that... Get one game out of the way, just, kind let's of, let's yeah. say, prepare mentally and do the next one. You know, just have some rest, so... Yeah. Again, I think E5 is screaming to be played. Uh, because this counterplay on the queen side won't work so well. I think it's very difficult to get A5 before. But e5 somewhere, somehow, should be the way forward. Uh, Aryan Tari against uh, Fabiano Caruana. And uh, he has just made this move a4. Yes. Uh -huh. to, 
potentially disturbing the bond structure. I, it's not clear when he will take on b5 or if he will take, uh, or whether black will play b4. There are a lot of uh, unanswered questions here, but um, okay, he didn't. He took b4, take, take, and he has gone bishop e3. So it's uh, Fabiano, yes. Uh, against uh, Harry and Tari. Yes, what, what do you think about uh, ah, if c5, then I think d5, and I'm in time with knight d2, and the knight is going to this lovely d4. square. Mm -hmm. So. So it's not. C5 is not a good idea, yes, and the, the bishop will be blocked on a7. Right. So what else? Uh, in this I don't position, know. The, uh, otherwise, white can play bishop b3, rook c1. It looks fairly pleasant as things go. Yeah, and black, what will be the plan for black? Mm -hmm. yeah, so we are checking the game of Fabiano right yeah. now. Just maybe you can see them on the screen, okay. not sure if they are on the stage. And then Indich against uh, Peter Swidler. Again, modern chess, they just uh, have this new structure. And keep playing, okay. Pawn for D3. compensation. Yes, compensation, but yes. black plays bishop b4. Peter seems to know it quite well. He's a big expert in the English opening, of course, so he would know these lines well. You know, Peter is not even sitting. Why Why to check anything if he knows everything, probably? So exactly. He's walking around. Walking it's around, enjoying himself, chess. yeah. You can still do it. Yes, let's have a look what's going on on the other board. <laughs> so it seems like uh, Kovalev, I think, it was there. Yeah. He was surprised, you know, by, by Peter's appearance. Yes, so now he comes back uh, to, the, to the board and just... Okay. Um, Alexei Drev is playing against uh, Noderbeck. Hmm? Noderbeck on paper, on, strong, yes, on paper, two bishops and isolated pawn, but uh, the bishops are in awkward positions. And uh, one. <laughs> let's see how that comes out. Uh, again, Artemiev uh, has recovered a bit. Mm -hmm. And so now we start the people who maybe didn't have the best start, a couple of draws or a loss somewhere, yes. but have fought back up. Uh, Pragnananda, I think he maybe maybe had a second drop. I mean, judging by this, we should check. Yes. Playing uh, Kovalev. Um, and uh, Temur is also back. He started with a defeat, but then has made his way back. Um, Salem lost a game. He's back up a bit. So here we are. Then Grishchuk just made a quick draw. Okay. Just I think with, with Sasha, it's quite clear. He just, um, a day he doesn't feel like playing, he'll sweep out, but then he'll mm -hmm. uh, fight much harder in the remaining rounds or something like that. So. Yeah, but I mean, how, how can you feel that, you know, like you're, you're playing and then maybe you have a chance in the game or you just kind of feel that, yes, okay, now it's just better to make a draw. Like, when do you know? What, when is the You know, it's not that I really approve, <laughs> but um, there are, it's hard to... Um, uh, not to emphasize that uh, there are a lot of rounds left. Yeah. And so even this approach, which looks paradoxical, but they're just getting some games out of the way. Maybe um, he's a tough opponent for him. Maybe he's, uh, the last game was tiring. There are all sorts of reasons. You make a quiet game, you get some rest, and then you come back. Yeah, remember you also sometimes, like, remember you played the draw in the last round, uh, immediately five rounds, and then you could leave also quickly. And in uh, in Riyadh, this is what yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> in Riyadh, I did because then I could go back to my hotel early. Early, yeah. And... Uh, this couple of extra hours for it. Two hours extra, so I would go to the gym, <laughs> work out, <laughs> and uh, I'd finish the, my gym, I think I'd come back, and I realized the others had not even come back yet. Yes, yes, yes. So, so you, you had your, your time to rest. Uh, yeah. Uh, which was which was very important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so okay, let's have a look at the women now. Um, Zhu Jena is uh, having a very good tournament. She's won some key games here. I'm not sure what game that is on top, but uh, anyway. Mm -hmm. So we get this Bishop D7 rouser. Okay, what is it going to be? If it's bishop a7, bishop c7, then rook a8. In 
important move. Because and if we should be five, you come out and you kick the bishop uh, along the way. And you also That's probably space. not ideal. Mm -hmm. um, so you may maybe he just wants to come back here. Um, I mean, with this this six pawn, it looks a little bit like passive for black right now, right? He needs to bring the pieces. In the yes, like bishop but um, from the time of. Uh, uh, the 50s, we understand the value of this pawn chain. Uh, especially, you can also break with f5 and so on. Yes, and the d5 thing, unless you have an extra piece at the end of all the exchanges on the square, then it's unless you have an extra piece which lands there, it might not mean that much. Yes. But uh, but look, uh, not to... Uh, is this the current position? Um, if I come here and I just put the bishop on c4, it's also very pleasant. I've stopped any counterplay here. I can play king a2, First, rook yes. d3, make a lot of useful mm -hmm. moves. Not to make sure not this three yes. anywhere, yes, and like rook d3, rook d1. Oh, this is exciting. What uh, line was this? Yes. Oh, it was a caro of Khan. f3. That's interesting. They used to play h3, of course. Mm -hmm. f3, okay. Ninety-two, maybe we should be four. Yes. Mm -hmm. Going for the principal line, and then queen f five. Again, should be great composition. You take, uh, take and queen d five, and then you just put the rooks on d eight, e eight, and mm -hmm. play four. Immediately, I start checking like queen h six moves, you know, with knight f three ideas. But to that is here. true. But, but uh, the thing queen is, is you, you don't even need to do something no, so you special. You get once you get this knight here. Yes, and this is just five. so dominating. Yeah. Wow. Yes. So it's queen d five probably is very dangerous to take. She's in fact declined yes, the pawn. That's correct. So even bishop h four. Yes. Looks like better not to go for it. Yes. Um, then we have Anamuzi. No, this is uh, which game. Yeah, Anna Mozichuk again. Anna Mozichuk with... Mojai. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, yeah, looks equal. Uh, yes. White uh, White is going to sp claim that the two bishops give a little long-term edge. Yeah, but we'll I mean, what, what the plan will be here, let's say now, because... Black should try knight d7, knight c5 to bring it to the to attack these kind of key squares. Yes. Um, I mean, I don't see how... Or Black could go with the knight like this and come... Uh, so there's so many arrows. Yeah, because this e4 pawn, like where you place your bishop, uh, not d2, or how how do you finish the development for white? I mean, I'm trying to understand also, like I'm doing a lousy job with that. <laughs> yeah. So yes. this knight can come to that square, can or go to that, that square. square. So a and couple white, of plans what there. Well, here, let's say bishop e3 is not uh, playable. I would say it's something like um, a knight d2, a knight d2, and then f3, oh. <coughs> king, king f2, f2. Okay. and then maybe the knight. Rotates out like that. Okay, so, so there are a couple of plans for way. <laughs> But uh, the thing is, the black doesn't have any easy targets. All the white spawns mm -hmm. are in safe squares. I once played a game with Magnus here. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought I was doing great, but it was easy to go wrong. In fact, I was doing well, but then I made one or two lazy moves and then suddenly got into such a big mess and I had to think a lot. I think I spent about an hour on my 40 second first move or something like that just to. Um, not let the game slip away. Yeah. So. Should be careful. Yeah, and this game is. Again, it looks like uh, put a put something on d4 and enjoy yourself, but the problem is that uh, black will beat it with knight c6. So if I go here, black plays that, and then it's difficult because if you move the knight, you lose the pawn. And if you take, you're not in time to blockade the square. Yeah. And you do this, you know, one move D4. too slow. I played d4 and yeah, it was too late. So, well. yeah. Wait, this one says by Shali. Sorry, this was uh, Salimova against... Uh, um, Munksul Turmuk. So it's, it's it's hard to spell all the names, but yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, we were checking this. Okay, the another very topical line. Um, 
people started playing knight e5 and knight f4, mm -hmm. giving the pawn, and then claiming that uh, you can just equalize easily like this. Um, like this, even with the pawn on d6, yes, and all this. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard to make progress with white, but on the hand, I, I can't really see that black has equalized here. Uh, I suspect there have been some inaccuracies. Yeah. Okay, let's just check back at the men and see what's happening in the open section. Okay, so Magnus has just m made this very clean. King is still in the center, and let's see what White is doing here. <laughs> I mean, I'm tempted to say White is worse. Yeah. Like, uh, I mean, you cannot like do if the I go, castling. if I go king g7, what are you even doing here? Yes, that's what I mean. Like, if you do the castling knight f3. Yes, and you queen g5 check, you, yeah. Yes, and it's uh, very unpleasant. Yes, so you don't do this. And uh, if you yeah. take on d4. Well, the thing is, again, I think rook d2 was so that he yes. can castle. Because if he mm -hmm. castles, then knight e2 check was there. So he was trying mm -hmm. to do that. But he still cannot castle. So it's kind of strange. Castle. Anyway, Magnus has gone for a direct thing, queen g6. Queen g6, queen. Mm-hmm. Like I mean, makes, white makes a lot the... of sense. If king <laughs> f1, it's no dream, but uh, maybe he'll just play f4 and introduce all sorts of new... Let this be just a free point for Magnus. Yes, it looks like why this collapse and yes. this at this moment, yes. Wow. I don't know. I, I, I'm, now we have actually a very nice view. We can see Magnus on the screen. Yeah, but I'd like to know what he's been playing. He's gone queen g6. Yes, he, he went, yeah. I mean, this this looks like a nice gift wrapped present. What was White doing here? Okay, all this is known. I think you're supposed to even start with the e takes d4 if you want to do this. Too many moves. Oh, ah, another piece. problem. Another problem. Yes. I think he 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 would have liked to castle. Uh huh. But uh, d3 is... Ah, nice. And then e4, yes. Is yes, and wow. e4 is poking. Wow. I'm just thinking if this works, but I think if I sidestep it, then you can't stop e4 anyway. Still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you don't have time to take on d3. Right. Wow. Okay, this, maybe that's what he missed. And wow, this this could be a disaster How for Parham. How many moves for so far we have? 20. 20 moves. Yeah, it can be a really but short game. hang on. It's 15 of which were theory. <laughs> Okay. So <laughs> this, like five, six moves. Yes. This does not uh, mm -hmm. bode well. We'll come back to this, but uh, this might be uh, very crucial because then like Magnus has uh, made a huge stride after. I mean, all, he'll probably catch up to the lead. Absolutely unless, yes. Yeah. Maybe there will be. Still I'll be one guy, one or two yes, people yes. on four. But, but if King, not King F1, maybe Rook G1 was that. Wow, this is but very exciting. Okay, let's yes. come back here. Yeah. In fact, it's more than exciting. It's just lost. Because blue, somehow black has lost a pawn here. I don't know how they lost, lost a pawn. Oh, I see all these knights next to the king. It looks really dangerous. Okay, be sure. Oh, he yes. just blundered a pawn. I mean, blundered. Yeah, yeah. He fell for a sacrifice. Yes, yes, yes. Where the problem for black is that you give check and suddenly the queen joins. Mm -hmm. And also it's very hard when the bishop has gone one square, one all sold already. It's very hard to imagine that in the next move it's going to sack. Yes. So Matlokov blundered into that. So Richard might well be a four out of four. <laughs> Good start. What can I say? Yeah. Wow. It's like... Uh, okay, knight c3. Right. Now the question is, are you going to sack the exchange yes. or something? Or it's what? It's very tempting. So what if we, t if we take the exchange? I was joking. Uh, no. I mean, I, I would just play queen d2. I would consider still, I don't know, but then but queen maybe d2, you don't wait, need it. Maybe knight e4 is the issue. And again, you sacrifice But I go queen f4. <laughs> now you cannot play knight d5 and so on. So. Yes. So uh, there is no rook need. c3. No. Basically, there is no need for it. Yes. And, uh, and maybe an h6 next move, like take. No, but I think he may also want to just take this. And that way he re-establishes. Mm -hmm. So, um, hang on. This was not as uh, easy as... It seemed. Yeah. Because black already had some weaknesses set up on the queen side. Rook a c8, h5. Maybe that's just a bit relaxed and he could uh, do something faster. I don't know. Let's try this. 
take. Take and take with a pawn. So my idea is to play knight e5. And join the party with the queen. Yes. Yeah, so you maybe you want to get rid of this, but then I can take here. Mm -hmm. And, and if you come here, I come here, and then I think I should be winning. Maybe knight f6 check would have been good. Yes, so take with the pawn, yes, maybe. I, I think... Uh, take, take, if here. not take on f... Uh, 95, something like that, h5. h5, yes. Five, yes. Okay, very bad. Yes. So, anyway, he went h5. Probably it felt that it's... He went uh, queen b2, queen b2. Or? no, I don't know, did he play it? Or was I analyzing? No, he went queen b2. Okay, b2. good. Yeah, that's maybe the only hope of keeping some advantage. I could take and take the pawn anyway, just to... Mm -hmm. Just to have something here. Uh, maybe... Yes, it has happened. Bishop f3, bishop f3, and queen d4 has happened. So if bishop e3... I can just go queen d3 and hug you tight there. It's nice that d1 square is covered by the knight, so you, you can yes. do anything. Um. Also, queen c4 was possible, if I wanted. He's not played bishop e3, by the way. But anyway, here we are. This is the current position. Let's see what's happening here. And we've got to quickly check back in case this game finishes in a hurry. Uh, yes, we marked this game. Yes, so king f1 he played. And the four happened, the one you predicted. And ninety one. And ninety one, yes, just so yeah. <laughs> Okay, this position cannot be good if you can you can just I mean see. you have you have games like this and but it's sad to do this to yourself as white. So what can I say? I agree, but I don't know what Mark should play here, let's say in this position, what will be the next move? Um uh, if you want to if push okay. No, it's not possible. The no. thing is, you may not even need to push because yes. you've got the space, you've gotten everything, and white is playing without a rook. Mm -hmm. So you might want to start with rook c8 and b5 and undermine the c5, open the c file and break so the you Because you have just the superiority, about the king's right? the side and you go to the queen's side, yes? Ah, he's gone queen yes. a6 instead, and then yes. he'll play rook c8 or b5 on the next move. Wow. And start blowing up. Uh, no, but it's, it's really nice. Like, you, you expect something to happen on the king's side or in the center, and then you actually switch yeah. to the queen's side, yes, and just. This pawn on c4 is weak and king yeah. is on f1. Wow. And even the normal plans, uh, h4, rook h3, don't work because there's a pawn on f4. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's another problem. <laughs> so these days it's very popular to have these kinds of plans, but the rook doesn't have any future anywhere. Yeah. It's missing all sorts of key squares. Yeah. So, okay, yeah, let's look at uh, Richard. <clears throat> he went h6. And uh, Maxim just took it. Which is clever in a way because uh, he might get to exchange a couple of pieces. Yes. That relieves the pressure even more. So now, which moves come to mind? Like to knight f6, which probably doesn't make. Uh, I mean, do you want to? I mean, always there is knight g6 at the end or knight. F6. Well, first yes. question: knight f6. Knight are you going to capture, or are you not going to? So what will happen? Yes, bishop takes. Bishop takes. I don't know this one or that one. Yeah, uh -huh. this one probably, because the other one, I think. So bishop at six. Six and um, knight f5. I don't know. Something like that. Also, you could do something like rook c4, rook and then you double rook c8, and so basically you don't want this queen to transfer very easily. Absolutely, this is so, the one for sure. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, knight f5 might be good. There is no bishop is three. B4 is uh, at least fixes the knight, and you're relaxed mm -hmm. about that. A5 is possible because you're threatening queen b4 simply. Does it feel for you so that there are many, many ideas. enough uh, enough control play in this position? So white. He has not done something. it. In fact, he has gone knight h6 check. Knight, knight f6 check. check I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. What has he done? Um, we cannot see from. Ah, oh, now we can see maybe. Is there is a knight on f6 yes. and a bishop on. I think he's done this. Knight, knight f6, f6 check. check. And Maxim is thinking. So, Maxim is thinking. so, uh, where to place your king? H8 or G7? H8, H8? feels safer. But if there's a queen ever staring at H7, yes, <laughs> I yes, will yes. regret this one. But uh, at the moment, it feels safer. And uh, I mean, okay. King, king, G2 but was then I can play knight F5, and then I'm harassing your bishop again. Yes, it looks like uh, black is somehow has this knight on c3. Which the bishop has gone back to g2. Oh, okay. He went king h8, he went bishop g2. Oh, because he wants to undermine bishop like this. One. 
but I, I'm not convinced. I can uh, play knight a4. My queen is on d3, right over there. Mm -hmm. Yes, it looks like that. Bishop f1, what was the, what was the idea? Uh, so he played, yes, bishop g2. The king is still on g1, there's a piece on g2, so it must be the bishop. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're deducing a lot here. First of all, there is, ah, no, knight f6 has happened, so not bishop knight, g2. No, first of knight f6, yes. And then bishop g2 bishop has g2. happened. And, uh... I mean, the idea is just to get rid of this queen on d3, right? And, but what next? And win a piece, but... Yes. I mean, bef I mean, before is not possible now, yes. or... It is possible. <laughs> it is possible. Because if you Queen take, takes, I have knight to check. <clears throat> so, th if it's possible, you, you want to play this because knight on c3 feels not so great. But first of all, after knight a4, I don't see your queen has a single square. Oh, by miracle, it has this one, maybe. And then maybe I want to bring it to the king's side, if I'm allowed. Yes. Some but hang on, let me go... Uh, take... Yes. And then go there. Mm -hmm. So you're preventing... You go queen, queen g4. g4 yes. For the moment you're safe. But now I come back with the knight. knight oh no, then yes. bishop f1, bishop f1 now mm -hmm. again. So... But yes, I want to play bishop before now. So maybe if you don't have knight c3... Yeah. I mean, maybe there's a case to be made for b4. Maybe. If it's possible, maybe. But let's say before bishop f1. Yes, now Sim is thinking about his position. Because he realizes he's completely out of trouble now. <laughs> so and now? now he's thinking, am I even better? And uh, uh -huh. he's before. gone b4. He okay. Before movies. <laughs> Very happy with that one. <laughs> See. Yes, yes, yes. It's not like I calculated till the end. It's just. But wait a minute, Bishop F1. One, what yes. happens? So where you place your queen? I thought about it. I have squares. I mean, I can Why? go Queen F5, and I'm threatening the pawn. If you take here, I think I'll do Knight D5, and I'll probably take the Bishop. Not the Knight. Yes. Okay. I'd prefer the Bishop, to be honest. I mean, if you move your Queen to A5 or something, I think I will take this. Yes. Ah, and Rook E3. I don't have Knight E2 because the D8 is hanging. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, okay, yes, it's not possible. Yeah. So, Queen F5, let's say. Has he gone Queen F5? I don't or is it my analysis? Know. Yeah. No. No, 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 he's still thinking, yes. Probably. He's not even played Bishop F1, so <laughs> that would explain a lot. Uh, yes. B4 has happened. Before and, and White is thinking. Yes, it's White to play right now. But uh, there are other moves. I mean, there is maybe bishop uh, b4. Oops. Queen a7. Knight e3. Knight e3. Ah, queen e3 and even threatens mate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll... Yes. Queen b4 is possible. Queen b4. Oh, no, what am I talking? We have knight e2 check, right? No, bishop f1 we were thinking. Bishop f1 bishop first, Bishop f1 yeah. first, yes. And I don't have an... And easy. only after you move, then queen b4. Queen g6 has the advantage. It stops a lot of stuff, and I can play knight f5. Maybe that's the way to do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wanted to attack f2, but maybe attacking g3 is just as good. Yeah, so, I don't know. Queen b4 here. Knight e5, yes. So, it's, yeah. I don't know, knight d5, I have five. five. Let me go to f5 and see. Mm -hmm. So, remembering your idea of should I play queen queen a5, you know, trying to stop this knight e2. Bishop f1, he went queen g6, in fact. Queen g6, yes, okay. So, this has have happened. It on the board. Yes. I think now you, it's now or never, you just play queen b4, right? Queen b4. Mm -hmm. There is always this idea with queen a5. And so that uh, this knight e2 this. check doesn't work yes, because yes, I'm taking yes, that very, very nice yeah. idea. Yes, always you keep an eye on this rook on d8. So one second, let me go knight f5. Yes. You go queen a5. Mm -hmm. take on let me just three, go for yes. it. Let's see what's happening. Also possible, yes. So I have to take, you take. And I don't know if king h1 helps. I mean, bishop, uh, bishop I think knight e2 wins. Yeah, because it's. Because, uh, yeah. Check. Take. Uh -huh. 
and rook d1 check, right? Rook d1, yes, exactly. So, so the difference is also with check, yes. Yeah, Small but after king h1, one. what is my follow-up? I mean, I don't know if I have a draw. Yes. But what is my follow-up otherwise? Queen h4. Maybe there is a draw. Ah, queen, queen h4, can you play? Or king g2. Oh, right, queen h4 check. Yes. King g2, then queen bishop b4, and uh -huh. I'm getting my rook j check. Okay. Here we go, yes. <laughs> and I have no idea what's going on. But other than that, everything is great. Oh, no, not just three is very brave. Yes, yeah. one, we <laughs> give the piece. If he goes queen a5, but what else can he play besides queen a5? And by the way, he's not taken on b4 yet. This is the current position. Mm -hmm. and he's right. still thinking. Let's quickly see some other games. Yes, sure. <clears throat> is it Magnus' position? I, I remember the king went all the way to h3. <laughs> he's on h4. H3, before. And you can see over here, everything, everything is being. Yes, uh, everything you predicted, yes, all the moves. <laughs> yeah. G1, and he took the pawn. H3. And immediately he wants to go to the ending. Well, he's a clear yeah, pawn. Absolutely, up. It's, yes. It's hardly some spectacular yes. act of. H5, just to yeah. make sure that the king doesn't go <laughs> anywhere. I mean, that, I, think, I think that king deserved to go to g4. Uh -huh. It's it worked so hard. <laughs> no, but look at and the pieces. Every, everyone on the first rank, yes, like never. This rook on h1 never yeah. uh, came out. Yeah, I mean, position is quite set for Parham right now. What and Magnus, what's he about to play? Mm -hmm. He's gone e2. e2. So knight d3, e2 has happened, I think. Yeah. Yes, knight d3, e2. What is the next move? So let's say e2, and of course, I don't know, rook e1 is not a good idea, knight c2 probably. And if I move the rook somewhere, let's say b1. And then maybe he so just wants to do this. This one. Yeah, I mean, everything is hanging, knight is hanging. Wait a minute. Knight f4? Knight f3, I was hoping. Uh -huh. But now I see that there's this move. Double check, but it's not helping probably. <laughs> Sounded like knight g1 closing this, but and e1, but it's too yeah, much. No, it's just too much. Just, I mean, I would try so, not to. rook c3, yeah. but then what else? Maybe just uh, uh, rook e3, yes, e3, <laughs> and knight f4, just to, to then, my knight then it's works. it works, yes, knight d5, I go knight g5 check, yes, and rook h4 uh, check. So beautiful, and then yeah. So I think rook b1, the thing, uh, rook e3, and then knight c2, and it's just knight c2, and yeah, you just promote the pawn. Yeah, yeah. That's no, this one is over. I think this over. one's more interesting. What? No, no. It's just uh, I see Parham is still thinking about his position. Yeah, but this is the rapport game. Ah, what happened? This actually did happen. Everything. He's been chasing him for a while, and he has gone queen a6, and this is the current position. Oh. So if if uh, you keep chasing the queen, where it goes? Oh, and queen c4. I have a way out. Ah, and ah, knight a2. Knight a2. I Attacking suppose. both rooks. Wow. <laughs> Double but, but bishop d3. <laughs> this is a crazy position. I mean, yeah. queen g7, what? I mean, knight. I like knight f5, at least knight it had F5, the beauty yes. of just taking the bottom g3 and seeing what happens. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. Oh, knight g3. Yeah. We have not had a lot of time for other games. Arjun is probably better, but uh, with that rook on h2, it's much harder to push everything. I suspect he is much better anyway. Um, Nihal Sarin's an exchange down. No, I think this is good for Garev because I'll double on the G file and how do you protect that pawn? Mm -hmm. I will play knight e7 and hold. He's gone bishop d8 actually. Bishop d8, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so the plan is uh, rook 2 He's not yet played anything. I remember also in, um, I think last year in Kazakhstan, where he played quite well. He started very well in the, mm. in the tournament. Then later on, 
a little bit the tournament didn't go his way. But at the beginning, yes, I remember yeah. he was also. Okay, Arjun is doing, still, I think, doing well. Uh, SL Naran and Drew. Bharat Subramaniam Drew with Chaparinov. Are you checking the game without even putting the moves? <laughs> I'm wondering. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, M MVL and Reikin is lost for Andreikin. Totally lost. Uh huh. So that's uh, just resigns, and MVL takes a very important step up. Uh -huh. uh, he comes to whatever three and a half. The game is over already, or it's, it's no, about the position yes, is, the position over, is yeah. like well, what rook is three? I mean, what because play? F7 is being attacked and uh, Queen D8, F6, all that is happening. And mm -hmm. It's just gone. It seems like Black maybe also tried to create some kind of an, an attack, and after King A1, nothing. Materialized. Uh, yes, no, no, there are no threats. Yes, so White is winning first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 96, I don't know what, what to play. What about Knight D3? Knight D3. Ah, then Queen D8 takes D3. <laughs> or Bishop F7 check. Yeah, bishop f7. Take? No, then queen f7, you're okay. right. King g7. Rook e7. Uh, Rook e7 and it's a draw. <laughs> this, that queen, though she's dying, wow. she reaches across the board she's to help the perpetual. <laughs> wow, Rook right? b2. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, king a1, let's try knight d3. He's gone knight d5 or what? No. We're just analyzing. Knight d3, but there must be a win here. Hang on. Because black is threatening rook a2 check. And queen b2 check made, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, the original idea, queen d8, queen d3, then what, rook b3? What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And rook b3, now I'm threatening mate here. Also. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can play queen d4, but uh, then I will get pawn pawn back and things. Yes. Or you could play something like rook b1. Uh, it's still unclear, yes. But in fact, the game is over. He went knight d5. Knight d5? And then it was just game over. This people have finished. Oh my god. <laughs> Richard and... Richard. Uh, and Maxim, let's, let's see what happened. I think they just agreed a draw. Mm -hmm. So... Probably. Big escape, I think, for Maxim. Yes, there's a and, really uh, good chance. Yeah. And this knight of 6 you showed, I think, was really, really yeah. good for him. And... It should be lost, right? For for for, for uh, white. White, of course, yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, the king will come e6, d5 or something, and... Even, let's say, with the pawn, a knight, yes. King just goes around and... How did he even get such a good position? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he almost did it. He allowed the knight d5. Uh -huh. Whereas rook e3 would have been a clincher, I think. <laughs> the knight is doing miracles, right? Yes, 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 oh, but he should have just played rook e3. Rook, yeah. We saw yes, we there's a kind of viewer. Four, yes, and this nice, brilliant knight of three, and yeah. yes, yes. I so think he missed knight e3, knight e5 simply. Mm -hmm. Oh, he just gave it up like this. Uh huh. And then. I mean, but ah, still, he was it not to have g4, some yeah. Kind of, uh, technique, right? To, to, to win the game. So yes. I think it was so winning before. Like, we, we, it felt like it will finish in three moves. But yes. Now I think, let's see, Parham will definitely will keep trying to hold the position. But maybe Max just knows that it's completely winning. And Yeah, so the thing is, white can never approach with king e, black can never approach like this. I mean, I'm just putting the thing and controlling the square. But Magnus is going to try to squeeze as much as possible before uh, he enters with his king. And uh, it, I don't it think might just be lost. And, uh, or no, it's, uh, I think it's winning now. Where is that knight? It's on g5. Yeah. Where is the black rook on a7?
Shimano view Yangi was a draw. Uh, Arjun is. Ah, he's going to play king e4 and tickle that bishop. But how does white make progress? That bishop is controlling the h8 square beautifully. He's gone rook h2, rook f3 has happened. Yes, so let's say you have. Ah, see, he wanted to stop rook h5. No. Like you have this pass pawn, but try to push it. <laughs> yeah, like has blocked it completely. So yeah. we see some. Ah, yes, a Magnus game on the screen. Yes. Let's follow the ending and see. Might be fun. Mm -hmm. yes, they they played a few moves here. In fact, they made a couple more. It should come up now. Mm -hmm. See, Magnus made a quiet move because he didn't see a forced win. So he just played rook a1, passed the move to Parham and asked. Huh? And Parham's problem is if he touches the knight, puts it in the wrong square, it might end up too far in some line. So uh, how about the times? 22 seconds versus a minute for Magnus. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is grouping. It's important, yes. Yeah. But okay, still 10 seconds per move. Let's remind our viewers that we still have increment. For each move, you get 10 seconds, and it's important, especially in such situations. So this is the current situation, and uh, yeah, he's now. Oh, my Parham had more than a minute. Excuse me, he had a minute and 22 uh, seconds. Uh, he then he's still doing fine. No, uh, it feels like he f that Parham thinks that he has some chances. Let's say in this position and. It's still different from losing the game in 20 moves. Yes. And he's gone back here. Yeah. <clears throat> what if we have Rook against Knight <laughs> and 50 moves? Well, at least there you know it's a draw. Maybe you lose it, but you know it's a draw. But <laughs> yes. here he can't even be sure. Can, can we play any time Knight G7 and try to grab another pawn? I was thinking about that here. Mm -hmm. Uh, like, could he have gone here? Yeah, for example, knight just seven. But then I go king e4. And maybe knight and Now knight h5, I go check and king f3, and that's probably bad. Over. But you can do a king g2. To make sure that you put the king on h3, or what? Yes. Mm -hmm. But if I do this, I go here, then suddenly your knight is trapped. And then I'll go to... I did not think this was a good idea, no. to put it so finally. It's, so. it's important to know that tonight cannot really take this h5. Pawn. What has happened? This has happened. Yeah, we'll see now what's going on. He's just played a quiet move, king c3, saying... Uh, but now knight g7 might work. He's gone knight g7. Oh, really? Immediately? Uh -huh. Because now well, is that, uh, it's but, a different story. King or did he play king d5? Player. King is on d5 somehow, the so knight is on g5, sorry. Uh -huh. I'm yeah, it's, it's hard to see from here, of course. the king on c3. No, what happened? Oh, that's my move that I entered, okay. Okay, we ref maybe refresh. Am I allowed to? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, all this happened. So Parham for the moment is maintaining what might be a fortress. Yes, but Magnus doesn't believe in fortresses. We remember he said this during yes. one <laughs> World Championship matches. So let's see if he can break through. No, he will be very upset if he doesn't win this game. This is for sure. So he will do everything. In that order knight to... is going to some square. It's come to g5 now, but I don't know where the black rook is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I also wait with king f3, and then what? So is it better to keep the king, let's say, closer to the center, or because if you put it on h3, there is a plan always with uh, king yes, yeah. there, so it's not a, not a good idea. Just anyway, MVL, MVL's win was important. Mm -hmm. Fabiano beat Ariantari, so I guess both of them are moving up. But anyway, this is crucial because if Magnus wins, then he of course it's uh, he, he has that very important extra up with with other guys. Yes, and unfortunately, we don't see the move so quickly. 
but we can feel the pressure, the tension of the game. It's like clearly both both players are trying. Magnus is just different things. Yes, <laughs> Magnus is trying to break through. Parham is trying to defend. He's very concentrated right now. He knows that probably it's the best position he got out of the opening, let's say, in this game. So he got his chances. My dream, po my dream it's position, it's my dream position. position but, but, but the best one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so 96, I think we've been here. King d3, king f3, and nothing happens. Mm -hmm. So what is going on? I, I think 96 or knight f7, because I can also give you a check on e5, and that seems to be useful in some positions. <laughs> Yes, it's important not to be greedy and not to try to get all those pawns on h5. Just keep the fortress and ask your opponent how are you going to break through here? What are you going to do? So actually, let's check the game of Garriel, because if he wins this game, he might uh, actually become the, the leader of the tournament. And it's over. Ah, yes. Essentially, I mean, queen g5 is a threat. If queen f6, I go king h3. What's your draw? I mean, what's your defense? I mean, just to exchange out for nothing, yeah? So, he, yes, you're right. He has one, and that's what happened. So... <clears throat> so he, he has four out of four. Wow, okay. That's really great achievement. Sure. Great result. Great result. And here, Arjun, is he winning or not? Uh... Okay, this is position, like if you play a7, king g7, king g7 then, yes, then it's a so draw. So only have move, so we have to be tricky. Uh, don't have oh, but there's anyway a c-pawn as well, so you're not in yes, time. You have to take a draw, I think. It should be a draw. I mean, king c6 and then c3, c2, c3 and then c8 yes, or something. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes, so it should be a draw, yes. No, just for a second, yes, it felt that... I mean, anything is a draw. I can even go to cafe check first, push the king to the g-file and... Make a draw, so. Yes. Okay, so this position is probably will finish soon, this game, and uh, what else we have? Okay, so this is the only one I think ah, we have to follow. Yes. <laughs> so we thought that this game will, would have finished first, and now, <laughs> one of the first, let's say, and now we can... And Magnus uh, can't see a plan. I think we have, they've been to these positions before. Mm -hmm. What um, was the last pawn capture? Ah, yes, so we can count the moves or, or exchange. E1, F5 happened, mm -hmm. F4 and then G3 on move 47. 47 now? 47 and then now they are at 72. He needs it to be 97. Yes. So still considerable. Still it's not, uh, he's not in danger of the 50 move rule. But, uh, yeah, exactly. So let's say if um, both players will not exchange anything or will not push the pawn in 50 moves, the game will be de declared. There's only one pawn that's been yes. pushed. Yes. And that's a bad move. Uh, yes, so I think, we, it's I think it's not, not the best move. <laughs> We're not going to. Position, yes, but, uh, by the way, maybe. This is actually quite a beautiful position because he's played rook a7. And, oh, Parham goes to d6. Huh? So he, he wants. To take the pawn, rook a5, or what? You have to play. No, but uh, that was uh, not good because he's gone rook uh, d7. It's a very clever trick. Um, something like this. I don't know what has happened. You mean he wants him to take now? Or what? I think even king d4. No, we just have to wait for the position on the board. Mm -hmm. But basically, knight d6 happened. Yes. And then... Uh, rook is on d7, yes. He's like... Instead of going rook a5, which is what Parham expected, yes. he went rook... Um, a6. 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 Uh -huh. And then on knight a5, because king e4 and rook a to check or something like that. Uh -huh. Yes, that's that's what's happened. So, if you take the pawn, it's just... If you take the show, pawn, yes. then it's king, king e4 and, and rook d2 check. d2 check, yes. So, just to show it on the board, yes. Don't be greedy, yeah. don't take the pawn. But nice trick. Magnus is still trying, of course, to use any chance. Yeah, so... I think his opponent to take this poisoned pawn. No, what happened? He went... Uh, 96 rook is on, he went, what, king 98 or what? <laughs> you can see from the face of Magnus, he's not really happy with what's happening, that now he has to w w work really hard uh, in order to win this game. Oh, this camera view is amazing. Yes. 
So the knight, I, what I can gather is there's a knight sitting on e8 and a rook sitting on g6. Mm -hmm. But the knight is not coming back. It, it's just it's trapped there. News. <laughs> if the knight doesn't go back, it's... It's just trapped. No, it's trapped if it's on uh, e8. So what is Magnus thinking about? Oh, we just have to wait for the... Ah, here we are. Yes. And Magnus has one. Yeah, there, there we are. Oh. Uh, king c4, yeah, sorry, king c4, and that knight is trapped because the king is going to come to c6 and d7, and then it's just over. So the only thing it can do is to jump again. Yes. But then it's still trapped. Of course. Of yeah, course. so they, they are here, and it's, uh, for some reason, it's Magnus's move. Wow. So, so and now... Um, was it a bad idea to go to e8? Maybe. Wait a minute, is, can you trap the knight now? Because so king c6, I'll go knight a6. Oh, I've got it. I go king c6. Yes, knight a6 or knight... Ah, but this is with black to move. That's the problem. And I've gotten it here in this analysis with white to move. I can go king c6, knight c7, rook d6, I thought. Mm -hmm. Because of knight before king... Ah, uh, now let's see rook d6. He played this move, king c6. Yes, rook, rook d6. d6 yes. And now I can just play king e Three. Ah oh, no. Yeah. If king e three. No. Then king b five. Knight uh, c seven. King b six. And the knight is trapped. And there it's game over. King b six. And thank wow. you very much. Ah, there we are. That's really really great uh, variation. But what 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 went wrong? I mean, maybe he he shouldn't play with the knight. <laughs> I mean, two e eight. Yeah. Well, he defended oh, well. Wow. Magnus won the game. I think. Yes, I don't know why there. What is he trying to claim? That uh, it can't be the fifty move rule. It's way too early. Ah, for maybe, that. maybe yes. Or like, what's going on? <laughs> it's yeah. Good to know what happened. But both players are laughing, and I mean, there is all spectrum of emotions we can see on the on their faces. No, but I think Mark is just just. One. Of course. Yes. And <laughs> oh, is he going to claim that he what? Something happened yeah, on time, or what? I don't know what has happened, but anyway, some is there a, a serious claim? But we have already checked with you. Yes, it's not 97 moves, so it's how many? Oh, it's actually uh, 86, 87, 86. but it's going to miss by quite a few. Yes, nine moves. Yes, it are yeah. still Even if there was, a, no, it, there was a few more moves, not when rook c6, rook d6, king b6, it would probably go on to 94 or 95. I would think uh, he will be two moves short or three moves short. And wow. But, yeah. but Vishy, can you understand what was the last mistake in this game uh, that Parham has done? I think if he would have kept his knight on e5, g5, uh, or if it was not... My impression is anymore. this is the last blunder. <laughs> uh, he went to knight d6. Knight d6, yes. I'm Maybe suspecting if I go knight g5, then I don't know if I can see this position as I occurred earlier. It was some similar uh, very similar, say, no? Yes, similar. He could just come back to g5. You're controlling this key square, and Magnus has not been able to make progress. And this is move 72. Uh -huh. Now he's only 25 moves away. Oh, well, yes. okay. Instead, he he charged up here. Oh no, this is the thing. It would be move 76. Mm -hmm. But uh, instead, he got into trouble like this. Yeah, so probably he didn't see this move rook to 7 or something like that, yes? Yeah. So he was attracted with this idea. Yes, so these pawns are re really dangerous. Like, you better keep your fortress. And uh, <laughs> don't which, get he, which, he, yes. which he doesn't believe in anyway, but uh, there you go. So. <laughs> anyway, so, I mean, great job. Magnus won the game once again. It seems like two positions. I think the second time he won it was harder than the first time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yes. So, having such a great position from the opening, they went all this way here. Okay, uh, Ralph Mamedov beats uh, Levon Aronian. Yes. In the game. Uh, yeah. So rook ending, we can see at the end. Okay, this was some Sicilian. Ah, this was this position we thought that uh, uh, we liked yes. for white, but of course you can't claim that... Uh, it was long time, made long time ago. <laughs> yes. Something like this happened. More and more material got exchanged. And then it's just a pure two bishops position. And I think I'm seeing what's coming. No, I thought A6 would happen, but it didn't. You wanted to break through with G4? No. I finally played A6 when I least expected it, but... Anyway, he won this game because that 
Bishop can only force its way through e4, and so, okay. Exactly, so uh, we have actually the results. Of and with it, with it uh, beats uh, Let's check. Uh, Kezin, uh -huh. so he must be on three and a half as well. I think he's only drawn one game. So, w w can we... Oh, uh, very, very close to equal position, but uh, uh, at some point, uh, with its technique was just good enough, I think. And he took it Just like, exist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jan Christoph Duda beats the uh, thing, but I've lost track of the scores. Yeah, they must be th three and a half as well. Uh, yes. I remember draw, but no. Pregnant on the beats uh, Kovalev. Let's see. Ah, that was this game that we saw. So I think uh, suddenly the three and a half out of four group is. Very big, and it's only Timur Gareev defending it a perfect score. It seems like that, yes. Uh, but we are going to check it soon. So the standings should be there. Ah, and he's just taken his extra pawn and converted it slowly. So, Vishu, would you like to check what happened, I mean, in the round, and then we can still check some few, few more games, let's say? Yeah, let's uh, quickly just see what is happening in the women. Uh, Zujina won, but the result has been... Uh, oh, this is the wrong round or something. Oh, God. So this is round four. So I think it's... Uh, don't, sc anyway, don't scroll. <laughs> I will not scroll. Okay, I'm sorry. But it's, but Fine. But I think we'll get to the women's uh, tournament at some point. Yes, but for, 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 for now, let's just check on just to, to be aware of what happened on the first boards. Uh, please, t let's have them on the screen. Mm -hmm. Just we'll take one moment. And what did Conrad Holt do in this round? <laughs> it's very important. Yes. Let's see. So first we, have, we check the plane hole, which is empty right now. So the okay, round I think we've over. I think we've established that. Yes, <laughs> and then we are still waiting for the pairings for the results to come. Um, we basically remember one decides the result on the top boards, and we know that Garyev should be the leader. But I wonder maybe we missed something, and let's say there was something else, some other results. Uh huh. Uh, here we are. So Magnus won, as we we could see before. So Gariev is the only one who scored. Yeah. Yes. So it's clear. And um, then we have also Vasily Grau who won his game. You just mentioned and Andre against uh, Andre and um, Rauf as well. Uh, Shevchenko Kirill made a draw against Fedosev, so both of them they have three points right now. So I can see also that Vidit, yes, won the game and he has also three and a half points. Correct. Which is also, uh, he, he came closer. And you're right, uh, Jan Krzysztof Duda won the game, but it has three points right yeah. now. Yes, points. So, same for Fabiano Caruana, so three points. And Conrad Holt uh, drew Daniel Dubov, so he's still two and a half. I mean, it'll still be three points. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Now I think the top is churning. Suddenly, instead of twelve people on a perfect score, we are down to one. Only one. Yes. And um, yeah, yes. dramatic. Timur Gariev, yes, you know, is on the first uh, place right now. We don't have standings ready, but we, we know them by heart right now. So it's like um, Timur, and then actually Magnus joins the group uh, with those who are chasing him on the second place. Yeah. Um, I don't remember how many people, but let's say uh, there are a few, and. Um, I don't know if we have the results of the women's section. Would be nice also to follow follow up what's 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 happening there. Um, <coughs> so let me remind you that actually we have the last round of the uh, FIDE World Rapid Championship from, uh, in the open section, but we, we have already done uh, all four rounds for women's section. Uh, ladies are going to rest today because they have only four rounds on the first day. Yes, so, but so far we don't have. Uh, the results of uh, ladies, um, and um, 
So I don't know, perhaps it's uh, maybe the time to go for a break and because we have also the interviews uh, waiting for us. Um, Maxim Vashely Krauk have given the interview to our um, reporter and maybe it's time to watch it. We are here with none other than MVL. How is your tournament going? So far, it's decent. Uh, I was a bit concerned. I arrived uh, on 25th, so I was a bit jet lagged. But so far, two, 200 alpha out of three. Um, some things were not as good as I wanted to, but in general, uh, it's it's a decent start, and hopefully, I can yeah I use that as as a catalyzer. Yeah. Right. And who is the opponent to look out for this tournament for you? I mean, it's always about Magnus, of course, uh, but uh, a lot of very strong players. So for now, I'll only look at myself and my results, and then after second day, we'll see. Yeah. Okay. And how did you prepare for this tournament? Anything special? Anything out of the ordinary? Or no, I had some rest in Paris because I spent almost two months uh, out in first in Grand Suisse and then in the U.S. and Canada. So I was really looking forward to be back in Paris for a few, for, for a week or so. And then, uh, yeah, took, took a lot of rest. Of course, uh, looked a bit at openings and stuff, but nothing too, too dramatic. And I think an important question for top players is how do you maintain your mental wellness during tournaments? Um, it's all about finding, you know, the good balance. First of all, I have some friends here, so it's, Good for social interaction, a lot of rest, of course, uh, maybe a little sports uh, in the next few days, uh, we'll see. But in general, this event is very exhausting because it's uh, like five, six hours of play every day. So uh, rest is paramount. Okay. And last question, classic, bullet, rapid or blitz? Um, probably between blitz and rapid. Like this, I think it's the future of chess. Thank you very much. The skies where stars twinkle brighter in the night, where the sun bestows warmth with a golden light, painted hues around in vivacious delight, where every fruit bears a juicier bite, and the smiles they share with kindness ignite, in a land where hearts with friendliness unite, world seems enchanting, every day, every twilight, Rocket DMC, Discover Uzbekistan. Hi, I'm here with Anna Maya Kazarian from Netherlands, and uh, we are about to talk about your experience, your tournament, how it's going. Tell us how your tournament is. Uh, so far, two out of three. Really happy with the score. I had really fun games, really exciting ones. First game did not go so well. She literally destroyed me, so it was a really tough game. But after that, I had really uh, good games and really happy with my score. Great. And how are you finding Uzbekistan? Is it your first time here? It's my first time here. I actually never thought I would visit Uzbekistan, but here we are and I absolutely love it. I went to the city one day and it was beautiful. It was simply amazing. So really happy to be here. Really nice atmosphere and the organizers have done a really good job over here. Speaking about visiting Uzbekistan again, the next Olympiad will be in 2026. What are your short term goals of being part of the next Olympiad team for Netherlands? 
Yeah, for the next uh, Olympiad, I would need to have around 2300, I think. We have lots of strong uh, girls coming up now. Elina and Martel have gotten super strong. So I would need uh, somewhere around 2250 to 2300 to qualify. And that's my aim in the next uh, couple of years. Okay, good luck with that. And uh, preparation for this tournament, you obviously stream. You play a lot of blitz, a lot of rapid bullet, I'm assuming. Exactly. So I'm quite experienced, but it's still very different to go from 2D to 3D. And I've noticed that actually in uh, I've been doing puzzles and I've, it really helps a lot in preparation. So honestly, didn't do so much, but mostly just playing blitz games, playing, uh, doing puzzles all the time. And it really helps a lot to stay sharp in your games. <laughs> Great. Do you have any message to your loyal followers from Twitch, from Discord, YouTube? Oh, um, thank you so much all for watching. Thanks for the support and it's a blast. And I hope you guys are having a fun time as well watching the games and thanks to the stroke baffles. <laughs> thanks, Anna. Thank you. Bobby, dude, your decimal course is taking forever, man. What are you wearing? Dude, I always wear this. Well, why are you wearing it? Dude, I'm going on Piers Morgan in five minutes. You mean that Piers Morgan? Wait. Hans is on right now. What? He interviewed Hans instead of me? God. Hi, I'm here with Nurgil Salimova, none other than uh, the you know, star of the year in chess. How is your tournament going? Well, I made four points today out of four games, so it was a really good day for me. 
and I really enjoy rapid lately because of the World Cup also. So yeah, it was a good day. Okay. So it couldn't have been a better day, <laughs> in other words, right? Well, uh, chess wise, it was great. Uh, other things, let's see. The day is not over. <laughs> okay. So you prefer rapid over blitz? Uh, well, I I actually like all type of chess, of course, like all chess players. But actually, classical is my favorite. But uh, okay, rapid and blitz is fun, you know. But, uh, it's kind of when you don't have much time, I kind of stress more. But okay, it's fun. I mean, doesn't matter. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Nurgil and I have a bit of a history together. <laughs> we played against each other at the World Cup, which saw you have an amazing performance. She came second, getting her into the candidates. How do you feel about that? Well, it's been four or five months, I don't know. Um, it feels like it was yesterday. Like people remind me of this all the time. And I had also other good tournaments after that. So, okay, it's a bit uh, old now. But uh, of course, getting to candidates is like a it's like a dream come true. <laughs> so um, preparing for that now. And how are you preparing for candidates? I work on chess. <laughs> <laughs> what else I, say I can do? But uh, lately, like I prepared more for the uh, for this tournament. So like more tactics, maybe like more for calculation for the rapid and blades. And I guess after New Year's, I will start uh, more. Uh, serious preparation for classical chess. Okay, so preparing for Rapid and Blitz, you do tactics, you fast calculation. Talk us through what that's like. Well, for Rapid and Blitz, I, yes, I solve a lot of positions and uh, I play a lot of uh, Blitz and Rapid games. But uh, where I live, I don't have that opportunity to play live, uh, unfortunately, like there are not many chess players, so I do it online, which is not so great, but okay, better than nothing. So it's a good thing to do it in real. I mean, it's much more effective. But uh, anyways, I think playing and solving a lot of positions really helps. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, good luck for the rest of your tournament. We're sure you're going to kill it and do very well. And we're excited to see your future in chess ahead. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the FIDE World Rapid Chess Championships. We are already approaching the round five. <laughs> Time flies, actually. And uh, women players already finished to play for today, for rounds for them. And uh, it's the last, uh, last round of the day one. And um, so far, we have the leader of the tournament. The sole leader is uh, Timur Gareev. And we have a group of players with uh, three and a half points out of four, um, including the world champion in Rapid chess Magnus Carlsen mm -hmm. uh, for, for the moment we can see the playing venue and uh, people are trying players are getting to their seats and I think it's time to check the the pairing so oh, sorry the standings yes so we have um, Timur Gareva as I said so with four points and then the group of people with uh, uh, how many <laughs> let's count from two to 15 with three and a half points I mean um, 
we, we can see also uh, Barat, uh, Richie Rapport, Anton, uh, David, um, also Ar Ar Arjun, and also many, many other players, including also Vashiel Graf and Ma Maxim Matlakov um, and others. Also, Alexander Shimanov is doing still very great, and he has three and a half points out of four at the moment. Um, so, um, it's games will, will start, I don't know, it seems like in a couple of minutes. Um, which I was wondering, who are you actually rooting for in this uh, t tournament? Um, I see already the also the, the standings for the women. Yes, right. right. So let's first check the standings and then discuss. <laughs> uh. So Salimova, Nugul and uh, Zujinara both leading with 4-4. Four four. And then uh, Vaishali, Tokarjanova. Bodnaruk, Omanova, and Mamadzada are on three and a half. So, good field. We still have, what, seven people with an a half point. Yes. And two with a perfect score. So, after also very nicely rounds. poised, yeah. Yes, after four rounds, so they... Yeah, so it's eight people for the second place. Uh, maybe we just don't see all of them. And uh, so ladies will not play the round five because they had only four rounds So the, on the day one. Yes, and uh, <laughs> just before the start of the round five and because it's uh, the first day, we should let's choose wh whom we are going to root for in this event. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to root for someone. Uh, but... It, uh, when looking at the scoreboard, I'm reminded of this feeling because normally if you start with three and a half out of four in any tournament, you feel so good about yourself. That evening you go back feeling like a king and <laughs> you did a great job. And then you, but in the World Rapid and Blitz, you look at the, or in any most big quizzes, you look at the thing and you realize there are 20 others who did exactly the same. It takes the sheen off a little bit. So while all these players are having a very impressive start, mm -hmm. um, the breakaway has not yet happened. And uh, that can only happen, I think, even towards the end of uh, tomorrow, towards around 8 and 9. That's when uh, one person might actually could break away. It doesn't have to happen. Uh, but for the moment, uh, just so many people having a very good tournament and playing good games. So. It's really hard to, yes, to choose the one. I mean, of course, one of the favorites, I mean, the clear favorite is Magnus, and it's a question if he will manage to defend his title this time. Again, he has won it so many times before. Um, and, uh, you know, we were joking all the time during the Grand Chess Tour that uh, when Magnus was not playing, we would pick up him as, as a favorite, but he's not playing. So let's, let's go to see whom we can pick. And I don't know, I used to get to pick all the time Fabiano this year, and he keeps winning the tournament. So maybe just for, for fun, he will be my pick, let's say, for, ah. for this event, let's say for next three days. And um, I mean, I, I wonder what will happen in the end. Of course, it's really hard uh, to predict anything. And this tournament, 25, 30 players um, are fighting at least uh, for the first place, I, I guess, maybe even more. But um, this is what they say from time to time about the chances um, that top 20, top 30 are those who are um, real f favorites. So you can see now. Here we are. Yes. Uh, Timur Gariev play, is playing against uh, Magnus Carlsen on, on the first board. And Magnus this time pushes the bishop one square further. <laughs> B5. V5, yes. Ray Lopez. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a very exciting game, I guess. Actually, I think that um, this pairing happened because Magnus had the worst uh, tie break because he made a draw in the first round, so that's why he is uh, playing maybe with... Uh, Not the, high, the highest ra the highest rated, uh, because he's highest rated in all formats. Exactly. So he's the highest rated player and he floats up, yeah. yeah so he plays, yes, because of that with uh, Timur. Oh, this is a Steinitz uh, defense. Oh, no, it isn't. I thought the pawn was on d6, but it isn't. For sure. Okay, now it's on d6, nice. but now I wish I never... And I could see the rest of the board, but anyway. G5 has happened. <laughs> Oh my G4? god, he's, walk, uh, he's going 91, okay. Mm -hmm. Where's the pawn on C3? Ah, okay. So now they can play H5 or something. Uh, look, uh, Timur is going all out. He's, uh, yeah, he's playing of a sharp line. Uh, great spirit. 
Yes, I mean, of course, and as four out of four, he plays on the first board against uh, uh, the current world champion. Here's the current position. Yes. H5, position. yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why not to give it a try? Yes. Actually, uh, I also like to play this line uh, <laughs> in blitz games and... Um, Maybe in 30 years we'll realize this is the solid line, <laughs> because black is very safe, because it's like uh, head 6 g5 in the Italian. <laughs> it also just became part of uh, theory. Yes, and, and I mean, it's uh, easy to play, probably. You don't need to, to know that much of the theory, but okay, g5, h5, h5 is a surprise for me, to tell you the truth. It's actually theory. Yeah, I was I was yes, quite surprised to find it out myself. But anyway, H4. F4 yes. maybe? I don't know what is he going to play now. Yeah, Magnus is thinking. I think they go something like F4, ED4, CD4, D5. Uh, such beautiful lines. But... Uh, so what Black was going to do? I mean, uh, he will try to escape on the king's side, on the queen's side. Sorry, not necessarily. Uh, I mean, the king is equally safe on g8 with the pawn on g4 as it's on g6. I mean, at least initially till the attack goes. And uh, really, Black is fighting for space on the king's side. So it, well, now how is White's attack going to go? It only comes through f4, fe5, and maybe something. Let's quickly see what the other boards are going. What does he Magnus play? Did he play? He ran bishop e3. Bishop e3. And uh, h6. Timur is exchanging those bishops. Okay. Um, MVL against Rauf Mamedov. Oh, this old line. I this was popular in like 2003. I played a game with Peter Leko there, and uh, so it was like watching some old friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cheparinov report. Maybe we can show the first moves, let's say. Yes. So, so this was this line, mm -hmm. queen c7. Yes. I thought it was supposed to take on the knight, but anyway. Okay. Yes, and this position is interesting the position. Board. Yu Yangi against uh, SL Narayanan. Again, we see that line where the bishop goes to g5 and then comes to... Uh, G3 oh, to get settled down. And now he, he's asking. captured on B5. Yes. So SL Narayanan can take on F2, yes. but then he's losing uh, the exchange because he lacks the dark squares to go back. Or he can just continue attacking with Knight H5 or something like that. And maybe there's some compensation there. Knight H5, usually the problem is Knight E5. Is that the case here? Yeah? Mm -hmm. With idea queen. Oh, yes, so because now if knight g3 yeah. is knight c6. Yes. So he cannot play knight h5, so he has to do something else. Maybe knight e7, knight g6, and then something strong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if there is something strong, yes, here. He yeah. has played knight e7, so. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now he's threatening maybe to take on f2 in some variations. Yeah, but assuming I just go back, this what do you do? Oh. I mean, I want to put the knight on c4 and threaten to take the bishop and. Is it a typical pawn sacrifice dispositions? Uh, it, it does happen. I mean, there are lines. I, I, I guess it's the only question is: is it tactically justified or not? Mm -hmm. Because the idea is quite. Uh, well, White loses time, but he gets a pawn. Yes. And uh, that trade-off is quite normal. In mm -hmm. And Black right? yeah. moves his pieces to the king's side and try and maybe. To yeah, I don't know what. I, it's clear that he played knight e7, but I think uh, Yu Yangi is still thinking. Correct. Mm -hmm. So this is the current position. Let's see Chigayev against uh, Vidit. Okay, just the English opening. Ooh, and we have a uh, exciting Catalan. Actually, uh, uh, now that you said about Catalan, I remembered about Nepo. Look, how is he doing? I haven't heard about him for some time. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, yeah, what, what is the score on? He's not three and a half. Yes, that. so that's so what I mean. What is he, so three, maybe? It means, it means maybe three, but, but yeah. really, I, I don't remember. I just, <laughs> just suddenly realized that yeah. we haven't checked what is he doing. Anton Hiharo is, um, yeah. 
what's going on here in this game? Is it? I guess some sort of C1 will happen, happen, and then. Hofhanesian, Jan Krzysztof Duda. Okay, so White has uh, set himself up, to, but he can't play F4, H5, F5 because he walk into the rook H4 line. Mm -hmm. So you cannot I'm, defend the pawn. So there are two ways. One is you can move the king up slowly, or something else. I don't know. It's really nice to see that Jan Krzysztof is playing here. He just, you know, withdrew from this tournament, Sinkfield Cup, because Correct. of reasons, sick, right? yeah. yes. And um, let's say now that he's back uh, to the tournament, I mean, I, ho I hope his health is much yeah. better and everything is fine. Okay, so Fabiano has an interesting position. Mm -hmm. um, quite an interesting one. I mean, I could do this. You will take... I will take, and then you can do that. No, no, then I have maybe bishop in six. So, you could play a quiet move like rook f7 and so on. It's, um, this, knight, this knight is in a beautiful square, but yes. it's stuck, in, mm -hmm. it's uh, in jail in paradise. At the moment. Because it can't go back, so it's, uh, only if you sacrifice this pawn on the four, <laughs> then yeah. he, he gets the square. Dubov against Arvind Chidambaram, okay, that's still going. But we know that Dubov lost to Sarin, I mean, sorry, that uh, Arvind lost to Sa Nihal Sarin. So uh, we know that uh, this must be the group of three already. Mm -hmm. Three points, yes. And Lazarik Pragnananda. So the last move was e5, yes, and uh, if I take, then... With what? Ah, uh, good point, yes, with a pawn, let's say. Yeah, and then uh, I think Knight the same four, anyway, g4. Yes, and, take and uh, so with we take everything, so at the end of the day it's going to be like, equal, like, well, yes. Yeah. Okay, then... Uh, this is a very solid line. Nihal is playing Kuparadze. C5. Is on the board, e5. No, yeah. Nobody <laughs> reacts. But I would say this is a big advantage for white. That's my feeling. Because mm -hmm. I could take this, take this. I don't know, somehow this feels, the position feels huge to me. Maybe bishop b5. It's like Black hasn't developed uh, yeah. all pieces and uh, c file is taken. But I don't know, rook c8 here. Maybe. Queen C8. Without, yes, you take it, yes? Without thinking, yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> I would still think a little bit. <laughs> it's not allowed. <laughs> not allowed, it seems. It's rapid chess, guys. Not allowed. <laughs> you go here, I'll just double them. Wow. Rook C7. No, 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 you cannot do that. No. Okay, enough fun. Let's go yes. back and see. Okay, this is uh, Conrad Holt against Jordan Van Forest. I did not realize that Fresine was here, but he's here. <laughs> he's here. Now we slowly find out who all are participating in this tournament. Yeah, he played in the European, I think, Blitz uh, ah, Championship, okay. and then also he decided to play here as well. Okay. My good friend, Sandipan. Levon against Alexei Drev, okay. Swidler is playing Daniel Darta. A five, and now... Uh, usually, you don't want to take probably and Passan in this position. You move with the queen, but yes, I would. I also prefer queen e3, but queen e3, uh, but know. it's like what b6. Or yes, knight f3, bishop. Mm -hmm. Well, did something similar, right? Also, queen e3, b6. I can go queen g3 and then knight f3, and that uh -huh. way. Later on for a yeah, while. because the idea is yes that the five pawn also stops from all this distance. Local hero. Yes. Abdul Sator. Abdul Sator. Uh, very interesting position. Black has the best center you can imagine in terms of pawns, but white's got two bishops, a knight on g6, rook on h can go to h5 potentially. Mm -hmm. uh, lots and lots of opportunities. Interesting. I'm going to claim that white is better. 
Right. Yeah, but and also I don't know. Maybe it's also question. Anish Kiri, after his first round, he's yes. uh, recovered a bit and Three. he's already an exchange up, so he's doing well. Maybe one more game. Oh, that is cute. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. So it wasn't a sacrifice because he's going to go like a four. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yes, so this, this happens. Yes. So as always, you once you get to the stage, uh, you pretend it was all part of a plan rather than you just blunt at the issue. Of course, yes. So that's what you have to do. But in fact, we know probably what happened here. Yes. Uh, okay, Salem. He sacrificed a pawn and he's attacking on the king side. So what else is new? <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. Uh, Vahab Sanal against uh, Grishchuk. Esipenko against Adiban, but no big deal here. There are pretty lines. If you go d4. Yes. Mm -hmm. So for example, yes, you, if knight g4. Mm-hmm. It's cute, isn't it? <laughs> yes, and you cannot take on c5 also. Yeah, but uh, mm -hmm. I mean, anyway, you get this. Yes. Excellent. Okay, uh, Parham has fallen. Uh, that defeat was quite expensive. Now he's 31 uh, on the 31st board. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have another. Maybe it's time to get. Uh, what? What? H6. H6. Okay. Why not? This is the approach. I'm learning <laughs> as well. What would Botvinnik think? <laughs> I think you would have a few people arrested. <laughs> After the six, <laughs> After six, this, six, 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 six. Bishop F4, G5, Bishop D2, I think would really get him. Is it? No, I, no, no. I can handle H6, but this is too much. Okay, Magnus looks like he's pressing heavily. Uh, I mean, this just looks great for white. Admittedly, bishop d7 followed by bishop c8 is going to give away. Mm -hmm. But uh, I suspect he's just much better already. So what, what will be, I mean, the next moves, let's say, uh, for him? You say he's much better, let's say, because of the um, position of the pieces right now and because black's position of the king that he the, actually it's unclear what to do yeah just that you wasted this time with the bishop here and there and all that i don't have a specific move suggestion i mean if i it's had to play i would just play b4 okay he's gone rook d1 so in fact it is black's move one yes and yeah i mean for example, if you want to castle short first, you have to take on e3 and then it's... But then I might play f3. Yes, that, that's the so point. On, yeah. Yes, if you take then with the pawn, then the file will be also opened. Sure. Mm -hmm. so he's he's gone knight f4. Knight f4, okay. But now I would take... Besides the fact that I might have to, <laughs> because this green has no squares left. Yes. Because if you take with the pawn, I have this uh, trick, of course. Yes. And, yeah. and if you take with the bishop, then... I think the attack is not that great. I mean, you have this one threat, queen h4, which is <laughs> g3, and the, yes. this game over. So. I mean, b4, b4 looks yes. fairly and, uh, comfortable move to make. And I mean, if you castle shores in this position, like how dangerous it can be, because I see also some G just G3, yeah. but yeah, bishop at six, it's still F3, queen G6 or whatever, but. Mm -hmm. But maybe that's what he has to do, because uh, let's say one castle is, castling yeah. is not possible. I may be overestimating White's position. <laughs> I mean, I don't see a clear plan right now, but. Uh, it still looks good for white, what can I say? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so Maxime is offering a very interesting trade. He's saying, if you want the queen for my two rooks, go ahead and help yourself. Yes. But if you remember the other, uh, Magnus's first game also. Yes, he played uh, <coughs> draw in the first game Petrov, yes. Yeah. And there was uh, two rooks against the queen, just so to remind the viewers. Yeah, here. so here, something like this, I don't see... Uh, 
what White's plan exactly to break through? I mean, something on the C file for sure. Mm -hmm. But I can keep attacking the D3 pawn or something. So anyway, anything like Rook C8, and then ah oh yes, you cannot really uh, yes, yeah. even put the rooks on the last rank because Bishop is high. Well, what? Everything. Nice. Oh, Ivan Chaparinov threw in, <laughs> threw the kitchen sink in. <laughs> So let's understand what's going on. So if uh, you take the C pawn, you take E takes D5, yes? Bishop D4, yeah, you take D6. Wow. I mean, I can castle long. <laughs> what else can I do? Can I play Bishop E5? Can I play Knight C5? And the moment, uh, the two pieces, yes? <laughs> But here there might be some queen b5 problems and then e7 or something, I don't know. No, I can go queen c6, king f8, and for the moment I'm alive. Wow. And just let's, we have to take some pieces back. What is knight d5? I have to say this is... What about e... Okay, e takes d5 is maybe even worse. For black, yes, and here. Maybe it was a little bit too aggressive. Okay, I have to take. Yes. And you have to do take this because if rook d4, I can. Uh, I mean, I can play e5. And um, is there some great in between new move that I have? So you proposed uh, bishop e5 or and I, and I, something like this? Yes. I kind of wonder what's. I know this. No, this uh, would take d7. Yes. Oh, you're not afraid of anything. <laughs> no, no queen eats now. But maybe bishop f7 will work or something. Mm -hmm. Could we play queen c4 also? Oh, no. Oh, actually, yes. Queen c4 is just unbelievably strong, right? Because the whole, I mean, the next move is just d8. Yeah, d8, yeah, yeah sure. queen, bishop is Okay, so not bishop c5. What about knight c5? They drew already, Ralph and uh, MBL, okay. okay. So now it's a very practical decision, as we know. They will just <laughs> have extra hours of yeah. rest. Well, the position wasn't that yes. good anyway, yeah. right? No, no, of course, of yeah. course it's... But What can White do here? Ah, we discussed Queen B5 check, Queen C6. Yeah, also E7. F7. E takes F7, yes, go there. What's the follow-up? Yeah, I see that if you play take on D4, Black will just simply take on B3, right? Or what? Yeah. Or there is and if I do this, what happens? It will you, like will it take on B2? It, it looks ridiculous, yeah, to be like honest. Two but pieces, yes, and <coughs> but I was hoping there's some queen c4 rook e8. Mm -hmm. Something. Nah. Oh, queen c4 rook e8, yes, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, this is what happened in the game, right? Yes, right now. So he's, he's thinking. But what if you don't have He has not yet taken on d5, by the way, but uh, I think. Yeah, he's not yet taken on d5. Mm -hmm. Okay, SL narrating as you, Yangi. This. Um, this extra pawn is still there, it's an extra pawn. Yes. But... Um, things have changed a little bit. <laughs> on the king side, things have clarified a bit, but I would have to say it's still an extra pawn. Mm -hmm. And this one doesn't look too impressive either, so... Yeah, we're definitely looking for some fun <laughs> in this we've been, we've been spoiled today. <laughs> yes, there we've, been so spo we've been spoiled and now we can't this even be bothered. This game looks quite interesting. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I take this, you take, I go d5, you go bishop b7, and then, mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe f5. f5. Just to start poking that f6 pawn somehow. Just, my, just my instant opinion. Yes, like g5, I don't know what to do, because I don't want to take on f5. <laughs> really. Ah, yeah, g5. I don't know, something like well, that. Well, then maybe some queen uh, h5, rook a d1, and hope for some break. Bishop g5 somewhere. Who knows? At the moment, it's slightly wishful thinking, but uh, I feel we are on the right track. Yes, and also <laughs> e5, maybe someday, yeah. then g5 will be weak. Yes. So. 
so pawn for white in this position. Yes. Still First question: What happens yes, with castles? Uh, this, that's what I what I think. You can go rook a4. Bishops I go bishop c3. c3. You can play queen takes c5. Five. Yes, queen h7. <laughs> Queen at seven is, a, Again. is like, quite nice. Like we saw But uh, what about bishop uh, g7? g7? Mm. Can you actually play king g7? Because I don't. Have, I'm not. Yes. A, I cannot check you from a non. If it, the pawn was on h3, it would be nice. But <laughs> wait, you had uh, queen g4 and take queen. But no. Rook a4. So what else could I do? Could I go queen uh, g4 or something? Provoke e5. Maybe knight e5. Knight e5, yes. Ah, because you cannot take on b4, yes, knight c6. Uh, but if you know, I can take on b4. Uh -huh. Because... But then knight is trapped at the it end. It is trapped, but on the other hand, your rook might be trapped also. <laughs> <laughs> where after g3 you have no defense to... Ah, no, you have rook g4. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this was but, nice. But uh, this doesn't feel uh, like good composition, to be honest. Wow. <laughs> This is really cool. so. Seems like rook a4 is a possibility in this yeah. position. Rather, it's the only way to get a pawn back, right? So that's the problem that uh, whether you like it or not is irrelevant. You have to, you have to, do, that. <laughs> yeah, to do I mean, it moves like, I mean, a crazy moves like a five are not working here, right? I'm trying to distract this. I mean, but okay, first we'll have to make a move for white. Yeah. This castling, I mean... F5, queen c4. Too, too much, too yes, much too much. Up. Yes, I just thought that to take the square of g4 from queen. But yeah, maybe it's too active. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So where we, we go to now? Let's go back up and see is Magnus. What, what's happening? <laughs> Somehow things clarified slowly. Yes, the bones. He went f4. Four. Ah, that way he avoided the question of having to take on g4. Mm -hmm. This happened. And even though he had to work a bit, he's gotten... Once again, he is better. So yes, he castled short and yes position is like I, I, it looks like white is yeah. doing well yes in this position like have many moves to play like f3 maybe also like one okay so magnus definitely favorite here cheparinov this has happened okay so what do we this do? has happened what is this but, but bishop where the where the bishop remember we had bishop on d4 wait first of all is there some rook d7 which is working no <coughs> Why did he take on F2? I'm really baffled. Yeah, I, that, that's what I mean. Remember, we discussed the same line, yeah. but but was with bishop on D4. So. Correct. Okay, so... Queen F2 and he's played knight C5 and passed the move back. Mm -hmm. So what he wants to say that, let's say, take on F7 and I have just piece up and One have second. nothing. Go yeah, no, let's just see this. I go... Queen F5, the rook is hanging. You have to play king g7, mm -hmm. and maybe that just uh, survives long enough. What about rook e8 check? So we take... Um, with what? Uh, if knight, yes, you, you take, of course, with... And then what, I take with a king? I mean, first of all, rook e1 check. Yes, it looks very and, dangerous. And uh, you're giving no, no, back material. Scary, yeah. scary, scary, scary. I don't like... So you take with the rook. With the rook, yes. But now I think I'm winning, uh, like, queen f5, and I queen don't f5. see a defense. How to... Yes, everything is hanging, actually. Yes, even the knight on c He started with queen f5. He started with queen f5, okay. He's gone like this, and now after king g7, what is the blow he has? Rook e8 anyway. Ah, oh my god, we have rook e8. Rook e8. Here in this Because position. if knight e8, f, uh, f8 yes. is thing, so rook e8. And come on, by now you know what I'm doing. Uh, now, of course, knight is coming, yes. <laughs> Three the times. Third, uh, we got we got another knight. Uh, <laughs> he's done rookie eight. He's done rookie eight. So okay, now of course, 
And okay, Lights. in case yes. you're wondering what uh, Anastasia and me are enjoying, yes. it's just night. That Perfect night. Night on the board. Though FE8 Queen is also winning, but night and we are a piece up. I think he's now seeing it, that uh, uh, he's to, just we totally to lost. It. We have to check it. Yeah, that is the position. It should be. Ah, so. And. <laughs> So he realized probably yeah. what's going on. Wow, yes. big upset. Now let's see. Yes, queen of six. Queen of six. Oh, oh, he just resigned. He just resigned. Yes. Oh, come on. We, had, we wanted to see it on the board. But bishop f2 was really, then we had to, he had to defend with knight c5, whereupon it was a much harder. Yes. Because first of all, the queen is not uh, on f2 right away. Wow. So quite an expensive lapse of judgment, I think. Yes, so Ivan is actually uh, winning this game. Yes, and he has yeah. like four and a half points now. Yes. Wow. Not, not, so not bad. After first day of rapid chess. Very impressive, actually. Yeah, and of course impressive. I with think this uh, idea. with it, this uh, slowly getting better. Maybe even getting better very quickly. I don't know. But uh, it feels like white is sort of getting outplayed. That's my impression. Um, wow. <laughs> Who is going for Well, Arjun, again, he plays these lines where he takes a lot of risk just to get uh, um, you know he's, he's chucks material he chucks material except a lot of strategical risk if you attack but he's got his pass pawns b4 and c3 mm -hmm. you can't argue with that yeah and uh, i mean just wonder like <laughs> if white has to push the pawn or not bishop f2 well, i could yes. do this and then uh, even rookie one and i'm threatening bishop f1 so that it's wow uh -huh. to trap he has queen. gone back to f8 yes. ah of course uh, sorry that's so he didn't go to c4 yes because it was dangerous yeah. yes mm -hmm. so queen f8 but threat in h6 also yes now i could go e5 mm -hmm. you can take or not take then you take, take and then go here. Yeah, no, next step. I've got e6 E6 coming. you want to play, yes. And Oof, what's happening mm -hmm. here? And who knows, like bishop h3 or... If you want to try. Yes. Just trying to get rid of this bishop from d7 maybe, but... I don't know if it's clever. Maybe I could... If I take this, you take on g2. King g2. Okay, let's try it. Mm -hmm. Yes. They, they're doing something else, so we just uh, yes, and so some just of the planet here. Yeah, but anyway, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so what happened? Let's in the just game? get back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, so the, he did, he played he went queen d four. Uh huh. Queen d four. Centralizing. <laughs> but now, if I just play a five, what are you doing? A5, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, just not to lose this pawn. You could also take, take first and then A5. And then what? And A5. A5. Maybe A3. I don't know. E, E5, all this stuff. Probably should try to push E5 mm. instead of A3. I don't know. If I mean, A3 is probably also a move to... I don't know. Maybe I yes. can go here. I don't have all this bishop b6, of course. C7. Queen of God knows what's happening. Queen of six also looks crazy because bishop g2 is coming and knight. Yeah, knight d5. Knight d5, yes. So you don't have time to take the rook, actually. So actually, it's, you, it's, it no, looks it's funny. Nice. You have this. <laughs> yes. Which is, we have this move. <laughs> oh my gosh. Your queen is 7 was checkmate in 1, so bishop g4. Now, also this. white is threatening yeah, checkmate yeah. in 1, queen, queen h8, so queen g7. And, uh, oh, yes, let's and go we back don't know and make some what's sense going first, on. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what has he done? He's gone bishop b5 instead, okay. Bishop b5. And he has played rook fb1, so... Actually, the feed is working quite well, so... So b4 is hanging right now, and maybe that's why black never took h6. Yeah. I think uh, Carlsen has won. The game against Gariev, yes, and Magnus Carlsen is over. We'll have a look, yeah, yes, he just... just a piece up for nothing. Mm -hmm. Magnus has also four and a half uh, points out of five after the first day. SL Narayanan in quite some trouble because uh, that rook is sitting on a7. It's a clear pawn down, and there's bishop d1 take h5. 
So is Elnaren in quite a spot of trouble? Actually, it was important game Magnus replaced Gareev on, on the top. Because now Gareev dropped to four points out yeah. of five, and he has four and a half. So we know also that Ivan Chiparinov has also four and a half points, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. So we have two colleagues. Two guys at already, the the and then the some other the sharp games going on. Santon against uh, Shimanov. Seems like a fairly clear pawn. Mm -hmm. Magdus is followed by, by the media. I know that there are a few uh, Norwegian journalists also here. Mm hmm. And uh, Duda is suffering quite a bit, right? <clears throat> I mean, this is a pretty bad Berlin. If there's a pawn on G6, it didn't go so great. Uh, Daniel Dubov, huge edge, C7 and... Yeah. Rook D1, maybe. Yes. Uh, queen A, you know, C7, Rook C8, Rook D1. Ah, no, then there's Queen E7. So maybe Rook C3 and then A4 push rook both C3. pawns slowly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, both pawns and, yeah, give it with one point. Uh, yes. Dennis Lasavik already drew with Pragnananda, okay. That was a. Uh, Taimur drew. Nehal Sarin. Uh, I mean, normally he's flawless in these positions. He's just got a free extra pawn and uh, he just has to work to, it. He has to. I mean, knight b Can I even keep the thing with rook uh, c4? Knight b2. Rook b4. Mm -hmm. Knight d3 back. <laughs> yes. So. <laughs> yes, yeah, so maybe, yeah. And rook c4, knight b2, so. No, no, no. I can go rook c4, knight b2. Yes, and if I go back. Actually, you can take here, I because can, if you go back, yes. then I have this move now. Wow. So it's just... And I'm threatening rookie for Yeah, so you mm -hmm. have to. Uh, but maybe you can just uh, take this. Knight a4. Ah, knight b3. And then you can go back, and I'm still not threatening knight takes, uh, rook takes e4, so... Knight c3 is here. What has he done? Rook a5, he's gone knight b5. Which is also very thing because he's trying to get to the d6 square. That's uh -huh. the other idea. And rook c7, maybe, the other day. But now I could also play knight e5 and uh, your knockout blow isn't... Maybe get come out king f6, e6 and push everything back a little bit. So you think black can try to hold this position, yes, due to maybe quite active pieces. Let's yes. Rook is on a4, this... On I'm just trying not to lose on the spot. <laughs> so it's a very low bar right now. Okay. <clears throat> My God, Conrad Holt is uh, defeating Jordan Van Forest. Yes. Queen is on C3 and I mean checkmate is the threat. And Both there two. is no defense to uh, Rook B1 check and Rook B8 mate. In most also lines. another one. Yes, like for example, let's show that Queen D3 move. I don't know, something like that. Just trying to then Rook B1 and Rook B8 mate. Rook B8 yeah. checkmate, yes. Mm -hmm. So it's really not possible to defend it. Yes, so Are they already yeah, it's they finished it's just yeah. just finished right now. Oh, this is huge. So, uh, Kirill Shevchenko is just killing uh, this one. Hang on, I go rook c1. Do you take the spawn like this? Or you can just go back here and ah, C4 is also collapsing, so mm. this is bad. This was an Alvin. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, okay, let's, uh, let's follow two, three moves. You know, it's a very yeah. popular line also for many uh, people play it in the in internet. Yes, so they, they play this one. <laughs> Bishop G4 is important. This was some checkmate threat. B7. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> you don't see it that often, yes. No. Okay, Sandipan is winning. Uh, Swiddler drew. In fact, he took the pawn. He did? Ah, yeah. yes, he took on f6, yes. Uh -huh. And then just uh, they repeated. They repeated, okay. 
Uh, Nodder back. Yeah. Oh, this is competitive. Ah, this was that one with the pawn on h6 and this pawn mass, but black should have decent comp because white's past pawns everywhere are a bit slow. Uh, Levon is pressing. This should be quite difficult for black. So he wants to... Pansulaya against Anish Giri. Uh, I don't know why it rolled all the way down. I mean, Levon is pressing, but I don't see the way how he will promote, uh, push this pawn. For the moment, but... I think this scroll doesn't like me <laughs> looking. At. So maybe we can go again from the top boards. Let's see what happened there. Probably many results already. Yeah, he's gone rookie four. What is he threatening? Some rook h4? No. <laughs> Maybe some fight. checkmate ideas, yes. Yeah, I just don't see them, but anyway. <laughs> <coughs> Ah, yes, so he, he somehow sacrificed probably the pawn on c7. What's happening here? No, what he did was he exchanged. I exchanged the pawn on c4 to c7, yes. And now... But he just uh, let him have it. Winning. But why shouldn't he have gone queen c4 and kept the pawn? Yeah. Like, I mean, just keep an extra pawn, right? Mm -hmm. uh, was it... I don't know. I thought maybe there is some perpetual, but there is no... Well, maybe maybe he's found a win here. Hang on. So if I no, there is sorry, there is this. Queen eight. Then there is uh, this one. Queen e four or what? Queen e four check. King of you have six to play f five. F rook king of six rook f three mate. Uh huh. Now I take this. Take this. Yes. And rook a three winning. Winning, let's rook a7. <laughs> yes, it's winning ending, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, also because I have rook a5 check pushing you and everything, so. Mm -hmm. Wow, so maybe he just calculated all this. Yeah. And decided to go for it, wow. You Yangi SL Narayanan, yeah, it's, this is going to collapse very fast. I mean, I can do rook g5, but then you go rook c7 and you collect this, and slowly it's going to go. Even though this rook is stuck a little bit on h4, yeah. but <laughs> it seems... With it is just fantastic position. And Arjun might be winning. Oh, what is this? I see the pawns are approaching the last rank. Our hope to get more knights. B2. Oh, this was just a uh, cute uh, B2. Mm -hmm. Was it necessary to do all this? Anyway, he went bishop B6, B2. C7, rook C7. He just missed that maybe. Wow, C rook C7. Because now it's busted. No matter what you do, you're just losing. I mean, the only thing you can do is... Uh, Take, for example, queen. But uh, this is going to go in a move or two. Wow. So it's completely winning right now, yes, for him? Yes. But they're still playing, I think, a few moves. He's got knight f1 check. F1 check. So there is this position. Yes. Yeah, and it's over because bishop f1 is just going to go queen f1. And then and then queen f2, bishop f1. And, and it's checkmate, yes. Wait a minute, if I play bishop f6, oh, he's maybe going to take with the bishop. Sorry. He'll just take with the bishop and then there is no defense to queen b2, g2. Ah, queen b2, g2, checkmate, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because, and no bishop f6 anymore. <laughs> no tricks. 
So let's see, knight f1 check, and now can I go king h3, but then queen uh, c3, c3. e1, e1. Mm -hmm. Was the idea queen takes g3? I, I think. Yeah, he's resigned. Yes, it's, the game is over, yes. Keep checking some mm. lines right now. Yeah, chess players, at the end of the game, they want to know the answers, and, yes, and they compare with others and so on. Do you like to analyze the game afterwards, after it's over? It's good fun. I it, think it's a good tradition, good habit to at have. At least to exchange a few phrases, yes. yes. A few variations. Yeah. So, Yu Yangi will also join at four and a half. Lead, yes, four and a half. So, still a big group. Like already four three, or five names there. Three for sure. Magnus, Chiparinov and Yu Yangi. Who else? Arjun. Arjun. And... Yeah, you're right. Not so, so many more. <laughs> four, <laughs> four at the moment. Dubov was three, right? He was yeah, I think, yes. Yeah. I yeah, don't, don't remember. We still haven't met. Oh, and what's happening with Ponkratov uh, Fabiano? Oh, okay. This looks like it might be a draw. They have three points, if I'm not mistaken. What did he play in E3 for? Couldn't he just go Knight B5 and collect there? Okay, he went E3. What is happening? I've lost track a bit. <laughs> what is it? E3, <laughs> rook E8 he went. Rook E8. Oh, and Fabi didn't play rook A7. I thought he would play rook A7 in a second. And, uh, he played what, A2? E2. E2. <clears throat> and then knight. A3, stopping, stopping that. Yes, the rook. Yes. Uh, threatening to promote the queen. And it's actually what to play. And he went knight d1, knight rook d1. takes e2. Okay, doc. So. <clears throat> and there's an, uh, rook, what to play now? Rook b2, knight b2. <laughs> I don't see the queen. Yeah. Going, yes. On the board. Okay, but hang on. Let's do this. Take, yes, for example, queen. You have to queen because yes. otherwise just yes, rook yes, takes yes. a3. Yes. Queen. Now, blue? Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. Nice C. Oh, he went to C4. Uh -huh. I thought he could have gone to E4. Check. Okay. A4, Play. sorry. Why not King D3, by the way? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know. This is what I'm also checking. Oh, Rook, Rook A3, A3 check. Rook sorry, C, yeah. Yes. Rook A3. So he had to go King B1. King B1. And then he took this, and he has gone for this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a fortress. Wow. But he's trying, let's say, to... To create one. He's going to play rookie one check bishop f6 and then claim mm -hmm. that. Try to win this <coughs> position. But I think in this time control it's very difficult. To, to hold? Queen and knight jumping yeah, all over the place. Yes, it's um, not going to be easy. For sure. And bishop f6, well, brave. Yeah, but um, knight to allow this knight a3 move, was it a mistake? He could have just taken on a7, yes? I would have done it. Mm -hmm. For safety. <laughs> but <laughs> Fabi can calculate. So that's Maybe he was calculating, <laughs> yes. No, but why would you do this if it, it was a kind of draw or not after that? Like, instead of a um, couple of moves earlier, let's say if you take on a seven. Yeah, so all this has happened, in fact. Yes. And now... He's going to try and try and try. Sorry, I shouldn't have scrolled, but anyway. Okay. I think we'll just watch this one. Yes, it, we, we, <coughs> we will stay with this one. Probably it's one of the last games which uh, we have at r round five. Let me remind you, it's the last round of the day one of the World Rapid. I think knight e3 must be very strong here. Because if I put the knight on d5, or knight b6, and then put it on d5, mm -hmm. then your bishop has to leave this cozy place on oh, f6. f6. Yes. The problem for you is uh, you, you cannot even defend it with your rook. And once your bishop and rook are loose, you know, you're just waiting to blunder. Yeah. So. And actually, but for example, in the... Uh, oh my god, he's taken his king up the board. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he wanted to make sure the king is on this side, and even if he takes on f6, the king is there. There are no fortresses with rook and against queen. I don't know. It's just... The prediction, he just wants to get king closer to the black king with some checkmate threats. Yes, but um, I don't see how he's going <laughs> to escape this. Yeah. 
95 will be played sooner or later. If we remove um, knight and bishop and the pawn from g file, this position is winning for uh, for white, I guess. I mean, if you remove the g pawn, it's lost immediately, right? Yes. But if you remove the h pawn, and the rook gets to the six, that's yes. still a draw. But he's won it now, and now yeah. it's over because I he's played it. this trick, and now it's uh, resigns. Mm -hmm. So wow! So that's where well, is Pankrato will then come to four. Yes, four, no, yeah. not four and a half. So, but Fabi has lost the game. At the moment, I decided to root for him. <laughs> what to do? Yeah, so this is over. Yes, so bishop h4, queen e4. Nice trick. And like we can we'll lose the bishop. So. I don't know if they're still there, but... Yeah, Yu Yangi wins, uh, Vidit wins, Arjun wins, there's still a lot of four and a halves. Mm -hmm. In any case, like, if you start uh, the day with four and a half out of five, it shows that most probably you are in a good shape for this event. I mean, yeah. it's still a good sign for all those players. <laughs> So how many? We have one, two, three, four, five people on four and a half. Mm -hmm. But the fact that Magnus started with this draw may maybe puts him in the situation that the tie break is always uh, not so great. I don't know. At the end, it will. Uh, it's possible, it's possible. but uh, there's still eight rounds left. So. Yes. So, uh, can we check the game of Fabiano right now? Uh, let's say he, the, he, the, he has resigned already. Yeah. Yes. Ah, okay. So the game is finished. Yes. Yeah. And I don't so know if we have any happened. games left. Uh, there are still one or two games going on. Nordir break is. Oh, wow, that's an interesting position. Still playing. Yeah, but look at the pawns. <laughs> it's B7, <laughs> B7 and C. And C5. <clears throat> but there'll still be counterplay here. So maybe some F3 check and Rook H8 and all this stuff. So. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> it's getting dangerous. Pawns are very close. He's got rook g3 and thing, but rook now, uh, so he's hoping for a perpetual. And oh, maybe even king, is there king a perpetual? G3? Is there a perpetual? Suppose I go c7. Oh, there, there. there is a uh, rook h1, rook h2, no? Uh, go, you go with the key. Yes, you, I you can't run. go to e1 yes. because rook g1. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, that's so. the problem, yes. <laughs> so, no, wait. <coughs> I don't go to ah, f2. King e2. Yes, e2. I go king e2. Mm -hmm. and, it, <laughs> and now, and then you have this rook e1. Let's show it like rook h2 now and king d1, rook g1, <laughs> rook e1. That's the difference. Now it, wait. But? I go here now. It's right in rook. G1 or rook d2? And rook d2, yes. Maybe rook c3 check. Ah, no, my pawn is still there, yes. I thought about c7 and, yeah, no, 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 it's too much. It's, I'm too aggressive. <laughs> no c7 first. So what do we want to say? I mean, when the king is so close... We have to follow this game. Yes. I mean, this is too exciting. This is very nice, yes. It's a very nice one. I even thought that king f1 now king d3. Has he gone to f1? Oh, no, this is an analysis. I've lost track. Okay, one mm -hmm. second. Let me just go back here. So current position. Oh no, uh, Norderbeck is. You know, it's a draw. If it's he a wants. draw, yes. It's a draw. But what happened there? <laughs> how, how did they come here? Okay, King of you went King D3. Yes, that's what I thought. King D3 move, yes, with the same ideas. That now your king cannot go. Yeah, and he he had to block go. the escape. Yes, yeah. he had to. Yeah, but yeah. did he force a draw in a winning position? I don't know. Rook H1 check. King f2, rook h2, check, king f1, or maybe there is... Yes, maybe it's draw in any case, yes. but... Uh, it's only when if you try to push to it. Push. But wait, uh, king f2, why do I... Why can't I take this? <laughs> oh, because of b8. b8, and I thought, yeah, I thought maybe there is a checkmate, but there is no... Use. And there is no draw even anymore. Yes. No. So you have to, yeah. Yes, you have to do it, yes. You have to give a check, perpetual check. In this but nice game. <laughs> really, yeah. the crazy one. Well played by players. There are a few games left. 
Uh, but I think most of the games are finishing. Oh, Gokesh is there. I've forgotten about him. <laughs> Where is... Uh, so he's winning this by giving mate. He's going to go knight to check bishop g2 mate, okay? Yes. And uh, I don't know what his score is in, but we shall check this later. Vincent Keimer's also there, right behind him. So, not having, um, let's say, the tournament and Arjun and uh, Vidit mm -hmm. are having in Nihal to some degree. We haven't met Nepo. I mean, you're scrolling the games, but I still haven't heard anything from and him. And you mentioned him, and I've got Nepo. Yes, okay. How many points? I wonder. He has. I don't we don't know. know that, yes. But if he won this one, yes, he won the last game. And he's on the 39th board. So, yeah, it doesn't sound good yeah. for the moment. Anyway, so that's today's round. Is it over? Do we have all results? In case if we do, let's check the screen with the results. I see still there are some people in the plane venue, but it could be the arbiters or the journalists. <laughs> Don't see anybody playing, right? I mean, so if if we have um, the pairings or the results will be great. But I mean, so far so good. Very exciting first mm -hmm. of the uh, World Rapid uh, Championship, and uh, it's we had one leader for one round. Uh, Timur Gareev was the sole leader of the tournament with four po points out of four, 100 percent. But in the last round, in the fifth round, he lost against uh, Magnus Carlsen and things has changed immediately because now it was Magnus who took his place on the top uh, right. of the table yes so uh, it seems like we are going to have results very soon and uh, followed by standings after that yes so today was the hardest day for all players five rounds so we have, yes, uh, victory for Magnus, as I mentioned. Maxim made a draw with Mamedov Rauf. Uh, Chiparino won, won his game against uh, Richie Rapport. We, we saw it, very exciting game. Yu Yangi also managed to win. And um, Chagayev Maxim lost against Vidit. Uh, Matlakov also lost against um, Arjun. And, uh, and so on. Let's say now maybe it would be great to see the standings to, to check how many players actually have... Uh, four and half points right now. Yeah, so I think probably it's five. <laughs> I'm not yeah, sure. So. <laughs> Feels like five, but, but but I'm not sure about that. In any case, a very exciting round. You can see that... Uh, the yeah, so first let's check the women's standings. Don't forget women had today four rounds of the day one. And... Uh, uh, Salimov and uh, Zhu Jinier has, uh, they both have four points right now. And we have also a few players with three and a half points. Um, Bodnaruk, um, Anastasia Tahirjonova, Begim, a uh, local player actually who lives in the US right now. Uh, Amonova, Umida, uh, Vaishali, of course, also she has three and how we saw her games and so on. So, um, women's section, of course, um, they will continue to play tomorrow and I think they have three rounds as well. They have one round less than open section. And um, if we have uh, finally the standings of uh, the open section, it will be great to check it as well. Let's see what, what's, what's going on. They're coming right now. And yes, he, he, here we are. Yes, so how many players? Five, uh, five players, yes. I was right, <laughs> somehow. <laughs> so Chiparino, we won. Uh, Erika Isi, Julian Guy, Vidit, and Magnus Carlsen. All of them, they have four and a half points out of five. They are leading at the tournament after day one. Um, so and we have further 10 people yes, on four, ten uh, four people, points, yes. so... Four points, yes. <coughs> no, not bad at all. I think, yes, we have also... Eleven, yeah. Yes, Eleven. One more person there on the right. And um, so I think it was a very exciting first day. Uh, many, many interesting games. It was really hard to follow all of them. Yeah. So how did it feel for you, Vishy, to be here? I think in the end uh, we got a um, lot of beautiful games, a lot of interesting moments. Um, yeah, it was, I think it's the tournament's beautifully poised for tomorrow. Absolutely. Uh, 
four people, five people, all seem to be in very good shape. Though that is betrayed by their score as well. Mm -hmm. But um, five people on four and a half. Yeah, but I we don't have right. clear leaders right now. It's very normal, I think, for the World Rapid Championship yeah. and day one that we have a few people who actually share the lead. We'll see what will happen on the day number two. So the first day is already in the history <laughs> books. Yeah. And we're finishing today's um, our broadcast. And uh, see you tomorrow. Please stay with us and see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. local time. I'm here with Xenia Bala Baeva, birthday girl, 18. How's your tournament going? I make a three draw uh, against strong opponents, so kind of normal now. But yeah, next one game I will try to win because three draw, it's kind of enough. <laughs> but I mean, second game you drew against Goryachkina, right? How is that? Yeah, this was kind of hard game. I think so. All game was kind of equal and draw was kind of normal result. Yeah. <laughs> And you're under 18 Blitz champion, so are you looking more forward to that event than the Rapid? What's your favorite? Mm, I think my favorite time control more Blitz, yeah, than the Rapid, but also I will try to show my best game in the Rapid also. Okay. Well, thank you very much and good luck for the rest of your tournament. Thank you. Legend. Every drop is legendary. Welcome, everybody. My name is Jan Pomnishi, former World Chess Champion. Are starting a new course here for Chessable? A very special Chessable course. Master your chess with Judith Boulder. You know what? I learned a lot.